The following is a presentation of the St. Louis Chess Club. Classical clashes ruled the day at the American Cup in St. Louis. The elimination bracket had a rest day, allowing the champions field to take center stage. Two-time American Cup runner-up Alice Lee moved on to the next round, securing her victory with a dominant three-win knockout. Ray Robson gained the upper hand early in his matchup, and despite a wily effort by Wesley So, was able to land the final blow by forcing his friend and former roommate to flag. New players are coming off their first defeat with a chip on their shoulder and losing again is not an option. Day five of Action Pack Chess coming up next. Welcome back everybody to day five of the 2024 American Cup held here at the St. Louis Chess Club. It's a beautiful day here in the Central West End and if you are a chess fan and you want to test your mind, you can come right here, enter the club, play some casual games while the players play not so casual games at the American Cup just across the street at the World Chess Hall of Fame. A fantastic day of chess ahead of us. Let's go to the studio and start the action. Live from the St. Louis Chess Club is the American Cup. The champions bracket will be decided today, along with last chances for the several players. Exciting action coming up next. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Women Grandmaster Anastasia Karlovich. I'm very happy to be here together with two really, really strong grandmasters, Yasser Seravan <laughs> and Christian Kirillak. Good Hello. to see you, Anastasia. Good, Good to see you, Yasser. Christian has been great. We've been having a lot of fun. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our show. We are day five of the 2024 American Cup. And I tell you, for me, these finalists, they're, they're playing so well. I mean, the accuracy of Levon as he played his match against uh, Fabi, uh, one, you know, thriller, I want to say. And uh, I'm looking forward to the collisions uh, today. Tell us about the brackets, Anastasia. Let's have a look. Both players had a long way. Uh, Levon Aronian will play against uh, Ray Robson today, but before that, he managed to defeat Fabiano Caron, as you said, Yasser, and the Ray Robson. The number one seed, yes. the number two player yeah, in the world. Around. That's a big win. And also Ray Robson was the underdog, definitely, in the match against Wesley So, and he also managed to win this match, and uh, he will be facing today Levon. Absolutely, in the elimination bracket. And those who lost their matches yesterday, they go, they went to elimination bracket and Wesley So will play today against Sam Savian. And Fabiano Caruana, who lost against Levon Aronian, will be playing against Linier Dominguez. His uh, former second, it's kind of like he's played Grigory, now he plays Dominguez. He's going to play his whole team. Is Christian in the uh, event? <laughs> uh, what about Christian the, is next, yes. What about the ladies' uh, brackets, uh, champions? And the bracket. ladies, yes. <clears throat> Look at this, Yasser. We have the final, which we could expect a little bit, because <laughs> this is what happened in the previous American Cups. Arena Crush uh, went all this way. She defeated Nazi Paikidze, and she's in the final, and she will be playing against Alice Lee, who managed to win again against Begim Tohirjonov. A very impressive victory, 3-0. And uh, here we are. It's a, it was a collision, and you could see that this was going to come. Excellent, excellent stuff. And in the elimination bracket for the ladies. So as they said yesterday, um, uh, Irina defeated um, Nazi Paikidze. So Nazi will be playing against Jennifer Yu. Right. And uh, Begim Toherjonova will face Zoe Tank, who managed to win in the previous uh, round against Anna Zatonsky. Exactly. Zoe being the lowest seed, she's doing great. And uh, the format, it gets easier as players get eliminated, <laughs> yes. but it's a double elimin match elimination tournament. Exactly. So in the champions bracket, we will have two classical games per match and two right. rapid games. Uh, you can see the time control 
90 minutes for the classical game plus 30 seconds and 15 minutes for the rapid game plus 10 seconds. And in case of a tie, we'll have blitz playoff match between those two players. And uh, in the elimination bracket, four rapid games, no classical games anymore. Exactly. 15 minutes for the whole game plus 10 seconds per move. And in case of a draw, we'll see also blitz. Wonderful. Um, and tell us about today's schedule. What can the folks at home expect to be witnessing? <laughs> they will see today all, maybe they will see all formats as, as before. One classical game and one rapid game per match in the champions bracket. And then in elimination bracket, there will be four uh, rapid games. And in case of a tie, blitz match will follow up. Absolutely. And Christian, I tell you, I'm expecting after yesterday more blitz. More blitz tie breaks. Absolutely. Yesterday it was all about the champions bracket. Right now the elimination bracket <laughs> joins them once again. Things get a little bit confusing, but still, this is the first day of the champions finals. And I'm so excited because we've seen this match before in previous editions. The one between Ray Robson and Levon Aronian. And Levon bested him. Will Ray take his revenge? Will Alice take her revenge? Well, only time will tell. Now let's <laughs> look at the head to head as we are entering this uh, champions finals. As you can see, Levon Aronian facing the formidable Ray Robson. Four wins, one loss and three draws. As you can see, Levon definitely has has Ray's number and he mentioned it in yesterday's interview he didn't know Ray very well as a player before moving to the United States but since he understood how strong he is let's uh, take a look at what's happening in the ladies section <laughs> this is a tripit of uh, the champions finals from the previous couple of years that is Grandmaster Irina Crush versus international, such a young international master, Crazy. Alice Lee. Three wins, one loss, and six draws in classical chess. Definitely, Irina is besting Alice up to this point, but I have to say, Alice, with every year that passes, she becomes mm. stronger and stronger. And there's a very interesting fact as we are entering this uh, Champions Finals and getting closer to the Grand Final. No player coming from the elimination bracket has ever won the American Cup in two previous editions. As you can see, Fabiano Caruana was the winner in 2022 alongside Grandmaster Irina Crush. And in 2023, a player that we miss in this event, that is Grandmaster Hikaru Nakamura. But I have to say, Hikaru did lose his first match against in the Grand Wesley's Finals against, against Wesley. So. And then, man, to come back and win he got the two final. Lives. Two lives, that's it. They're so <laughs> important, those two lives. And of course, uh, as usual, we do have the sensei closer to the action, closer to the playing hole. Kostya, what do you have for us? What do you see in today's rounds? Thanks, Christian. Hello, Yasser. Hello, Anastasia. Yeah, I think it's going to be another uh, absolutely fantastic day, a day five American Cup. Um, some huge, huge finals here. I mean, for me, the main focus has to be on the, the trilogy. You know, once again, we have Alice Lee, Irina Crush in the final. Um, I'll remind the viewers, you know, they faced off against each other in both 2022 and 2023 with Irina winning in both uh, tournaments. But if movies have taught me anything, guys, this is the third time. This time, I think Alice is supposed to win. Obviously, anything can happen, but she gets stronger with every year. And um, so far, she's done absolutely incredible this year. So I think she absolutely has uh, a huge chance to uh, pull off the upset. Then I want to switch over to the open section, actually. And I want to talk about the elimination bracket, because for me, these matches are very interesting. Starting with Caruana against Dominguez, another one of his seconds. First, Fabi had to play Grigory. Now he has to play Lanier. Uh, Lanier, super solid player. This is going to be uh, rapid chess. Fabi, he lost to Levon yesterday. So, uh, you know, we'll see what kind of form he's in today. And of course, he is going to be hungry to uh, bounce back. Then jumping over to the other match, we have Sam Sevian against Wesley So. These two, they've traded victories against each other in the US Championship. And for me, this is actually a very interesting clash of styles. Wesley So is super solid. Sam Sevian, however, is a very dynamic, very tactical, aggressive player. So I think their rapid match today is going to be an absolute brawl. Um, overall, guys, tons of great chess ahead of us, and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Thank you indeed, Kostya. And, uh... Well, we've been witnessing some great chess. The players are fighting very hard because they're fighting for the biggest prize fund in American 
cup history. Tell exactly. Us about it, it's 400,000 in total and 250,000 for the open section. The winner will get 75,000 wow. back home. Something to fight for. Second right. place, 55,000. Third place, 30, all the way till 10,000 for the last place. Champions bonus, win all the matches and get 15,000 more. That's how sweet it is. It's <laughs> <laughs> so easy. Right. It sounds. And for the ladies? And for the ladies, it's 150,000 total prize fund. 40,000 will get the winner of the tournament. 30,000 the second place. 20,000 third place. And the champions bonus is 9,000. Absolutely. As we get ready uh, for play to begin, we go to the playing hall as we see Alice Lee waiting for Arena Crush. And, uh, and I what, just want to say, yes. yesterday was the worst time to lose if you were in the champion's bracket. Because the elimination bracket got a rest day. You're not getting that rest day. <laughs> exactly. So you're still in the elimination bracket, but you're facing against a player that is rested, right. has gotten a day off, he's re-energized, he's not coming you. off a loss, prepared for you or for your opponent. Right. It doesn't really matter, but it was the worst time to lose in the champion's bracket. And there we see Wesley So. Uh, Versus Zoe, Zoe, as they shake hands. And again, as uh, Ray Robson and Lavon Aronian uh, prepare to square off, I'll just say that in, for Ray, in 2022, he was fourth place. In 2023, he was seventh place. If he wins this match today, he's at least first or second. So this is a, a big, big match. For Lavon Aronian, he is placed second. Uh, second place in 2022, and he was third in 2023. He is used to playing in these finals, and they are playing on the spy cam set. Exactly. Uh, there is a resting pad uh, for both players that uh, is between the king and the queen, that black pad. And that black pad, which is very comfortable, by the way, is also a camouflage for our spy cam. Which We're is giving away too many secrets. Too yes. many secrets. And no rare options still. I think he is late for the game. Oh, or maybe yes. now. There he is. Ah, yeah, okay, here's. Yeah. Actually, it doesn't count. You gotta get your coffee, you gotta get your Correct. tea, you gotta White. get your water. E2, E4. Uh, Ray has made it very clear. I am going to defend the open Sicilian and specifically the Knight of Christian. That's exactly most likely why Levon is choosing E4. In their previous matchups, I remember it was a battle in the English. Right. Uh, C4 was Levon's opening of choice in the previous years when they met. Right. But right now, with E4, he's definitely saying, look, I'm looking to target your Nidorf. You've played it twice already. Sure, you got great positions. And by the way, you show that you know how to play the Nidorf, but I still have some ideas in the back pocket. Except, in his match with Fabi, he ducked the open Sicilian. He played e4 and then played the G3. King's Indian attack with d3 yes. and G3. knight of 3 yes. and g3. Uh, will we be seeing an open? And in uh, the rapid, we've seen the open, but actually the bishop b5 line, yes, Sicilian, because he just needed right? to do he ducked it. In this he ducked it. He didn't want to see the knight of. So that's an option as well. In case Levon goes knight f3, Ray responds with d6, which we do expect. Fabiano, by the way, in their classical matchup, responded with e6. So it was a bit of a different wrinkle. Well, knight f3. And by the way, uh, for those of you who are watching, I really like what Ray just did. He yes, made I his it move, also. <laughs> then he adjusted all of his pawns, all of his pieces. And when he had completed his adjustment, then he pressed his clock. Exactly. He didn't uh, do it for the opponent's time. Exactly. Yes. And that's very, very uh, sportive. And D4. And here we go. D4. Yep. Uh, we are about to witness a very serious theoretical battle. And for, you know, chess purists, they love... It when two very well prepared players oh, come to cross swords for uh, theoreticians as uh, well, especially theoreticians going into the candidates. You know, uh, yeah. all the theoreticians are watching this and exactly. they're asking, "Hey, Levon, what do you have against the Knight? Or show us, <laughs> show us the way. Show Maybe us the way. you have something. <laughs> Give us some advantage, please. Give us something. Yes. <laughs> A direction, I, please. Exactly. It's so difficult, right? And Wesley did try this Bishop E three, Bishop to G five. Not very successful in my opinion. Um, we'll see if Levon is going to find something else. And the thing about the Nidorf is that you can play so many moves at move six after the mm -hmm. move a six. We've even seen bishop d2 
the very funny looking move bishop to d2 after right. uh, the move a6 h4 is an option h3 of course bishop p3 and bishop g5 are just the to main remind ideas. our viewers what you were saying about mm -hmm. in that the in match of wesley so that's what this wesley was did. this is what wesley tried I bishop d3 there bishop you go d3. Ooh, something what is this called what is it? I don't called? know if it has a name. <laughs> Everything has a name. For sure. For but... sure it has a name. It may be it may be silly, it may be obscure, but not then... yet. At least not according to no? what I'm seeing on my screen. No, it's, it's still called the open Nidor variation, which at the moment it is mm -hmm. the open Nidor. We can call it after Levon, it's okay. Bishop TV3. From now. <laughs> I, I think it has been played quite recently, if I'm not mistaken by Magnus, but I might be mistaken in that regard. I've seen it recently at the top level, uh, mostly in Rapid and Blitz. Speak to the move. Tell, tell me why would you would play bishop d3 as opposed to the other alternatives. So my understanding is that once you play e5, I will have uh, knight e2 and the bishop will not uh, be on f1. So okay. I can easily just go castle. Uh, very quickly, right? I don't have to move my knight anymore. Right. And that's going to allow my knight only to, to stay there and then potentially support a push of f4 in that situation. With f4, if you do take on f4, then I can take with the knight. This type of ideas. Of course, these details, you really need to understand them. You really need to experience them as well. You need to play training games in these variations to actually understand them very well. And I have to say, I haven't played too many games in this bishop to d3. Uh, <laughs> you had me convinced there, uh, Coach. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I mean, maybe you have the same th as, as I. I have this innate fondness for the dragon. Mm. And I, I've liked the dragon, except I have always had a problem. The Yugoslav attack yeah, that's a big uh, was simply too complicated for me to fully understand. If you're going to put your bishop on d3, if that's not an open invitation to play uh, the dragon. I, I, I can't imagine what is. Uh, be, only because it seems like the knight on d4 could easily be attacked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's a slightly different dragon, right? <laughs> Because you do have course. the pawn on a6. Of course, of um, course. I, which we generally used... see sometimes, but later yeah. in the dragon, we see that pawn coming to a6. I've committed a tempo. Against the move bishop d3, coach, uh, what is the most popular response? Let's take a look. Uh, the openings that base tell us that e5 is the main option, which we already kind of discussed. Mm -hmm. e5, knight to e2, uh, this idea, bishop to e7, and later on with the move f4. So castle, you don't have to go knight to g3, you don't have to commit this knight somewhere else because the bishop is already out. You're going to support f4 and maybe dream of taking with a knight, attacking a potential bishop, landing on e6, get the knight to d5, things of that nature. Uh, but he decided to go with g6, which again, as you mentioned, it's a very natural response, right? Right. Against the bishop on d3, why not put the bishop on g7, uh, hit the knight on d4, or have the potential to hit the knight on d4? It's a very natural response. And what surprises me right now is that Levon is actually thinking. He yes. <laughs> why is he thinking? Because again, it's one of the main moves. You can go f3, you can go castle. So you can choose a very aggressive approach with f3, then bishop to e3, and saying that, hey, look, I understand, I do have my bishop on d3, but you haven't really won as much. You placed your pawn on a5, which sometimes A6. doesn't make that much sense, right? Sometimes in the dragon we even see a5 directly True. in one move. So it's a battle of tempis. Who actually lost the important tempo? Who That's benefits. a question that the players are going to answer in the middle game. Hmm. Your take, Anastasia? Who benefited most by the inclusion of the move bishop d3? against a6 from a dragon. Yes, I just can only bet on it, you know, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I will go with Levon because, I mean, he's my pick. So still, it's easy for me to, to make a choice. He is your I admire pick. your yeah. loyalty, Anastasia. Yes. Yes. Uh, your loyalty is uh, beautiful. Uh, g7, g6, and uh, sorry if you don't mind, just what is the main uh, F3 and castle. F3 Those and are the, the, the main ideas. Castles. Again, castle or F3 if you want to be a bit more aggressive. Um, for the moment, this knight on d4 is it's not being x-rayed. I do have uh, knight takes e4. 
F4 looks far too risky. It's too risky. Yeah. Uh, you have to go king H1. King if I'm going to play F4, and I think I should be playing. Well, in fact, if you go F4 directly, I have a feeling that maybe oh, queen, B6 queen B6 might yeah, be yeah, yeah, yeah. very problematic. Exactly. Uh, I'm used to seeing these lines. Let's, let me just put a line on the board for a moment. Uh, king H1, castles, F4. I am used to seeing, I think they used to call this the Nottingham variation where you know you would play knight c6 i would play knight f3 and then i'd try to sneak my queen to e1 and h4 mm -hmm. oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> right. oh my god what, i don't want to see it <laughs> he's trying to but it's levar's move so <laughs> okay i guess he can take his time to a, oh not sure this is what really he's doing nice so, uh, the I spy mean, car the spy camera is doing really well very revealing i mean <laughs> Oh no! Yes. I mean, what a picture it could be. Also, this you has know, to and, become and one of those memes. As a photographer, yeah. I, oh, now he's like, okay. I think Ray looked like me watching a horror movie. I don't want to see. I don't want to like, look, the look at this position. The yes. I mean, this is what happens when you play with Levon. You know, right. you don't even want to look at it. So Bishop B2. I think I was wrong. Yeah, sir. <laughs> what was that, Bishop? B yes. Uh, I think he played. Uh, ah, no, maybe no. we're watching B B Bishop d3, g6. And, and he played bishop d2. What? Yes. <laughs> the moment I said that who will benefit, you ask me. Uh, I mean, wow. I know, I know what okay. you want to say Le now. Le Normally Le we don't play No, Levon, Levon, for me... That is a funny one. He's one yes. of the most creative players <laughs> yes. I've ever had the joy of uh, calling his games. But... I would have lost a lot of money. On Bishop E2. <laughs> I don't know how you Christian, but yes, yes. I didn't see Bishop E2 coming. It, yes. it has been played a few times. No way, really. Not too many times. Seven times, at least according to that. Some people who wow. didn't know the rules in the opening decided right. to play with, with Bishop two I'm times. I'm sorry, yes. I made a mistake. Not yes. Bishop D3, Bishop, <laughs> Bishop E2. E2. Again, he's really saying that I do want to play against a dragon. Okay. And even dragon with bishop to e2 is fine with me. It's fine for black. For I'm white. ready to lose any tempo, but you and just I'm made the wrong choice. You... Yes. you push the wrong pawn. That pawn on g6 <laughs> is right. going to be your downfall. That's what Levon is saying. Okay. Do you believe him? No. That's, that's a good <laughs> question, you. yes. If you... no. I mean, again, I'm very sympathetic to the dragon. That is a... I used to play the dragon really? oh, for I, quite a while. I, yeah. I think uh, a, a lot of us have. Uh, bishop e2, bishop e3. So just go ahead and, and, and help me out here. Why is Levon attracted to this position? Is he planning on going queenside? Oh, yes. No, oh, yes. absolutely. Oh, yeah. No, he's trying to play like a normal dragon. Put the bishop on e2, go bishop e3, queen d2, long castle. That's exactly really? what, yes, he's just saying that bishop e2, um, the loss of tempo, it doesn't really matter that much because you played the move a6. And to be honest, okay, I'm looking at the knight c6 line, but after queen d2, since I did play the move a6, Why I might as well try it? to go b5, right? Let's, let's make a benefit. b5 yeah. is one of the main moves. And the problem with it seems to be bishop f3 might be posing some very serious problems very early on because you don't have the defense bishop e5, b7 yes. because of e5, yes. Mm -hmm. That's a big problem, right? e5, you take on f3, i take um, on f6. And if you do take on e5, this is just going to be a much better position for me, if not winning after taking on d4. You don't have where to put uh, the rook. So you're losing material in this certain lines, right? It's mm -hmm. not so stupid. Let's just put it this way. It's not so stupid, this bishop d3, bishop e2. I provoked you, I'm going back. I want to play a slightly better dragon. Wow. Uh, stunning coming out of the opening. Apologies that we got stuck on this game. Usually we like to go around yes, and explore yes, yes. No, but, all the various yeah, sir, games. Did you pay attention like two, three times? I told you Bishop B2 and you couldn't <laughs> believe your eyes. Like you play Bishop D3 and next I, move you play Bishop B2. No. Anastasia, I thought I was on a different game. Yes, yes, yes. like, wait a minute. Yes, you exactly. Know, it took some time. Uh, so somebody else in the tournament hall has the same position. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I want to go to, again, these... Uh, two great women's players. It, it feels like a, a, a collision was inevitable. I mean, when you see how they both have played their previous two matches, 
awesome. Both really of them, yes, impressive. they won 2-0 uh, the first day to make sure that have such a huge advantage exactly. in the match. And it was really hard for their opponents to come back and exactly. it just won so clearly. And for Irina Crush, I don't know if she was inspired by Levon's uh, play <laughs> yesterday yes. against uh, Fabi, but she repeats uh, the same line. I, I think actually Levon put his queen on e2 a little bit earlier, er, early rather than rook e1. So uh, Irina's playing the king's Indian attack rather conventionally, uh, let's say. And again, if you remember that, that game, B5, one yes. of the mm -hmm. strange... Uh, ways that Levon played. Yes, he, was he to decided trade to the exchange lights, this, those bishops. The, yes. the dark square bishop. Mm -hmm. uh, this has actually always been, you know, a, a kind of a fun game where white maneuvers his pieces over to the king side. Black oftentimes gains some space on the queen side and a real clash of styles. We'll keep an eye on this one and back over to you, Christian. Well, what perhaps we should go to the rapid right. games for sure. a second, right? Because we do have a few very important rapid games, one of them being this one between Wesley So and Sam Sevignon. And you mentioned at the beginning of the show, this is a style, uh, a clash of styles. Yeah. Sevian is obviously Kostya. a very tactical uh, player. I think it was uh, Kostya indeed. Mm. And of course, Wesley Soy is much more of a tame beast, right? right? He just wants to keep the position positional, right? Mm -hmm. This is the way he likes to play. E4, E6, D4, D5, take a look at this. We have the French. Mm. Haven't seen the French occur at the top level in a while. And this is all theory until this point. This move, A4, is not a it great move. It looks like it's condemned by the computer, I see. Right. That orange and uh, That's mark. because you're giving me this very important square, and you've already committed this rook to E1, so you don't have the time to transition this knight back to perhaps a better square, C3, or maybe even F1, H4, H2, go towards the king side, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have that option. So now you're a bit stuck in the position, and okay. that's exactly what's happening. Take a look at this. F5, H4, bishop to e8, h5, knight h8, and f4. Now, wow. of course, we Here expect we, go. <laughs> we expect rook takes f4. Yes. Wow. We expect rook takes f4, perhaps even knight to d4 afterwards. We expect Queen fireworks in this one. Let's see the players and try to get a sense of how they're feeling about their respective positions. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can see Sam. Sam, is Sam looks like a bird of prey oh, right yes. now. I mean, he hawk-like. Uh, he's confirming. Focus. He's what did this his move calculation. Intentionally, yes, sir. What f4? Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, rook he, f4. well, rook takes f4 is something I definitely uh, be eagerly eyeing. But knight takes d4 also, is knight perfectly takes d4. okay yeah, so which with one? me. That's a move as well. You yeah. know, I'm just mm -hmm. trading pawns and... I Knight takes d4, the problem is you allow this queen to g4 and maybe I'm getting oh, closer I'm to your sorry. king yeah, as well. You, you know, it's funny that you should say that. I forgot about the knight on h2. I was thinking knight takes d4, queen g4, question mark, mm. bishop takes d2, followed by knight f3 check. Uh -huh. I still have the knight on h2. <laughs> there is knight, yes. What, what is your knight doing on yeah. h2? For it the moment, I guess three. defending. <laughs> <laughs> I guess defending for the moment. Genius. We, we do have some moves. He did take on f4. He did. And queen, queen h4. h4. This Best is one. what I thought, queen h4. Is. Best way. Best I way said this. So, but, uh, it's all about the time. Yeah, you cannot move Six your queen. Six minutes against uh, 12 minutes. Because bishop will take on d2. I hate pins, you yes. know that, mm -hmm. rookie three. Get out Rook of the pin. Three, yes. Get out of the mm -hmm. pin, and maybe prepare to swing across. Defensively speaking. But there is bishop h5. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then using this one as well. Three, knight f3. I don't queen know. Queen f4. I mean, queen it's f4, a long yes. variation, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Wesley will really need all his defensive might to actually be able to survive this for the next few moves. Is it a so lot bad? of pieces is it so bad? are coming his way. And not so bad, but you need to be very precise. So rook to e3 is the right uh, wow, start. Yes, Bishop takes h5, knight df3 being the only move. Queen takes f4 and now queen to f1. So you basically have to get all of your pieces out of Dutch. This is not easy. Mm -hmm. Not easy stuff, uh, especially with so much on the line. But again, Sam Sevion doesn't have as much time, which might be problematic as we enter these crazy variations. What are the 
What are the times? Uh, almost a two to one time advantage. Yes, actually. six minutes for Sam against 12 minutes 40. I, I just look at this position. West. Can Black continue and, and take on d4? How many pawns we will already That's collect? One, <laughs> two, four, two six, pawns, yes. For, two, four, for the five, exchange. Two pawns. So he did. But we we, we do have some moves, well. by the way. We do have Please. some moves. It was knight d f three. Queen takes f four. Queen to c one. Really trying to get the queens off the board. And queen no, to f eight. No, 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 no. Very nice move. Not Very nice allowing move. the queen trade at all. Yeah. And, and now he's actually. And not blocking your bishop. Yes. So bishop h five is still possible. He's getting close to lost right now. Is wow. Wesley? Wesley's getting close to lost. Oh my goodness! This, this was uh, not very precise. This sequence from Wesley. Rook f one. Bishop takes h five. It's looking really good for Sam. Wow. Yeah, the queen is too far away, yes. So queen c1, somehow you lose your time. You didn't bring your queen to the king's side. Square. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe he missed this queen f8. Easy to miss this move, you know, very, when you move very, your queen back. Ve very easy. I was just turning our attention uh, to Begum for a moment. As well. I just wanted to quickly mm -hmm. uh, go around. She's playing against Zoe. It's the London system. Everybody's happy these days with the London. And Zoe decided that, well, you know what? You're welcome to keep your bishop on f4. I'm just going to clear the diagonal and I'm going to put my bishop on the uh, Fianchetto square. c3, castles, bishop e2, b6. And Begum uh, goes for this uh, Pillsbury attack, the okay. uh, American player from the 19th century, uh, Henry Nelson P Pillsbury. 95 h2, h4, sack, sack, mate. Yes, I to mean, quote Bobby h5. Fisher. She's h5, trying to f3. block. F3, no and hesitation. Just here we go. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, it, it, All in. It kind of feels like today is a little bit of a dragon day, <laughs> right? Is. Because of this whole G4, H4. Let's go. Knight takes. Knight E4. And uh, for the moment, White's king is yes. still in the center of the board. Hello. I mean, I agree. H4, H5 should properly scare me. Uh, but how are you going to follow up? Knight F3. Queen c8. Ask it some and questions. Zoe yeah. asks a question. What are you going to do? Knight to d4. And I think uh, we are now caught up with the players. This is actually a double edged position. I, I mean, if the king were on, b, on c1 or b1, yes. I would let's go. I mean, I, I play white. But here it's a question of can I um, take advantage of this weak pawn? And Zoe asked the question can she? She wants to take the pawn. Oh, yes, I mean, and look at this knight on the four. I don't like this knight. If I this is a beautiful white, knight. Yes. <laughs> it's yeah. really placed well. And, exactly. You, and how many moves I have to do to make the long castle? I mean, even queen d3 move doesn't help me because right. I don't even threaten it. Knight f2 will come. One, two, and yes, you're but, right. But still, it's, it's not even possible. Right, and so you would need to play a move, I don't know, like queen to c2 in order to be able to castle. But you're right, this knight on e4. But more saliently, Bishop takes e5. Yeah, I mean, the uh, queen can join the attack. If he, I, I really tried to find the move. You don't want to go back with your knight to f3, right? Well, no, even if you do, I go f6. Yes. And right? Knight f3, f6. And Zoe is the one with the initiative. All, again, these patterns should just be ingrained in our minds that you can never allow with the yes. knight on e4 this checkmating pattern. Oops. Nice. So, yes, your move f6, Christian, looks pretty scary, if you ask me. I think Zoe's doing really well. Maybe we can uh, take a look at what's happening in the Fabiano versus Lanier game okay. as well. Right. Take a look at this. You're saying g4 and h4. And the theme <laughs> They're it's also a it's in a this trend. position, yes. It's um, the theme. It's the theme. And this type of very imbalanced structure it just goes to show that everybody wants to win right now, especially right. players that are playing with the white piece. They're the ones dictating the way the game usually goes, at least in the opening phase. And mm -hmm. that's exactly what we're seeing. Very aggressive approach from all these players. Exactly. Um, looking at the other semi-final. Wow. And this so seems have... to be the accuracy graphic that our in rapid chess, so, which is I important. If I understand this graphic, this is in rapid chess only. Fabi, uh, his moves have been approved, if you will, by the engines 96.5% of the time. 
versus 93% of the time for linear. Pretty high for both still. <laughs> I'm saying at classical chess, that's a high mm -hmm. degree of accuracy at rapid, where you, you're, you're playing instinctively. Oh, yes. That's and impressive. I think this is that at is very, the very, American very, Cup, right? Very, very impressive. Yeah. And uh, just to complete uh, for the ladies, the um, elimination uh, bracket, we do have uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Nazi. and Nazi. Uh, it was a, I want to say, Catalan, one of those quiet Catalans. I've always liked these kinds of positions right here, this imbalanced position mm -hmm. from the white side, because those Fianchetto bishops, they, it's like the pressure, it, it's long lasting. It goes from the middle game all the way to the end game. And it, at a certain moment, I'm going to play b4, b5, and you know I'm going to play b4, b5, and I'm going to press on the queen side. Uh, whoops, that was strange, knight e4. That was an unexpected move. For me, uh, b4 is, is like a kind of an automatic, because I want to play my pawn to b5 and keep the pawn on c7, I think. Uh, Nasi was hoping that she could establish her knight on the c5 square, but Jennifer said, well, wait a minute. If you're going to block your own bishop, I'm going to attack the pawn? Whoa. Strange oh. things are happening suddenly. Rook yes. takes c7, takes, takes. Rook e8. And, and I think what? we've caught up with the players. Um, so white won't spawn on c7. E2 is hanging, but also b7 is hanging right now. Takes, if he takes it, I take on b7 and I'm pawn up. Yes. <laughs> so. So. Yes. But black pieces, I mean, yeah, I mean. It's a pawn. It's a pawn, and rook is on the seventh rank. I don't know mm -hmm. how it all happened very quickly. It it certainly did. Yes. Yeah, so here. F after f4, f4, black played, okay, knight c4 looks nice, I mean, because you want Reasonable. to play. Mm -hmm. I, I think she must have been prepared. I think Jennifer was expecting that she would play the move bishop takes e2, mm -hmm. and then she discovered that there, were, there must have been a problem with the move bishop takes e2. What do Which you think? Which problem? Because I th I'm king thinking about f2? king f2, but then bishop d3. And knight c5. Knight c5, knight rook e2, b. check if, or even... Knight takes b. It's, Even it's, rookie to check at the big first, no? What, sorry? I don't know. After knight c5, even I thought about check, but or it's too much. Yes, king goes to Where's f3, the maybe. Ah, rook is on f8, sorry. <laughs> I mean, somehow in my variations, rook is on <laughs> Rook is. Uh, yes, so yes, knight b2. Mm -hmm. she, she stole a pawn and uh, broad daylight there, uh, Christian. Oh, yes, absolutely. And uh, I like. Now see, uh, he's doing quite well. One upon. Uh, what do you have for us in the linear? Well, we should button. probably go to that game because it uh, has actually exploded. It linear. has completely exploded. The king on g3, the king side ready to be opened, and potential checkmates arriving against the black king. But I have to say, linear has been playing brilliantly up to this point, and objectively, right now, he's just simply winning. I don't see the attack. I do see. A rook coming to c2, give me one more move, I'll get the rook to c2, I'll put a lot of pressure on the second rank. You cannot really move this knight very well because rook to c3 is coming, queen takes d4 is coming. This knight is holding it together, but unfortunately it will be displaced by black. Rook to c8, great move by Lanier, not the very natural rook to e8, because unfortunately rook to e8 allows the move knight to c3. That's a discovery attack in this position. So very complex battle between these two players, but from an objective standpoint, Fabiano Caruana right now is in big, big trouble, trouble exactly. with the white pieces. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. That was, my, that was my feeling as well. Maybe we can analyze it on your board. This, sure. Uh, this game. Uh, it, it, it just it just felt that the the, the uh, opening didn't go very well. Not for, very well. Yes. Uh, Fabi over took too many risks. Like backside attack, and Black decided to play in the center. Like very I, typical idea. I'm okay yes. with G4, but after H5, I think it was necessary for Fabi just to try to uh, keep a grip. You know, you go G5 and you go Knight H7 and. Uh, he decided that he wanted to open up the king side, and he kind of forgot, well, 
it's actually his king yeah. is in the firing line. And uh, that move queen b6. a couple of question marks off there to move h6. Uh oh, let's go. We Last are... move that he just played, bishop takes d4. Well, h6 attacking the bishop, bishop takes d4, winning a pawn. <laughs> yeah, my response uh... is not very difficult. <laughs> yes, and Maybe it's... he's thinking that he's got something based on bishop to c1 and h7 and queen takes f7. Some tactics. But you don't have time for that. First of all, he took on d4. Yes, uh, of course, that's necessary. You've got to get rid of that. If I play bishop c1 immediately, bishop, bishop e5, e5 yeah, yeah. check would be a little bit awkward. Uh, so knight, knight takes d4, queen has. Right, so he took on uh, d4, to uh, queen takes d4, and rook to d1 is what we have on the board. Big now, threat of rook to c3. Mm -hmm. But big question after rook d1, can I go rook c3? Still? Looks what just transition into an endgame with two pawns up. Uh, he decided against it. He he played queen f6. No, rook c3 was I think the option. The, the, the problem is that pawn on h6 is is it? I think it's a very big asset in that specific ending. Yes. Uh, of even though I agree, two pawns normally you know you would say that should be winning for. But maybe he decides he has more in this position with this king. And, and uh, just to bring uh, folks who are joining us late, we are looking at two elimination, two elimination uh, matches going on. Uh, Wesley So uh, got tricked, I want to say, out of the opening. Sam Savian looks like he's in driver's position, as is Lanier Dominguez. Lanier two pawns to the good, and he's the one with an initiative as well. Rook c3 is a massive threat. To be honest, this one is looking close to just busted. Exactly, exactly. Uh, this this whole opening uh, just went south from the very start. We might actually see a, a resignation. Uh, Fabiano, uh, Fabiano uh, is sitting there and he's saying, okay, wow. how do I deal with the threat of rook takes f4? Queen takes f4, rook c3 check. How do I deal Maybe with rook, rook c3? Maybe rook g2? This one, yes. He played g5. Oh, g5. g5. Okay, well, the queen looks pretty cozy on f5. On f5. <laughs> yes. By the way, knight e5. That's a big threat. Uh, big. And again, I, I see rook takes f4 as a massive threat as well. Just to be clear, in this position, I could play rook takes f4, but why uh, give an exchange, right? How many pawns? <laughs> Actually, yes, you have like four <laughs> pawns, I, I, yes, for the exchange. It, 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 it's a lot of pawns. Maybe that's why Absolutely he's thinking, no maybe to, to transfer of course it into not. the sending. Of course not. Queen no f5, I, I would expect, uh, as well as queen e6? Something? What about time? Yes, it's still fine for linear. Actually, is ahead on time. Wow. Could you believe it? Wow. Well, it's that... five minutes against three minutes. For, Does for... not happen very often. <laughs> exactly. So the position is good and also his uh, time is really good. Right. Yeah. So, yes. Queen f5. Nice choice between queen f5 and wonderful choice. Four, yes. By the way, again, we talk about who has the initiative. Just look at Black's active pieces. His rook is on an open file. Ideas of rook c3 as well as rook c4 uh, yeah. in the pocket. So many This threats. knight is ready to come to e5. And I agree with you, uh, Christian. You said uh, it's so bad, we might be looking at resignation yes. very, very yes, shortly. Yes. Well, rook c4 is a big threat. Knight e5 is a big threat. Huge. Tell me what is not a big threat. Yes, and, it's hard to find a move for white. And right this now. bishop is actually playing more of a defensive role. Then yes. an offensive role, the spawn on h6 is crying out, like, come and checkmate, but it's not possible for white to get his queen on the long diagonal. Like, for example, like bishop c1, maybe you can try to trade the queens, but. <laughs> is that. A, I is mean, that I'm just lucky? trying. Yeah. I'm just trying. I know, I know. I, I know. know. Just maybe to demonstrate how, what's going on here. I mean, oh. that black even can just take, yes. Take a 95 yes. check, just transfer the knight to a great square. And, Again, two, two pawns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just... He's played rook to c1. Rook c1, yes. Trying to trade this active rook. Something smells fishy. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I can just 
take everything on C1, F3, knight E5. Right. Even That's a couple of pawns yes. to the good. You can only go to G3. Of course. What if you play knight E5 right away? Because just look at mm -hmm. the forcing moves first. Yes. Capture. Correct. Captures. Always. Check. Just to liquidate everything, right? And the thing is, king f2 runs into knight, knight d3. d3. <laughs> right. So you have to go king g3, that forces the uh, rook trade as oh well. Oh my goodness. Like, and now, the just... only question is, is this pawn, again, is it... Is it no, it, it, it should be completely... Is it right? as important, basically? Yeah, is, yeah, is, is yeah. You can, can, can you make my life difficult? But to be honest, how do you actually stop d3 and exactly. d2? Um, I'm probably going to D3. go... D3? And then knight c4, yeah? Mm -hmm. knight, c, knight f3, actually, I'm going to. Oh. Or yes. maybe knight c4 as well. Yeah. Much simpler. Knight c4 and d2? Yeah. And you can put your king on... I H guess A four and, but it's it's two pawns. It's well, a, the big question is even if I can go D two right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I could go D two yes, and then King H seven and F six. Yes, King H seven and F six. And something like this, and this is what you're just. So this looks like cruise control for. Take Lanier. Six, yes, and yes. All he needs to do is just calculate precisely. And rook that's why he's C1. taking his time right yeah, now. Yeah, rook takes c1 looks uh, absolutely convincing. Sorry, uh, Anastasia, you were saying that there was also a very strong... And by the way, yeah, you were saying that there's even a stronger move after rook c1? No, I think I think that there was an option. Ah, no, you cannot play knight d5 because rook c8 is... Um, um, he has still rook c8, yes, so he decides Lanier just says, to keep the rook, yes. Le, 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 no trading. Lanier no says, trading. excuse me, I'm the one with the attack. <laughs> Why I may do, I? Yeah, I may be two pawns up, but with your king way over here, I would like to explore my attacking potential with knight e5. I think he's right. Uh, rook c1 technically was a win, but this looks, I mean incredibly strong d5 d4 rook e3 knight e5 all on black's agenda um find the move yes, find the move there's no more moves i think it's really difficult decision to make for Fabio. only one minute 15 seconds By the left way, i mean time is running also for fabi uh that would be quite so bishop a d2 he plays from one Queen's trade. Yeah, from one moment you're you're, you're playing on board one, uh, next moment you're, you're facing an elimination uh, game. You were saying, uh, Christian, coming into the show, that yesterday was the worst day to lose mm -hmm. because the elimination <laughs> players they got had arrested. a free day. They got yes. arrested. You did And he you played four the... games, actually, yesterday. He played classical game, then rap, followed by rapid game, and imagine two blitz games. He As played well. four, your opponent had none. And those... <laughs> Blitz games were nerve nervous affairs. You you use a lot of energy uh, playing those types of games. Bishop Maybe you D2. can tell us, Yasser, because yes. you've played at this very high level for a very long time. How draining are these difficult days, tense days, where you battle until the last game, until oh, the last it, moment? You know, it, it, it's especially amazing. if you lose. Yeah, it, it, it's amazing. I always felt myself to be a physically fit kind of guy, and I enjoyed you know, a day of football and running and everything else. But after a long, long day of chess, I just wanted to go back to the hotel <laughs> and do collapse. a face fall up on the bed and just get my rest. Losing? Yeah, that drains you that, even more. That's even hard because then you can't sleep. <laughs> then then also, the games are going through your mind. Think about it, Yasser. You also need to prepare for the next round. Exactly. Uh, and he has to play four rapid games, so, which means you have to be ready with white and black. And at least maybe you don't need to go through the lines, but you have to have an idea like what are you going to play against this or that. And exactly. in case if you are losing the match again, maybe you need to change you your strategy. So all the thoughts are going, you are going through all these ideas and... It's terrible, yes. terribly, terribly draining. By the way, rook h1, I don't think of this as an indication of, a, of um, an attacking uh, yes. potential or anything like that. It's more like you may have to cover your king and protect mm -hmm. your king. Do you go king yourself? I would, uh, that was exactly my thought as well. Uh, 
I think knight e5 may very well be winning, but a move like king h7 just taking away any chances of play based on h7 um, gets my nod, but let me be a little bit the devil's advocate here, knight e5. So h7. H7. Ah, you have bishop c3. I do have bishop c3 because yes. d4 runs into queen takes I, c4. I always thought I was having, and he's done it, king h7. Bishop c3 uh, does pin the knight Rook and h4. D4. Okay. King h7, rook h4, trying to trade some throw with two pieces. Something, uh, you know, and get rid of these the, this rook. Yeah, your position cannot be good if you are trying to trade your queens and exactly. in, and ready to go for the ending with two pawns <laughs> down. <laughs> it's it's, it's like, not a good sign. Yeah, please, I want an ending two pawns down. What? What did I just say? <laughs> yes, but you know, Fabi is still playing because he knows that if um, Linear will think one minute more, they will have same amount of time. Speaking and, of which, and again, mm -hmm. there, there there will be some chances. Like you, if in the at the moment you will need to find a decisive move. Maybe mm -hmm. your opponent will fail to do so. That, that's why rapid chess is different from classical chess. If it was the classical game, he would have resigned, I think, already some time ago. But in rapid chess, you still you have some hopes. Exactly. The clock is uh, such an important feature. Uh, queen d6 check, bishop f4. Is it time at last just to play knight e5? And just, you can. Yes, uh, you can bite, go knight, knight uh, bite the bullet and say, okay, let's trade off the minor pieces. I don't like setting that pin yeah, for he, myself. Yeah, he, he did play knight e5. Well, it, it's a very fine move. Well, yeah, the he problem doesn't want is, to trade, yes. is, is the queen has to go because... Uh, you, you, you've got to keep an eye on the a3 pawn. Queen takes a3 check would break the pin, win the pawn, and also invite an invasion on the f3 square. Queen b3, clock times. You, you're saying it's all about Four can linear. Again. Yes, it's already 20 seconds difference. That's, Remember there were times when linear had three minutes that's more. That's what I was thinking, yeah, that uh, those, the, the, those minutes just went by very quickly. Rookie seven? Just defending the pawn on b7, um, maybe, yes, yeah. Well, <laughs> These also, are nice moves, yes. Yeah, also on maybe a good day, so on the board. I'll play d4 without having to worry about a queen takes f7. And here we go, Linear has less time on his court compared to, <laughs> to Fabi. He played last moves really fast. Well, I, you know, coming into this show, I, I, I spoke with Ben Underwood, and he was saying that... Uh, once you get past the move 40, once you get past move 40 and you get into end games, statistically speaking, um, Lanier has not been playing, of all of the players in the field, Lanier has, has been playing the most in accurate chess. In accurate, yes. In accurate uh -huh. chess in the ending. Uh, Queen c6, rook h1. Looking to get that rook to c1. And again, he's kind of keeping an eye on the f7 pawn. The desirable uh, d4 could be met with bishop takes f4 and rook f7. Knight c4. Knight c4. Knight c4. Knight c4. Uh oh, uh, my spidey sense is tingling. Knight, rook, rook e3. Rook f3 probably have to play to cover the square. Sam Sevian wow. defeats Wesley so with the black pieces. Wow. Defeats okay. the favorite with the black pieces, and it could happen in the other game as well, in the one that we're just watching. Congratulations to Sam. Uh, very impressive uh, exchange sacrifice. Yes, Rook F3 is on the board. Yes. Yes, and look at, look at time, 17, 17 seconds. 17 seconds. Oh I would bring this queen back to the E6 square, because I just want to, what, Knight Knight goes E5? Back. Knight you have the option of going. What, Even rook, rook to c1, perhaps, now it's well, an opportunity. I, I, I was thinking that the queen actually isn't all that great shakes anyway on the c6 square. So rook c1, queen e6. I'd still be eye, eyeballing the g4 square. Rook, rook f2, f2. Queen, queen e6, e6. exactly. Rook h4, he goes back and defends g4 That's square. by the way, the second repetition. <laughs> Although I think the position is a, yeah, yes. a little bit different. Yes. You're right. Okay, now knight 
No, C4. not knight c4. No, now was the time for knight c6, ah, followed knight by knight d4, d4 and, and knight, knight f5. f5. Wow, what a nice uh, that's, journey for the knight. That's that's a score. Wow. Okay, but he does have knight e3 and knight <laughs> f5. The same idea, but getting I like your this knight c6, yes. Right. Knight c4, knight Plus, e3 is mm. also a big threat. Look to f3. Look to f3. Okay. If the knight goes back to d6, there is no way that I would allow this knight to get to f5. So you'll like trade it, it or yes. Not, I'd enough have to take enough. it. You have but to take knight it, but d6. That's, but I think this yes. is actually. Yes, Bravo, so look, Lanier. look, look, but it's losing maybe after after losing, you take yeah. queen d6 check. Where do you go? Anastasia, oh. I'm two pawns down. Yes, I agree. It's losing in any case, yes. No, well, this, is, a problem. Yes. this is mate. Rook takes think, h4, yes. if you go king h3. He, could, he was, could lose, actually, it's a funny line. If he goes king h3, it's rook h4 and queen h2, something like this, yes? Yes. Like a checkmate. Exactly. Yes, first take, yes. First take, yes. And, and check. Check, rook you're e4. You're absolutely e4. right. And rook yes. e4. That would have been winning. Yes. That was why... He uh, played rook f4, yes. Fabi okay. had to play rook f4. That was no choice. Oops, excuse me. Rook h4 to f4, Ten, no choice. Eight seconds, seven, seven. seconds. <laughs> okay, he takes the rook. And rook e4? Yeah. And rook e4, yes. As simple as that. How does this take you? Okay, here we go. It's What about this ending? Well, you can go b5. You, <laughs> you actually don't need even to take, yes? Not you yet. can. Not yet. You can enjoy. B5. And b5, b5 and, and a5. a5. Queen e5. Okay, king threatening king. on g5, so king g4 was the only move. And, and oh, lock, that's nice, a, queen f5. That's a pretty, pretty, pretty. And if pretty king g3, queen g5, yes, yeah. nice. Okay, Lenier okay. takes lead in the match. Uh, all, all decisive games, and I've just gone over to the ladies, and uh, it's the Nasi versus Jennifer Yu and. Whoa, I see, an, a, a, I see an, extra an extra knight, knight but uh, this pawn Whoa, was advanced. It should be winning it 19 be. seconds but for some Jennifer. But some king f3, king g3. <laughs> it's a little bit weird, right? Yes. King g3, okay. King f1. She, king look, look at Nazi, you know, she's like confused with this move. Knight what? to d1? And then I think she does not want to allow rook h2. I think she'll give a check, yes. Check and looks good. King yes. f3. What, one more check? check? Because the threat is rook a1. Yes, so she'll <laughs> give one more check for sure. Defend the knight, and now maybe he'll push a pawn. Now knight e4, maybe, right? Knight e4 is a very strong move, 94, but I like what you were saying yes, she will push about the pawn. h6. H6, yes. And not to allow rook h2. I think that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Well, she went for it. And uh, that looks winning. No, but rook e1 check, for example, king, king e2, e2, a2. And now... With the idea, if I play h7, I play rook e1. Exactly. exactly. I like this move, rook to b2. Just keep the rook on the but second now, track. something like check, right? Check. To h, you... I don't know, f4? Yeah, for example, mm -hmm. yes. And now here. The, the sad news? Mm-hmm. You can't ah, play, you can't play uh, rook to h1 and trade pawns, which is a dream. So it's lost. Yes, yes, so it's lost. Let me just refresh my board. So we are not going to face uh, knight and rook against rook. It seems like this pawn will be promoted <laughs> sooner exactly. or later. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we do have, after h6, Jennifer played rook, rook b2, h7, Ah, tricky. A2. Now she threatens to play rook b1. And A2. then. 94 check. Uh, nice. 94 check. King had to go to g4. And I'm assuming it's time to stop queen's mate. And exactly. <laughs> this is what happened, yes. And by the way, the knight is ready to defend the pawn. Should the rook. Oh, that's a very nice setup, yes. Yeah, should the rook slide over with the intention of capturing the pawn, I would take on h2. And knight f6. That's a great check. setup. Nice. She found it. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. She found it very nice beautifully. Way. So it seems Nazi is finish. about to win. Yes, as nine seconds for Jennifer. Let's not forget she played the classical game against Irina Crush yesterday uh, and also I think she the just game. Ah! Yes. She did. Yes, she so did. Jennifer lost on time, but the position was also really bad already. Was losing. Was losing. Yeah, and let's go to the the final game, uh, I think, is it Zoe? 
Yeah, begging is, we is kind playing of, uh, against Zoe. Remember with this we, knight on the four, the yes, superior knight? Yes, we lost track. Oops. Bishop ending. Exactly. Two that versus two. Very much like a draw. Draw. <laughs> very much like a draw. Very much indeed. I don't think there's any way any of the players can make any progress. No. Clock a factor, Anastasia? Um, at 40 the moment, seconds. Yes, they, will, they have enough time, I think, to make moves in descending. But nobody can offer a draw. Well, so the they should keep playing, and only repetition is possible. They, they can discover repetition. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know uh, much about Zoe, uh, but I do know coming into these big events and your first experience, it can be really a disaster because you're just not used to facing um, such strong opposition every single game. Mm -hmm. And I must say, I'm, I'm impressed by uh, Zoe's performance. She came in and in her first match against the number one seed, Arena Crush, she had the black pieces and she won the classical game. Exactly. She lost the match. But she got she she got in a very very good victory. And then she eliminated Tana Zutonsky from the tournament. I mean, a very very good US start. Champion. Yes, for Zoe. And it does appear she'll be holding Begum to in a draw position, yes. in this uh, in this game. And still, we have one game which uh, is still happening. It's between Irina Crash and Alice Lee, but they have those are classical, classical chess. Yes. Yes. So yes. we will come back to them. Exactly. A bit later. And of course, the uh, champions finals in the open section as exactly. well. Ray Robson versus Levon. Uh, Bishop C2, kind of an invitation to a king and pawn end game. Zoe said, well, there's a slightly odd chance that that king and pawn end game might not be Okay, good who's for playing me. for a win? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to understand uh, who's playing for a win. I don't know. I'm not one. sure. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to tell. With Begum, <laughs> when she played that move against Alice Lee, what was it, G7 or G7, something? yes. Playing for a win, I mean, Well, what? the thing is, she was lost anyway. Yeah, so okay. she just... But Alice had to prove trying, it, yes. right? And the first time she didn't prove it. So she should have just repeated instead right. of going G7. <laughs> exactly. It's like, who's playing for the win? Yeah. I just saw... Begum is a fighter. And I, I know for a fact that she still hopes that she can win this position. Obviously, she knows that she's very far away from that. But she's always trying to, to win. Right. What about if we exchange the bishops? Yeah, that was the question for me, too. King A3. I think it's a, it's a draw. Even, even that, it's always yes. a draw. Yes, it's always yeah. a draw, even if you manage to exchange the bishop. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought, but I was not sure. <laughs> Yeah, at some point you will have to uh, play a5, create the passer. And, uh, Remember Zoe playing trade. against uh, Irina Crush and winning this also powerful bishop ending with uh, some crazy idea. Yeah. So actually Zoe plays quite well in the ending. She also outplayed Anna Zatonsky in the knight and bishop ending. And the ending has always been throughout her history uh, the strength of Anna. Well, you know, she's exactly. in endings. Mm -hmm. Zoe comes here uh, in, in this competition as the lowest rated player. She's a bit unassuming, right? Right. And then she plays this masterful <laughs> exactly. end game, and you're right. like, yes, oh, yes, yes. I was supposed to be able to outplay you. Now <laughs> I got outplayed? Like, That's not fair. Right? You know, you have this expression, yes, if you play with somebody who's young and unexperienced, let's go for the ending, yes? Exactly. So what's going on here? Yeah. It's like it goes the other way around. I mean, it, it, It's funny that you should say it like that, because now I'm trying to remember who it was. He complained vociferously. Uh, his opponent was 13 years old, <laughs> so he says, what am I going to do? I'm going to force an ending. And he forced, an, off, I think. he forced an ending against Magnus Yes, Carlson. exactly, against <laughs> Magnus Carlson. Yes, yes, yes. That's, uh, that's Sokolov, yes. <laughs> yes, Sokolov's story, yes, I remember that he showed this game. Very, Quite unfortunate. <laughs> very, very unfortunate. Oh my god. I feel your pain. <laughs> No, but really, the skills of uh, playing ending, I mean, I always had lack of them and I always wanted to improve. But I, um, it's not the favorite part to study for most of the players. Well, I think the, the point of the ending, uh, as you play a career uh, full, you understand that the 
ending, most especially, teaches you patience. You have to be patiently nurse that this extra I'm pawn. Not, I'm not. Exactly. And <laughs> young players cannot sit on their hands. They're so impatient. And we're seeing the repetition right now. And now uh, they've gone back and forth in. Yes, and we can see the, the hand draw. in the game. Draw. Finish the well, we're going to have uh, some results coming your way uh, in the elimination okay. bracket, and uh, we're going to be catching up as well. And let me get. A, I've got. I've got to check in on Q Boutique. Well, what, yeah, what, 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 what do you think you're not ready for that? What I answer, know, yeah. but I got to get ready. I mean, you know. I, re I remember, let's say, some results. Yes, but, I mean, the most painful, of course, it's for Fabi because he lost this game. And Wesley saw against Sam Seven, also. yes. Two actually uh, top players managed to lose well, their Well, it's not just that, but for Wesley, mm -hmm. who I picked, by the way, <laughs> as uh, the winner of the tournament, for Wesley, when did you see Wesley lose two games in a row? Now, I understand he was drawing yesterday in that uh, game, but and he completely forgot about his clock, mm -hmm. and he overstepped in a position that he was marginally better. I understand, but still, we are talking Wesley So losing two games back-to-back. -back. That's Maybe, shocking. Maybe, yeah, sir, it's not his favorite format. You know, he didn't also play well in the World Cup last time in Baku. Uh, maybe he feels he uh, was a pressure, you yeah. know, when you have to win every time and if you, you need to come back. So maybe it puts mm -hmm. some kind of extra pressure on his shoulders. Tell us Hard about the results, Anastasia. Let's check the results. So we still have uh, the game of Limon Aranyan and Ray Robson on the way. They play classical chess today. So I, as we mentioned, Wesley Solos. I'm not used to seeing so many decisive results in yeah, the open section. You're right. Usually, usually they, they draw quite yes. a number of games. Two before. decisive results, yes, so far. And uh, it Wesley was Solis. Black winning both games. And in the ladies section? And in the latest section, we have one draw. As far as I remember, Begim Tohirjono just made a draw against uh, Zoe Tank. And Nazi Paikidze defeated uh, Jennifer Yu, right? Yes. I think it's 0 1. It, uh, uh -huh. So it, Nazi it, won the we, game. We, we against got the wrong Jennifer game. Yeah, Yu. Nazi has yes. won. So she's leading in the tournament at exactly. the moment, yes. Good. And now, before we go on break, it's time to check in with our good friends at Q Boutique and see what's going on. We have the American Cup men's and women's jacket. Elevate your style with the 2024 American Cup jackets available in both men's and women's styles. The sleek and sophisticated jacket is a comfortable fit featuring the iconic St. Louis Chess Club logo on the back of the neck and the bold American Cup logo on the left breast. This jacket is the perfect way to represent the prestigious 2024 American Cup sizing up recommended. I don't know what that means, sizing up, but it's recommended. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to take a break and we're going to see you on uh, the other side of the break. Don't go anywhere. We've got the classical games still underway. Exactly. That's sizing. sizing. How do you feel about the new format of this event with two time controls being played in the same day? Oh, I think it's fun. I think Tony is always thinking uh, <laughs> to spice it up and to make it interesting. Uh, I I generally love this tournament because you know the, the double knockout is, is a really good idea. And I think a lot of tournaments just understood how good it is and they started employing it everywhere. So it's, it's exciting. Well, it's interesting. I myself prefer it to be the same format, but that's just me. That's just my opinion. I just like when things don't change, uh, but it's for sure exciting. I'm very grateful to be part of this tournament. I, I still don't know 100,000% what the <laughs> new format is, but basically it We'll, we'll see how we'll see how it turns out it's very interesting especially because uh, uh, you kind of switch uh, time control from uh, game one to game two so you're playing both classical and rapid the same day so it could be a little bit tricky uh, but I think it's also a little bit more uh, exciting for the fans because uh, like last year uh, is with a few matches, like both classical games ended in a draw without much fight. And then players just proceeded to play tie breaks. 
Uh, this year it's just not possible because you have to play a rapid game after the first classical game and then you actually like have a more clear situation like going into the second classical game what is it so like what's what's happening in the match and uh, probably you're not going to force a draw yeah the format's very interesting usually it's uh two classical games and if it's tied we then play rapid but this time it's kind of show it's kind of like you have to show off your skills at different time controls at the same time so even if you don't do well in one of them you can come back in the other so, I mean, I don't think it's ever been done before, so it's it's a first and it's going to be exciting. Uh, I think it's fine. It's interesting. Uh, we won't know until we see it happen, but I've sort of always thought that classical chess is a bit too slow, which I think a lot of other people share that sentiment, but I think the solution is not to chop it all the way down to rapid chess, and I very much like the idea of having somewhat faster classical chess, and I think this will be fantastic. I actually really like the format. I've never seen it where it's uh, like classical and rapid on the same day, especially. Um, like not even just myself having played, but just seeing any tournament like that. And I think it's really interesting. Um, I'm a little bit worried that like I won't be able to like, you know, concentrate in the second game because I'll be like, or thinking about the first game where I'll be like tired or something. But um, I think it definitely makes it um, more exciting. And um, yeah, I think it's a good format. Yeah, it's, it's a bit unusual. It can lead to maybe some strange results. I think we might see that. Uh, it's a bit of an experiment, I have to say. So I'm never opposed to experiments, especially when we're not, you know, playing for, let's say, the World Championship or something, a tournament like this. It's a good uh, place to experiment a bit with the format and see what works and what's exciting. Uh, but yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I, I like in general the mix of classical, rapid, blitz, and so on. Uh, I don't know if I would have formatted it this way. But uh, we'll see. It, it definitely will be a fun event. And generally speaking, usually you get the most deserving winner, uh, regardless of the format. Usually you get the player who's in best form winning the event. The St. Louis Chess Club is the premier chess facility in the United States. We bring the educational benefits of chess to thousands of students across the St. Louis area. We also promote chess at the highest levels, hosting all levels of the U.S. championships, as well as high-profile tournaments that attract the world's best players. Become a member and enjoy perks such as free classes and lectures, weekly tournaments, and so much more. Visit stlouischessclub.org to claim your membership today. The World Chess Hall of Fame, located in the heart of St. Louis's historic Central West End. Want to know why chess has intrigued people around the world for nearly 1,500 years? Stop by and learn about the impact of chess from our three floors showcasing the art, culture, and history of the game. The World Chess Hall of Fame has something for everyone to enjoy. For more information on current exhibits, please visit worldchesshof.org. St. Louis, the chess capital of the United States. It also plays host to an award-winning shop dedicated to chess merchandise, all occasion gifts, and plenty more. At Q Boutique, you can shop both in-store and online. From quirky greeting cards to luxury chess sets, there is something for everyone at Q Boutique. Enjoy a shopping experience like no other. Make sure to check out QBoutiqueSTL.com for a wide variety of gifts for everyone to enjoy. The St. Louis Chess Club Scholastic Program brings the educational value of chess to kids and schools across the St. Louis area. Active in over 100 schools throughout the St. Louis city and county, the St. Louis Chess Club has been able to reach over 85,000 students in both in-school and after-school programs. We view chess as a valuable educational tool. Learn more about our scholastic programming by visiting stlouischessclub.org education. The St. Louis Chess Club is the premier chess facility in the United States and is among the best in the world. Thanks to co-founders Dr. Jeannie Cairn Sinkfield and Rex Sinkfield, the St. Louis Chess Club is a non-profit organization 
committed to promoting the game of chess locally and internationally. We bring the educational benefits of chess to thousands of students across the St. Louis area, promoting cognitive development, critical thinking, concentration, and analytical skills. The St. Louis Chess Club welcomes chess lovers of any age and skill level to come and enjoy the game of chess. We also promote chess at the highest levels, hosting all levels of the U.S. Championships and the American Cup, as well as high-profile tournaments that attract the world's best players, including the prestigious Sinkfield Cup, Cairns Cup, and many more. All tournaments can be streamed via our YouTube and Twitch channels that also include over 2,000 chess lectures for anyone to enjoy. Become a member and enjoy perks such as free classes and lectures, weekly tournaments, merchandise discounts, and so much more. Visit stlouischessclub.org to claim your membership today. And welcome back to the American Cup. We have day number five already, and let's have a look at the brackets. In the winners' champions, champions bracket for the moment, yes. uh, Levon Aronian is playing um, against Ray Robson. Well said. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you anything else? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and in the elimination bracket we have um, two matches. Uh, Wesley Soy is playing against Sam Savian right now. Um, I remember that Sam is leading in this match and Fabiano Caruana is losing against Lanier Domingos at the moment in as, his match. As both Sam and Lanier uh, both won with the black pieces as game two is underway. And in the women's championship bracket, in the Women's Championship bracket, we have super final for the moment. The Arena Sweet. Crush is playing against Ellisley. They have a classical game and um, they made all this way to the final after Arena defeated Nazi Paikidze and Ellisley managed to uh, win against the Begim Tahirjonova. Exactly. And uh, just checking in because, you know, somehow uh, with these elimination games, boy, they, they, they draw your eye as... Yes. Uh, Zoe. Yes, Zoe Tank is playing against Begim, Begim to her drone, but they will they are playing against already the second rapid game. Mm -hmm. Nazi Paikidze is uh, playing against uh, Jennifer Yu. Uh, all players still have chance to come back to the champions bracket, but it's still it's not that easy. They have to win a few games. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> and matches. Uh, and I'm just looking at the game of uh, Levon and Ray Robson and uh, it, it's so strange that uh, despite this weird moves, bishop d3, bishop e2, it's like the players achieve almost a normal position. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm kind of upset. Exactly. I'm frustrated because, you right? know, I was expecting queen d2, long castle, some crazy <laughs> attacks happening. No. He no. was like, oh, okay, you know what? I'm going to short castle. I'm a going to keep the position play. very conventional. I'm going to go for mm. a more strategical approach with the move a4. But take a look at what Ray is doing. Queen to d2 and now b5. This is a surprising attempt to simplify the position. I'm not convinced it works. A takes b5, a takes b5 or knight to d4 first. Bishop takes d4, take on b5. And I understand. You cannot take on b5 because of knight takes e4, and that's going to be, a, in fact, a good trade for black. I'm going to trade mm -hmm. this marginal pawn for uh, the central pawn. It's a beautiful trade. But what if I just simply defend right. with the move f3? I'm defending my center, and I'm asking you a very pertinent question. How do you defend your pawn on b5? Do you go b4? Right. What about knight to a2? How do you continue defending your pawn on b4, right? You simply don't have enough defenders ready to uh, defend that weakness, that liability in your position. The only, in fact, liability. Otherwise, your position is great. Black's position is very healthy. Beautiful bishop, the knight, everything is positioned perfectly. Unfortunately, the b4 pawn is going to be lost. Mm -hmm. And you have to sacrifice it at this point. You have to go b3 and hope that you have enough compensation for the lost pawn. But... You know that Levon is going to attempt at converting this one and it's going to be a very long defense for Ray Robson if he's forced to give up the pawn. So right. I'm looking at the position. I don't know exactly what the last move is. I do see a pawn on b5, I believe. So I do think that he just took on b5, which means that 
right now Levon is most likely uh, going to have a very simple long-term advantage yes, after knight takes d4, bishop d4, and the key move after a takes b5 is don't get tempted, try to calculate, picking up the pawn on b5, just, just simply go f3. So the other way to defend this pawn will be maybe to take on a1 and then play queen b8. I don't really like to play those moves, but maybe that's the only way how you keep the pawn alive. And what that's right. exactly... Yes. That's exactly why I don't think he will do it, because <laughs> it just looks very ugly. I absolutely agree it, with you. It, I'm just, it, it does look but ugly. if you ask me how to defend this pawn, maybe like queen e8 or what? I mean, we don't have really a great choice. You but can do take... that, but the problem is, even after queen to b8, mm -hmm. I can always just play the move b4. In and fact, just make cement sure that, that weakness on b5. Yeah. I have my rook coming to a5 next. Right. How do you defend? I'm still asking the same question over mm -hmm. and over again. Not that I know the answer. Rook to a5. <laughs> there is no answer. Yes. You're right. You're not defending this one, unfortunately. I, I'll go with the pawn sacrifice. I think. Uh, I three. think. Uh, I remember uh, Dr. John Nunn uh, playing these uh, variations with isolated queen pawn, mm -hmm. and he just lost his isolated queen pawn, and then he had no problems. Yes. You, do, you get rid of this pawn on b5. Just go with b4, b3. Okay, I'm a double pawn behind. Big deal. <laughs> Just big deal. It, 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 big look, deal. I, I hear it from you, Yasser, yeah, yes? big deal. You, you, I mean, you gave a pawn and you're right. fine. <laughs> and it, it is sort of like, okay, live with it. You can go e5, bishop e6, and d5, or d5 right away. Uh, mm -hmm. And the idea is, okay, how long will it take you for those uh, pawns to really be... Um, uh, worthwhile. I mean, uh, no, but after d5, immediately can I just take on d5? Oh, sorry. You yes, can... I think I can just. You take. know, it was funny. I, I actually <laughs> thought that. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Maybe first. So bishop e6. No, bishop e6, bishop c4. That's a little bit awkward. Maybe bishop e6, bishop c4, and then d5. d5? Wow. Um, yeah. Well, Check I will sacrifice later, yes. the pawn. I'll You're figure ready, it out. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I will figure it out. I, I wasn't on this game originally. I was uh, somewhere else. Uh, Bobby and Lanier are, are repeating. I do believe they're repeating, their, so maybe we can uh, take a there. look at, well, perhaps is Lanier who has to decide whether to repeat the position or not. And to be honest, I'm just looking. I don't even know exactly how the position <laughs> is and what the assessment is, but I look at the time. And I see 15 minutes and 30 seconds for Lanier. That means he's very well prepared. He hasn't mm -hmm. spent a single minute. Um, he gained additional seconds compared to what he started with. He had this position. Fabi, on the other hand, 11 minutes, 35 seconds. Yeah, but I would try to play on. I would try to find yeah. a way to play on right now. In Lanier shoes, yeah. And you have to push. Yes, Lanier is leading already in the match. He won the first game of the rapid chess. And uh, the point is now, if he will, if he really wants to continue playing this this game, now he has white exactly. pieces, and in the next game he'll have black, so he will. I just wanted to uh, give the uh, elimination games a rest because again, the classical games uh, are ongoing, and in the women's section, for me, Arena is strategically winning. Like winning. Winning. Already, yes. Oh my it's mm -hmm. terrible what Alice has done. And these positions where, um, as white, you're playing H4 and you're trying to get a kingside attack, it's absolutely crucial that black, back here, just gets in the move B5 and B4. Yes. And a5, bishop a6, c4, c3. And what we saw by Fabi yes, against yes, Levant. Yes. Mm -hmm. What you cannot do is what Alice has done. What Alice has done is tragically wrong. After the move d3, d4, the whole queen side is closed. I see. Tell me, how, how will you open up the queen side? Will you play b4 and c3? And then b3. And then I'll yes. play b3. If I play b3, then you take and play c3, yes? Or just okay. simply c3. Yes. So essentially what Alice has done is she's allowed Arena um, 
to close mm -hmm. the queen side completely. And That's look it. at this bishop on the seventh who has no any future. Yeah, so it's no. like it's it's a contour of like French defense, but but right. <laughs> very bad version. For, but a for very very players. bad version. And in the meanwhile, what what Arena is going to do is either play bishop g5, c3, and queen c2, and knight g5, or she's going to play h4, h5, and she's going to sacrifice against the king side. When you've got this bishop on b7, this knight on c7, knight on c6, I apologize, and the knight on d7, all out of the game. For me, this is strategically one. Like, just, it's really, really bad. I can't emphasize it enough and that's an experience yes i wanted to say that probably it was a great choice choice of irina crush you know she's still she doesn't play this kind of um, positions like, positions with sharp positions she, she says okay well, let's have a nice position and with different plans strategical yeah. plans are you good in positional play or not right <laughs> like what's going on i remember Hard when to play. when okay. i was beating uh, the computers badly there was a uh, in Aegon in um, Holland, the insurance company Aegon in The Hague would uh, um, organize and sponsor these man versus machines. And I, I won all my games against uh, the computers. Yeah, Which the Fritz. And Which, this was just think? before Deep Blue defeated Gary Kasparov. Oh, oh yes, sir. yes, 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 yes. Great. And what you would try to do is close off the position and the computers would say it's equal. I would just be very curious, uh, Christian, how the engines evaluate Alice Lee's game. And, uh, by, by the way, way uh, the uh, before we finished. get that, sure. this one is over. Um, there was no way for Linear to actually continue that one. So good defense by Fabi. Uh, he was surprised, it seems like, out of the opening, but he managed to find a way uh, through the maze. That one was completely losing for Alice. You pointed out perfectly why. Right. You don't have counterplay in the position. I have all the play. And I mean, we were discussing trends. We've seen yesterday's game between Levon and Fabiano in the exact same structure, exactly. right? The right. King's Indian attack for white with bishop pawn g5, which was a very strange move to exchange dark square bishops. Irina knows exactly what she's doing. She's keeping the pieces. C4 was a huge mistake. Right. A huge mistake. And after d4, all I have to do is just focus on my attack on the king side. You have absolutely nothing happening no on the queen side. Yeah, I have to say, Irina is looking uh, incredible in this event after losing the first game of this event. It's all gone Nobody wonderfully well. Nobody was able to touch her after that. Uh, but for Alice Lee, coming off of a three-game win streak over Begum, uh, it's kind of shocking to see her flounder in a position that Irina we knew has, so well. Uh, Irina still knows her. It feels like she knows her. She knows right. how to play against her. Right. Giving her the type of positions that she doesn't feel comfortable in. And that's exactly what's been happening in this one. She, Alice, is just simply not very much accustomed to the plans in the position. We've seen mm -hmm. it from Fabi. He played the move knight to d4, not pawn to d4, <laughs> right. pawn to c4, excuse me, to allow white to go pawn to d4. Knight to d4, you want to open up the c file. Right. Unfortunately, after this sequence of uh, pawn moves, c4, d4, you're not opening anything on the queen side. You're busted. Right. And that's the game, uh, once again, we're going back to the to champion's bracket, but Ray in the Robson's. open section. Yeah, this is where we were more or less uh, looking at the move F3. Yes. And there I was prescribing, get rid of your weakness. Let's go B5, B4. Oh, God, yes. get, <laughs> get, 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 get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, and he we'll didn't play the move F3. He did. Right? Or... No, I think the live position, I think this is currently... No, 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 yeah. raise, raise to move. So I'm just wondering what the last move maybe you can show us. Yes, right, well, the last move was, well, he played b5. Ah, he did not take on b5. A, b5, knight takes d4, take on bishop on takes d4. Mm -hmm. And I guess he's considering to capture with the bishop? What? No. I don't know why he would be considering that, but... Uh, Maybe e5, the inclusion of e5 first, but why would you do that? No, it doesn't make any sense. No, I'm sure we will be seeing a, b, f3. But why is it thinking about <laughs> it yes, right actually, now? Yes, actually, look at the clock. I mean, it's half an hour. He's been thinking since the last time we looked at the position, which was a while ago, like 10 right. minutes ago, something like that. Yeah. No, maybe he thinks already about the position after you take on b5 and notice if it has enough compensation or not. Uh, 
already half half an hour right ahead. But you don't have hour, you don't have other moves in the position. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. Maybe he is take, thinking of taking with the bishop. Let, let's look at this. Let, let's make some moves. Okay. Try to explain. Uh, take with the bishop. I would grab the two bishops. Yes. Happily, okay. and I'll go with our old. Uh, F3. Uh oh, we're seeing a handshake. Nazi by Kitsa. Yes. And Nazi by game. Kitsa again. Against see Jennifer Yu. Yes, we can see it on the screen. I think it's that game finished in a draw, I guess. What? That went fast. And in the big. But they're game. not allowed to, to offer a draw. I think so. it was a repetition. I don't see the repetition. I don't have it at least. Yes. Okay. Let's let's let's. Uh, uh, Jennifer Yu. That's uh, Nazi. Versus I Jennifer Yu. The game has already been declared. Like there's a result, but. What was the result? I have no idea. We, we, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly have no idea. Maybe we can see. Oh no no. Ah no, they still play. So, yes. Somehow. No, it's Begum's game. What the. Heck? What the heck were we looking at? <laughs> the arbiter came over and said something. Yes, everybody explained. Arbiter... Sorry, we kind of... We got mystified. Yes. Somebody's, Somebody's trolling the us. <laughs> Somebody. Uh, and you wanted to say that the uh, Ray Robson taking with the bishop makes no sense, right? Yes. It, yeah. it, well, it does make some sense. And Why? maybe actually we can go... Um, and look on your screen. Yeah, okay, so and uh, yeah. Just to go back for a second, we got distracted by yeah. that diversion. Bishop takes b5, f3. After f3, maybe what he's thinking about is some sort of a pawn storm in the center, like e5 and d5. And now that bishop is not on d7, at least I can support d5. e5, let me drop my bishop back. And perhaps something like, like d5. d5. Now pause here just for a moment because I'm going to get an ending where I'm going to have two connected pass pawns. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, give me this guy. You will take this guy. Give me this guy. Mm -hmm. Now, you can take with either rook. I'm not sure which rook you would prefer. But let's just say, for argument's sake here. So, you want to play this with two connected? I understand what you're saying. You get I don't want to play anything. I'm just trying to make <laughs> sense of what of he's thinking about. <laughs> where he might be going. Yes. Like some pawn storm in the center, but I don't know. That was queen side. He did play bishop takes b5. Hmm. So ah, he thought he about it for bishop some time. Yes. And he came up with a very unexpected move. Bishop takes b5. I think that would be frowned upon by our great predecessors. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. Me three. Bishop <sighs> takes b5. Does the engine like it? Uh, Let's Christian? see Levon's face now. Reaction? Is he happy? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, adjustment of the glasses. Like, yes. what, what, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> yeah, it's Young. not actually a bad move. <laughs> it's not according it's, to the engines? It's not a bad so, move. So how do the engines react to knight b5, a b5, f3? Knight b5, a b5, f3, and just rook to b8 yes. So what's the Rook difference? to b8. So this guy is not weak. I have a hard time believing that. So I don't know. Let, 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 let me uh, try to take away the thrill of e5 and d5 by rook d1. Rook to d1. Okay. Yeah. Rook to d1. Then I'm going to try to exchange that dark square bishop. Let's go knight d7. Knight to d7. Okay. On my terms? Mm -hmm. On my terms, c3? C3, okay. So my, sorry, my intention was to recapture with the, well, I'm not even sure. Mm -hmm. Recapture with the pawn was my intention, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. C3, mm -hmm. rook a7. It feels like white should be Yeah, it's, the it's one a long-term advantage. Maybe I can go queen to c7, just play like very normal moves. Provoking rook a7? Rook a7, rook b7, I think. Gotcha. Okay. Not too worried. Not too worried. Again, it's it's a long term. It's, it's a advantage. fight. Yes, I mean okay. we'll, we'll be playing. Fair. So rook fair, B8, fair, yes. fair. Now, uh, tell us what's going on in the eliminations. eliminations. I haven't checked the eliminations in a while, no. so I'll go to that one in just a second. Okay, because Fabi needs a victory, as does Wesley, to come back in the match. Yes. Absolutely. Let, let's see what's happening in the uh, Sam Sevian versus Wesley so, uh, game. Bishop to d7 was the last move. It does seem like Wesley is fighting. 
and he does have the better placed pieces. I, he has the two bishops, which are much more active than white's two bishops. I see this bishop on a7 beautifully placed on this diagonal. If this knight ever moves, you're going to have uh, some problems on the a7 g1 diagonal. Bishop takes d5. Now, that's, that's a big decision for white. I'm expecting rook takes e1 or just simply taking on d5. I have the two bishops. I understand you have a beautiful um, central square on d4, but what I can do is play the move bishop to b8. I don't need to keep this bishop on this diagonal now that I cannot open that diagonal with this knight beautifully uh, placed on d4. But what I can do is focus <laughs> on an attack on this diagonal, create right. some more weaknesses, provoke you to go g3, maybe, perhaps, and then I'm going to try to launch an attack. I think this is the way that Wesley has to go. Wesley needs to be ambitious right now. That's key for the position. Wesley generally, whenever he has this slight advantage with the black pieces, he still doesn't get ambitious enough and usually sometimes allows mm. simplification. Right now, Wesley needs to get ambitious and try to come back in this match. Exactly. Knight G3. Recognizing that there's going to be some issues on that diagonal. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hmm. Still Sam Sevian. And by the way, look at the time. Sam Sevian with 2 minutes and 14 seconds in this one. Definitely not feeling comfortable about his position. And Wesley, well, as I predicted, <laughs> get ambitious, F5. F5. Let's go for it. Wow. Wow, F5. I like it. And losing the match, you have to do something. Sometimes Even with black you, you, pieces, it yeah. doesn't matter. Sometimes right you now. have to play uh, the match situation. It requires you to take a lot of risk. F5. I'm not sure. You're, you, 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 you're, I will play you're this one, yes. I'm, 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 this is a move which I would probably approve. consider. I'm not sure if I would approve. play it, but I approve. I mean, he wants to play F4 and... And just disrupt. Yes, make sure this knight is leaving this nice position. All, I mean, if you look at the position, like all pieces um, are on, can come very quickly to the king's side, yes, and join the party. Exactly. So let's say he, he has some hopes, but it's he unclear played, how... He uh, has 92. Ah, preventing. Uh, already. Mm -hmm. uh, F4. Four. I, uh, quickly, knight F3. And we're up to date with the play now. He wants to put probably the other knight on d4. Interesting regrouping of right. pieces. Well, he really desperately wanted to stop f4, f3. There would be, in that case, sacrifices with bishop takes h3. I'm just looking at this position. Uh, with this bishop open on um, this diagonal, it's sort of like, okay, I want to increase the pressure. This bishop on d7 needs a better line. Yes, I thought about putting it on e4 as well. Yes, right? Uh, yes, sir, would you like to exchange one pair of knights in this position for black? Like, I, think... I would like to keep the piece, mm -hmm. as many of pieces I on see. the board as I can. Uh, how, how, would, how would that happen anyway? You... I thought about, like, not immediately, but after bishop e5, bishop e4, making some play... exchanges like bishop knight e5. But I first would like to put the bishop on e4. I like the, the idea. I like your idea with 95. Yes. Yeah, yes. That's Bishop maybe five, let's Bishop go to 95 Or 95 right away, just uh, to Why check not? it out. Because I, th I thought that those two knights, they kind of block the center. So in <laughs> yes. fact, if I, in case if I you manage to exchange one, maybe some ideas with F3. Open the dam. Yes, yes. will help me to. Right. Um, we have a very interesting graphic. We, we talk about that uh, in chess. What happens when the players lose a game? Yes, we call do it on they tilt. go yes. on tilt? Yes. And a lot of players do very, very well at coming back after a loss. So how would you interpret this graphic? <laughs> That's a good point, yes, yes. I see that Fabi is like, it looks like he's doing well, yes? Well, it means, no, Fabi's uh, not doing well. It's the other way around, yes, no, actually. No, no, after no. losing. is the yes. one That's who... the percentage increase I'm, in okay. errors. I got it. So he no. does 70% more errors after he loses. After he loses, yes. As I mean, we saw... Wesley, in... you can see he gets better after he loses. Minus 44%, so he gets more accurate. Right, it, he gets motivated, whereas 
Fabi, the person you would expect to be the most stable, yeah, is the so number two player in the world. That's why he doesn't lose so often, Yasser, you know? <laughs> he doesn't want to go on tilt. Yes, he doesn't want this. <laughs> and by uh, the way, this is all for rapid chess. Exactly. This is all in rapid chess. Yes. Yeah. It's, thank you, Ben Underwood, for all these graphics. I Absolutely, think also, we love it. That's it was, very insightful. Think about also top players in the world. Like I think Yanni Pomish is doing not great if he starts losing, and he he's very confident. Oh, Nepo would be up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nepo would definitely be up there. Wait a minute, I'm bored <laughs> Nepo. <laughs> Don't be pounding on uh, Nepo. He's, Nepo can can definitely do. Uh, yes. <laughs> One uh, of the things that's strange about the statistics is. Uh, they seem counterintuitive, mm. right? Because once again, we are talking about Fabi. If you ask me, well, to describe Fabi, I would say a very classical player, very uh, combative player. He, his openings are great. He very, very rarely, if ever, makes major blunders or things like that. He doesn't lose often. Yeah, you, I'm patting myself on the back for knowing all the right answers. Yeah, but what happens when he loses? Oh, he's very solid. He'll come back. Yeah. Who is very solid to Sanish Kiri, no matter what <laughs> the result in the previous and game, Wesley. they will have a draw. And Wesley, and take a look what's happening yes. right now in Wesley. Maybe we can I just, see where these players are because so exactly, Wesley is comfortable. Happened, Sam yeah. is not right now. And I, the position is terrible for Sam. I just wanted to catch up. Uh, guess what? Wesley did play 95. 95, yes. yes and he thought his bishop on d7 actually was uh, perfectly poised to strike on h3. And this is what he's done. He's played the move yes. F3. That's what so I that, felt that you need to get rid of one knight in order to push, uh, uh, to burst do something. The yes. Now, this is not a happy move. Uh, trust me, you don't want to play the move G2, G3 no. when your opponent has the light squared bishop. So what if we, I take that pawn? Yeah, just take maybe an H3. Okay, no? we're going to play bishop F4. I mean, deep breath. <laughs> I mean, yes. what else am I Rook supposed to do? Rook F4 maybe sometimes, but maybe it's too much. Wait, wait a second, yes. We have to calculate, yes, if I take... I mean, I'm given a lot of pieces, but then I, but I have knight d3, yes? Queen e8 check. Check. Um, unfortunate check is following up, yes. So let's show it, yes. If I'm too ambitious, I'm losing on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> that is the old back rank check. Yes. So, no, we have... But... So obviously, maybe I could play queen f7 after I take on the four with the idea queen g6 and queen g2. Sorry. So again, rook f4. Oh, you want to take that? and then queen f7. Oh my goodness, queen takes I mean, c5. I so okay again. Let's show it here. So this is how you again, if you're too yeah, ambitious, <laughs> queen g5 is rats. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, you definitely want to land yes. with a checkmate on g2. Yes, so but it's not if that you easy. take on h3, that's what you're facing, bishop f4. Um, did you want to try to play knight d3 as a prelude? But guys, okay, sure. let's, let's not take on f4. Let's just defend that knight. So bishop takes h3, you take that pawn. Yes. Bishop f4, why don't rook we just eight? simply go rook e8? Yes, but knight f3 is not what? possible, yes, because of... That's a nasty mm -hmm. pin, isn't it? It is a bit of an annoying pin at the same time. But maybe it's... And maybe even like... Um, okay, you are threatening to Perhaps. play rook e1, yes? Now I go... Okay, this is going to be a bit ambitious. Bishop g2. Exactly. Bishop g2. So I can see... You see queen. what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> you, you see. Yes, yes, yes. You, you got to come in... That's what I want. Uh, as quickly as possible. It's... Uh, barbarian and chess. Like, uh, Barbaric. <laughs> I like this word. Yeah, I mean, it's hard. To okay. Find. But maybe it's the knight f3. Just, why why he, is, uh, he makes us. Well, I'm I, I'm trying to exploit the pin for the moment. Yes. So okay. if he goes queen d7, I want to take the knight. Mm -hmm. And if you What if I go queen e7? Queen e7. Now I see. Yes, there is bishop h2 always, yes. But. But if I take on. Then there is no. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's tickle him. Mm -hmm. I don't appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you no. see all the straightforward I don't like ideas. That yes, yes, I know. Somehow I know. you have okay, to Okay, so let's go. Stay let's calm. go into the into the main line, right? Yes. What's the keep main going, line? Keep going. Keep going. Oh, sorry. Eight, rookie, rookie eight. Rookie eight is the main line. Right. Okay. Queen e three. Instead of my queen e seven, which was a bit silly. I think you tried bishop g two actually. Yes. Yes. G four, and now instead of queen e seven, I will make a different move. Instead of bishop g2, it's no, your turn. No. Bishop g2, g4. Oh, you liked it. Instead of queen okay. e7, I will play queen d7. Queen David. 
seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, I won a piece. Yay! You will. Okay. Yes. But now I can take right. Uh, queen e five. My intention, of course, was queen f four. Four. But I yes, see but queen h five. Queen h two. Queen takes e five. Okay. Mm, sweet. But still not losing. Tricky. Mm -hmm. Isn't he tricky? He is. He is a tricky guy, and that looks good. Okay, so queen d7, but now rook e8, you just take on g4, huh? Correct. Well, yeah. if you, now queen takes g4, it feels like. Yeah, and you've got at least a prepared, yes. if not more. And no, I no, I have queen you're... takes h2, which is nice. Queen oh, h3, even bishop sweet. h2, queen takes queen h2. Queen h2. Nice, oh. I like it. I like it a lot. And knight g4. And you're... And you win. Gotcha. By the way, he didn't go for it. He he was afraid of this pin. He played knight c6. I was I was wondering about the knight move, but the knight move that caught my eye was knight d3. Knight c6, you say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember we were having this discussion, and I think that it's so important for amateur players to understand. Bishops of opposite color position, yes. it's about who has the initiative. Wow, yes. And trading the knights you could end up playing a, a piece ahead thanks to this beautiful pawn on f3. It's white's king that is constantly under duress. And uh, a, a variation like knight takes, queen takes, really just plays itself for... for, for mm -hmm. so, so many threats, yes. And... I think we have different moves on the board. We have... No, no. Um, after g3, he, knight he c6. Took on c6, it seems. Oh, B3. no, no, sorry. After G3, we saw Queen D6, a move we didn't include mm -hmm. previously. And After that B3, is aimed against Bishop to F4. Because? Rook takes F4 and Queen to G6. Nice. So that's the idea behind it. Exactly. <laughs> yes, so finally this idea worked. Yes. <laughs> I tried all the time I, to find the way. <laughs> yeah, I rolled the red carpet. Now <laughs> it's your turn. Finally, you can play yes, made on I mean, G2. You were defending all the time against it. Yes, so Queen D6, nice, nice, nice inclusion. Yes, with okay. the idea of Rook of Four. So Queen D6, yes. Sam played B2, B3. Now came Knight C6. Knight takes C6, B takes C6. Gift me the pawn on. I think black is doing really great. I think it's, it's strategically, it's winning. Um, it just feels like... It, it's just the, the presence of the opposite color of bishops. Precisely. Right? Um, which gives me some hope that maybe at the right moment I will be able to transition into an endgame and make a draw uh, into a bishop. Of opposite color. If you game. survive, if I if that's you. a big <laughs> if. That is a it's huge a big if. if. Yes. yes. So yes. I don't know even like can we try to bring the rook? Yeah, rook e8 maybe. Rook e8, rook e2, but then bishop e3. Bishop e3, well, rook takes e3. Yeah, yes, I mean look at this. I, I love rook e8. Bishop e3, take on e3. The, oh no, uh -huh. that that that's just a splat immediately. We cannot yes. allow the exchange sacrifice because. Queen takes g3 and bishop takes h3 is simply far too strong. Mm -hmm. Queen to e5 was Wesley's choice. Yeah. I wanted to say that uh, rook e8, if you play bishop to d2, I was going to play rook to e2. And if you played bishop to f4, I was going to uh, uh, spy that little pawn. It was going to go queen c3, uh, queen f6 to capture on c3. He played. Queen e5 immediately, yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Queen e5 also threatening c3 pawn. Bishop maybe to d2. He, maybe he wants to play. Rook e8. Oops, no. He didn't play. After bishop d2, I think he went queen h6. Let me just do this again. Queen I'll refresh h5, my board. Queen h5, h5 is actually threatening to take on h3 and provoking h4. He did That's it. That's the only move, yes. Rook and e2. now rook e8. Mm -hmm. So he included all those moves. And now bishop e3. Rook e2, it's just <laughs> Such a threat, yes. So probably he had to play, yes, rook e3. Okay, bishop. but now... Ta -da! Now, shall we? What? I don't think so. <laughs> no, 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 no. Queen g4, maybe. Queen g4 threatening yes, rook takes e3? He thing. played rook e4. He played rook e4. Rook e4. e4. On the ah, board. maybe it's just a check. Wait. He's really trying to do something very nasty against mm -hmm. the, black, the white king. Evil intentions, yes. Very evil yes, intentions. Yes, because, I mean, bishop h3 is coming. Maybe it's just checkmate. Well, I, I'm still okay, not can I actually take it? Low. 
All right, can I take it? Rook to d1. Can I actually take on h4? Yes, let's check it. Take. I have to take, take. because yes. that is me. Yes, of course. And then check on g4. Check on g4. I pick up the pawn. Yes. And, and I go bishop page 3. How? How exactly do you defend against this? <laughs> oi, oi, oi. I have I'm... rook d4. It's my... I, with trembling hands. <laughs> you still have rook to d4. Yes. Wow. It's, it's, I don't it's believe really it, hard though. to play this with Yasser, I, you know? Like... I, I, I don't believe it. I think that my now king queen is... Now queen d3. Queen d3 and now bishop g2. Okay, yes. this might actually be over. It's too exposed. My king has no... No defenders. By the way, we... They're, they're going they're, straight they're, for it. They're going straight into the line. Let's see the bird's eye view right now, because... Uh, we, we already show the variation. <laughs> yes! The, the variation there is there. There it is. And wow. the clocks. No, this, this is really nice. It's a... It, Visible it, checkmate, actually. Nice. Exactly. And, and just bishop, yeah, bishop comes H3, and... Rook d4, queen h5, and bishop, bishop d2. Bishop d2, bishop queen h1. Wesley spotted it. Very, very nicely very done. Very beautiful. And I think right now, finally, the realization is setting in. I think it's going to be in so. our social What's going media on? soon. The players are losing with the white pieces. You know how hard it is to win <laughs> the <know>. game? <laughs> but with the but black pieces? You see pieces? How, how confident Wesley he played is right now. Queen H5 in an Immediately, instant. Yes. He's calculated. Like, he's, he saw this from a mile away. Machine. No, you don't play Rook H4 if you didn't see this move, Agreed. I guess. Yes, because... Agreed. Wow, it's going to be 1-1 one, one after yes. Wesley wins now? That, wow. that guarantees us two rapid games in this match. When he loses, he Wesley gets better. The That's next game. We've good. seen it. Yeah. And this is... According to our stats. Uh, so, yeah. so actually, stats proves. Yeah. Well, amazing. We got one right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if he would have lost now, yes? We we would, like, yeah, yes. commentator's curse, right? <laughs> exactly. Yes, and so. No, at that Wesley's point, we blame, the, if he, if we he blame loses, ben. we blame Ben. Of yeah, course, of course. Of course. You know. If he wins, it's all about the right, commentators. Right, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once again, they were right. Once, <laughs> Wesley's one of the best players to come back after a loss. Be careful. Yes, right. <laughs> Seven seconds. That's for... Same. But it's not about the clock, it's yeah. about the fact you have no time. He played queen d3, preventing queen g6, but after bishop g2 he resigns. There is no defense against queen h1. Checkmate. A nice comeback there Great by comeback. Wesley. Everything to play for. Well What's played. happening in the other tie breaks? Uh, well, it's all about section. the ladies. Sorry. I think the open section in the elimination bracket, is open. we've already finished yes, that made one. Draw. Mm -hmm. Let's just see what's happening once okay. there is a slight break right now. Uh, what's happening between Irina and Alice? And guess what? Irina is still building her attack. And on the other side of the board, on the yeah. queen side of the board, Alice still doesn't have a way through. I like this evaluation of the computer. Oh, like the computer says yes, just black is busted. Too. Completely busted. Yeah. Imagine, I mean, people who are watching now this game without commentaries, they're actually probably, they don't understand why they're it gives... Because full board of pieces, nothing, right. What's the problem? no why advantage is it so for bad? anyone. Right. Why yes. is it so why bad? Why is it so right? bad? Well, uh, the answer is very simple. You cannot do anything to me on the queen side. It's you go a4, closed. I go b4. You go b4, I go a4. And then this is going to be closed. In the meantime, I brought all my pieces on this side, all my forces on this side. All I have to do is provoke something. Mm -hmm. At some point, you will play the move h6, right? Mm -hmm. And then, Whoop. maybe here, maybe it's not here, but at the right moment, maybe I have to play bishop e3. Again, I have all the time in the world. Bishop e3, queen to c1, bishop takes h6. There will be a sacrifice right. coming on h6, and that's going to be uh, game over. Irina knows it, Alice knows it. At some point, desperation will seep in for Alice, and she will try to do something. Mm -hmm. And whatever she does is going to create some irreversible weaknesses. So unfortunately for her, I have to say, still, this one is looking great. And by the way, I do think that Begim has won her game against Zoe Tang in the second game of uh, their rapid matchup in the elimination bracket, right now leading I see one and a half to a half. Checkmate on the I board, see yes. checkmate on the board. Uh, <laughs> yes, I missed the, like, uh, how maybe it we happened. Can, we can see the end of the game. Exactly. Well, when I, the, I last saw it, I, I saw it in this theoretical position right here. Uh, a nice uh, battle. I 
I like these positions because I studied them uh, for isolated queen pawn mm -hmm. positions. You oftentimes get these types of structures. Well, what? That's, oh, it's not a pawn sacrifice. It's an exchange sacrifice. But look at the structure. Ooh, four versus two. And if they start as a, moving. A, a majority. And. Yeah, but uh -oh. forgot about Nazi, Paikids, and Jennifer. Ooh. You saw uh, Jennifer. I just saw a handshake just... there. Nazi takes a 2 0 lead. Mm, wow. Impressive. Wow. After playing all these games yesterday. And Jennifer is in a must win situation. She's right on now. the precipice of the. And of, Nazi just uh, needs elimination to make from the tournament. This is her second life. And somehow there was this. Jennifer's knight got trapped on the a5 square. And just to see how the game actually did finish at what moment the game finished. So this um, right now. check and white probably hoped to give a perpetual, <laughs> but it's not the case. Yet. No, no perpetual. No, no perpetual. perpetual for you. Queen on c7 nicely protects the seventh rank. The king exactly. is safe. Exactly, king is safe, rook is about to vacate the uh, queening square, rook f1, and wow, that's two, uh, two victories for uh, Nasi, and I, I'm going to say, uh, that's pretty impressive, you know, Irina mistreated her. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, and you can get depressed, right? I mean, of course, come on. I mean, losing yesterday and... Uh, how badly. Yes, yeah. yes, but, but so she's, she stayed... Um, I mean, that's always the point, you know, Yasser. Is it better to have a rest day? Or maybe it's, sometimes it's better even to keep playing, so you're in this kind of mode, you know, that you right. keep playing, keep playing without rest. So and Jennifer probably was busy with her studies. Yes, she <laughs> said she, she would be. Yes, she would be. Maybe I she actually didn't really spoke have with uh, Nazi yesterday. We yes. Uh, met each other on the way to dinner and okay. she was quite happy with her result mm. because she won a classical game she against did. Irina. She mm -hmm. got some rating points, understandably so, she lost because it's very difficult to win two in a row. Sure. But she was in a good mood and you know that carries over into today's rounds and as we can see she's playing marvelous just right now against a struggling up to this point Jennifer. Exactly. Remind us all of the results uh, Anastasia. Let's Let's Check the results. Look. Yes, so Levonarian, he's still playing against Rare Robson. Uh, Wesley so equalized the score against Sam Seven. They have won one in the match so far. Right. And Fabiano Caruana made a draw in the second game against Linier Dominguez, which means that if Linier wins in the third game, he wins the match. So it's very important uh, game number three in the rapid match they have for the moment. So all our eyes will be on this, on this game, I guess. And in the ladies, uh, we see that Jennifer Yu, we just saw that Jennifer Yu is on the precipice of elimination. Exactly, because she game lost two Nazi. games already against Nazi, and uh, the, the score is 2 0 in, in favor of um, Nazi. And yeah, I mean, one draw, and she will be advanced. It's enough. Yes. And uh, back into her journal, took a lead. Yes. Uh, we didn't see it, but we saw the final position with Queen G1. Checkmate, Zoe losing uh, with the white pieces needs a victory to equalize the match. And we have a very nice promo on an exhibit that is coming to the World Chess Hall of Fame. If you're anywhere near the Central West End, you're going to want to see this exhibit. I was there for the opening, by the way. It was very, very nice. Donna Dodson has created a new exhibit, March of the Matriarchs, and other Amazonian Amazono Machis. 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 Amazono Machis. Uh, you're going to love it. Uh, check it out at the World Chess Hall of Fame. Very, very beautiful uh, and original uh, chess sets there. As uh, we get ready for our break, we're going to have a very special guest exactly. joining us. Uh, but, oh no! Oh. I just got information. It canceled on us. What the heck? So, but we we'll, might have him tomorrow. It's okay. <laughs> we'll wait. Always do today. Never postpone <laughs> <laughs> what you can do. We're going to take a break. We'll see you on the other side of the break.
Levon, thank you so much for joining me here today. It's wonderful to have you back uh, playing in the American Cup. Uh, I want to know what is a beautiful day or what, what would make you happy for in a day? I really love, uh, you know, uh, doing some like sports playing with friends. So let's say the ideal day will be maybe playing some tennis with friends and uh, then, you know, maybe biking around, uh, um, playing some chess or analyzing some chess and then uh, seeing a show in the evening. You always seem like a super composed uh, chess player. You're, I, I don't ever think that I've seen you very upset uh, or angry. How are you able, what did you tell yourself growing up how to, or what would you tell yourself to get over losses and just kind of stay the, com the composed that you are? Uh, well, you know, I come uh, from a family, uh, like Armenian Jewish family. And I think both nations know what the survival is. And so it's all about, you know, moving on and, and fighting. And that's what I was, you know, that's, what I did all the time and and that's what I try to do you know now I play against much younger guys they're tough but I know I I uh, I need to fight my way through you know so it's all about fighting and surviving so and I like it do you ever think about the game that you play that something went wrong how do you what do you do to get over that um, in a tournament like let's just say yesterday you had a tough day and you really need to get over it so that you can... Oh, well, for me, so I look at the things in a slightly different way. So I look at the games and I say, all right, so where does the mistake came from? Did it come because uh, I was lazy or I was careless? Or did it come because, because I was outplayed and I didn't understand? So if I was lazy and careless, I relax because it's natural and this is something I can change. Mm -hmm. And if I was outplayed, then I get angry. You know, then I tell to myself, okay, I need to, you know, learn, learn more about this, you know? So stupid mistakes doesn't upset me so much. You know, like some mistakes that mainly people lose sleep over because mm -hmm. they were so stupid and <laughs> that stuff doesn't upset me. Too much because I understand it it's it's something that is in my control something that is not difficult to change but when I lose because okay um, I didn't understand the position made really dubious decisions yeah that stuff upsets me that stuff can uh, you know affect me and that stuff that I need to work on but mostly I lose because of stupid mistakes so then I have a perfect sleep it's nice that you can stay objective and kind of do that not not everyone can do it i think no oh, i'll try and you know i also uh uh i understand that uh, you know sometimes all it takes is discipline but it's the hardest thing to get that's right discipline is very important what well, i hope you are you've prepared yourself very well for this tournament we're really excited to to have you back play here and uh, I wish you good luck. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. The St. Louis Chess Club is the premier chess facility in the United States. We bring the educational benefits of chess to thousands of students across the St. Louis area. We also promote chess at the highest levels, hosting all levels of the U.S. championships, as well as high-profile tournaments that attract the world's best players. Become a member and enjoy perks such as free classes and lectures, weekly tournaments, and so much more. Visit stlouischessclub.org to claim your membership today.
the World Chess Hall of Fame, located in the heart of St. Louis's historic Central West End. Want to know why chess has intrigued people around the world for nearly 1,500 years? Stop by and learn about the impact of chess from our three floors showcasing the art, culture, and history of the game. The World Chess Hall of Fame has something for everyone to enjoy. For more information on current exhibits, please visit worldchesshof.org. St. Louis, the chess capital of the United States. It also plays host to an award-winning shop dedicated to chess merchandise, all occasion gifts, and plenty more. At Q Boutique, you can shop both in-store and online. From quirky greeting cards to luxury chess sets, there is something for everyone at Q Boutique. Enjoy a shopping experience like no other. Make sure to check out QBoutiqueSTL.com for a wide variety of gifts for everyone to enjoy. The St. Louis Chess Club Scholastic Program brings the educational value of chess to kids and schools across the St. Louis area. Active in over 100 schools throughout the St. Louis city and county, the St. Louis Chess Club has been able to reach over 85,000 students in both in-school and after-school programs. We view chess as a valuable educational tool. Learn more about our scholastic programming by visiting stlouischessclub.org education. The St. Louis Chess Club is the premier chess facility in the United States and is among the best in the world. Thanks to co-founders Dr. Jeannie Cairn Sinkfield and Rex Sinkfield, the St. Louis Chess Club is a nonprofit organization committed to promoting the game of chess locally and internationally. We bring the educational benefits of chess to thousands of students across the St. Louis area, promoting cognitive development, critical thinking, concentration, and analytical skills. The St. Louis Chess Club welcomes chess lovers of any age and skill level to come and enjoy the game of chess. We also promote chess at the highest levels, hosting all levels of the U.S. Championships and the American Cup, as well as high-profile tournaments that attract the world's best players, including the prestigious Sinkfield Cup, Cairns Cup, and many more. All tournaments can be streamed via our YouTube and Twitch channels that also include over 2,000 chess lectures for anyone to enjoy. Become a member and enjoy perks such as free classes and lectures, weekly tournaments, merchandise discounts, and so much more. Visit stlouischessclub.org to claim your membership today. The World Chess Hall of Fame, located in the heart of St. Louis's historic Central West End. Want to know why chess has intrigued people around the world for nearly 1,500 years? Stop by and learn about the impact of chess from our three floors showcasing the art, culture, and history of the game. Landmarked by the world's largest chess piece sitting outside our front door, the World Chess Hall of Fame has something for everyone to enjoy, including various exhibitions, monthly concerts, and much more. Whether you are a beginner or a professional, there is something for everyone to learn here at the World Chess Hall of Fame. Enjoy free admission to our rotating exhibitions in our galleries and sign up for chess events, family-friendly programming, and art classes. And don't forget to stop by our award-winning gift shop, Q Boutique, and shop a wide selection of chess-related merchandise. For more information on current exhibits, please visit worldchesshof.org. St. Louis, the chess capital of the United States, boasts the world-class St. Louis Chess Club and the World Chess Hall of Fame. It also plays host to an award-winning shop dedicated to chess merchandise, all occasion gifts, and plenty more. At Q Boutique, you can shop both in-store and online for chess merchandise, autograph collectibles, chess campus souvenirs, and much, much more. From quirky greeting cards to luxury chess sets, there is something for everyone at Q Boutique. And all purchases go right to benefiting new exhibitions and programs at the World Chess Hall of Fame, dedicated to exploring chess and its immense impact on art and culture. Located on the first floor of the World Chess Hall of Fame, enjoy a shopping experience like no other and become everyone's favorite gift giver. If you can shop in store, make sure to check out QBoutiqueSTL.com for a wide variety of gifts for everyone to enjoy.
and welcome back to the studio. It's the American Cup. Yes, and it we is. are on a day five. And tell us about the brackets. Uh, in case you're just joining us, let's take a look at the matchups that we're witnessing today. Uh, so we have Levon Aronian who plays against uh, Ray Robson in the final. Right now, they have their first classical game. Exactly. And in the elimination brackets, of the open section. Of oh, the open section, we have two matches at the moment. Okay. Wesley Saw just equalized his score against Sam Sevian, 1-1 one, one, one. at the moment. Um, and they still have two rapid games ahead. Uh, Fabiano Caruana made a draw in the second uh, game against Linier Domingos. He lost the first game. And this third game can be the last one if Linier Domingos wins this one. And tell us about the ladies' brackets, the champions' brackets. Begin. And in the champions bracket, we have the finalist Arena Crush is playing against Alice Lee, and she has a really good position for the moment. But of course, we will go back and check it out. And, and this seemed like the inevitable clash almost from the very start of the tournament. Arena Crush uh, versus Alice Lee. Arena is the only player to stop Alice Lee. When I say stop, I really mean that. It was 3-0 against Begum, and nobody mistreats Begum like that uh, happened there. <laughs> yes. What happens in the eliminations uh, bracket? So those who lost their matches yesterday, now they play, right. uh, they continue playing in the elimination bracket. They didn't leave the tournament, they got a second chance. Okay. Uh, Begum Tohirjanova is playing against Zoe Tank, and uh, she actually took the lead in the match That's by right. winning the second game after the first game finished in a draw and Nazi Paikidze uh, against Jennifer Yu 2-0 in favor wow. of Nazi for the moment. For Jennifer she's gonna have to come back that's the elimination and here we are at the uh, World Chess Hall of Fame where the games are underway and uh, again let's just uh, refresh the results, if you yes. will. We remembered them, <laughs> but still, it's <laughs> nice to see them on the screen. Exactly. Levon Aronian versus Ray Robson, they keep playing at the moment. Don't forget that we'll have a rapid game right after the classical game. And Wesley Saw so against Sam Sevian, 1-1 one, one at the moment that we have this match score. I think Wesley is immensely relieved to get into this equal match score because in game one he had the white pieces. He just and he played. Lost. Ugh. Yes. And he bounced back. And uh, for Fabi, like you said, this could be his <sighs> last uh, game in the tournament. Our defending. Well, actually, Hikaru is our defending champion. Yes. Fabi won the first edition. And in the ladies' uh, results? Latest results, uh, Irina Crush and Delis Lee are still playing at the moment, classical game. Um, Begim Tohirjonova is leading in the match one and half to half score. Right. Nazi Paikidze won both games, which means 2-0 at the moment. Any game can finish this match. Uh, Jennifer Yu needs to win the third game and then the fourth one in order to uh, equal, equalize the score in the match. Exactly. Uh, just turning our attention to the classical game that's uh, uh, brewing between Arena and Alice. This was one of those where I just, you know, had to look away. It, it's that bad. Uh, strategically speaking, Arena has a dominating position. The whole point is this pawn on e5 is fantastic. It's keeping this knight away from the f6 square. It's giving white a great attack. This last move, h7, h5, was designed to prevent, let's say I make a bad move, just for argument's sake, b4, and it was designed to prevent a situation like this from happening. Takes, takes, takes. I know this is all bad. Please forgive me. I just want to mm -hmm. demonstrate the type of position you absolutely are <laughs> desperate to avoid. Uh, these types of sacrifices is what Alice is, is, is worrying herself about. H5, knight H2. And we sort of expected her to lash out on the king's side, of course. right? Because if, you, if she just waits, then something bad is going to happen, mm. as you just illustrated. Knight right? G5 is the bad news. But the problem is H5. I mean, it that's a big help. weakness. It Huge weakness. I go knight H2, next move I go G4, in fact. And I'm or still even, going to bring my pieces mm -hmm. closer to your king. Or even bishop G5 or knight to G5, things... Um, around that nature. Well, just imagining, for example, again, it's not the best move or worst move, bishop h6. This is the type <laughs> of position that yes. for me, I mean, I have witnessed uh, oh. Grandmaster Peter Biasis, we called him Bobo, 
in the Pacific Northwest. Like this is a this would be a heartbreaking uh, position. One of the most depressing positions yeah. you'll yes. ever <laughs> ever For likely sure. to see. Some night of six is coming. Yes. Night of, and uh, that would just be terrible. Um, Graphic. We yeah, have our favorite up, uh, uh, graphics. Yes. Uh, what happens when the ladies lose? Losing. Who goes on tilt? Yes. Ooh. Oh. oh. Uh, that I did not anticipate. Sure. <laughs> wow. I mean, Alice does not one. like losing. It seems like that. Yes. Uh, Arena Crush comes back and performs better than just about well, better than anybody in the field. Alice Lee, on the other hand, if she loses a game. She's not a happy kid. Oh my Absolutely. You remember oh. Irina crashed after losing against Zoe, won like five games in a row, something like that. So right. it seems like she's doing really well after losing. She's maybe even, you know. She's and this graphic is only taken from the games that were played at the American yeah. Cup. So right. now the question is, yeah. how many games did Alice lose and against who? Right. And the answer is mostly against Irina. <laughs> <laughs> Which kind of is Poor. an indication. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit unfair, but it yeah, so also goes to show what is, uh, what are the problems that junior players have? Their lack of emotional experience. Like, they, they, you know, you lose a game, you're very depressed, you're upset at yourself, you're anxious to prove that it was an anomaly, shouldn't have happened, and then you come back and you play badly because I you're don't so... I yeah, sir. You know, normally when, when you're younger, you take it easier, no? I remember your story. You discuss, we, story. we discussed yesterday how you started to play chess and you lost like 1,000 games oh, at easily. The very, easily at the very beginning of right. your chess career. So yeah. you decided to lose all of them, you know, when you were young. <laughs> <laughs> got got yes, them yes. out of my system as, exactly, as, as quickly yes. as I could. And, and speaking of that, by the way, I mean, it was always the principle of Victor Korchnoi to beat the players when they're young ah. because I uh, beat those juniors <laughs> now before they turn into monsters in arena. I know what you mean, really, yes, sir. Yes. Imagine, imagine me playing in some youth, Ukrainian youth championships with those kids like Anna Muzichuk, Katerina Lagno, and you know, at that times they, I still could do this Anna's sometimes. Weaker, yes. Anna's weaker sister who became the world champion. And also Maria, exactly. Yes. And Hello. So I, I used some of my chances at that time. You know. Right, to be they, yeah, just to be sure, you know, to get some respect during right. the interviews in 20 years. You know? Exactly. <laughs> Nicely done. Well done. Yeah, so you uh, agree with this? Again, uh, Arena's uh, in, in great shape. Her last move, knight h2. If it's her turn, she's ready to play knight to g5. Actually, yes, sir. Uh, After like g... b4, the move you showed, like knight g5, if I play g6 for black, just maybe to show, if yes. I try not to take this knight, and what, what would you do here? Uh, it's all about opening up the king side mm -hmm. because I'm not even, you know, of course, a3, a4 is the master class move, uh, just keeping the king side, uh, queen side closed. And, you know, shutting off all the counterplay. So I Black agree. Has to I take agree. On G4. But on the other hand, the attack on the king side could yes. be absolutely crushing, right? I mean, just absolutely crushing. Uh, knight takes or h5. Or even h5. I mean, yeah, <laughs> both. both. Moves like, okay. But I mean, the bottom line: White's opening up the Black's king's position, and uh, Black is not going to do similarly on the queen side. What did happen, by the way, after Knight h2, is Arena just. Played she the went with class move. Uh -huh. And, you know, again, to show the fact that she really doesn't have anything to do. Knight d8. At least in this case, I can imagine that she's saying, okay, I want to play the move f5, and I want to keep the pawn on e6 protected. That's so right. she's trying to go for f6. Exactly, yes. exactly. It, it, it's her way of fighting back, which again, I, I don't want to criticize Arena's decision whatsoever. It, it, really, it's a masterclass decision. It's just that her position is so overwhelming. Oftentimes, you want to just strike mm -hmm. when the iron is hot. And knight g5, bishop takes g5. For me, you know, strategically, it's it, 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 it's totally, totally overwhelming now. I just want to play g4, knight takes g4, knight f6. Okay, we're flogging a... A dead horse here. What's happening in the other uh, uh, finals? Well, uh, there are some similarities between these two games of the Champions Finals, and that is 
Alice has about 80 minutes against about 50 minutes for Irina, so definitely feeling that heat of the time travel zone. But take a look at this. Also, Ray Robson, 19 minutes against 54 minutes for Levon. So Levon keeping the pace. Very, very quick, very speedy play mm -hmm. uh, by Levon. And he is putting the pressure. The position remains very close to equal. Uh, okay. So Ray is definitely playing precise, good moves. But the practicality of it, it's all about Levon putting the pressure on the clock. And that's exactly what he's doing. And to be honest, I don't see the clear way for black to simplify everything. And I see a bit of an imbalance in terms of the pawn structure. Right. I believe that knight on b5 is going to be uh, solidified, cemented on b5 by the move c4. Next, I still see that weakness on a5 for black. And if you don't manage to exchange the queens and try to target that pawn on b3, because we know that after c4, the b3 pawn is going to become the, uh, the weak spot in white's mm -hmm. position. If you don't manage to get the knight to c5 to attack that pawn on b3 in time, then you're going to have to suffer mm -hmm. because of that weakness that you have on a5. This is one of those positions where it's very easy to get lulled into Correct. sleep, yes. that you know, <laughs> nothing really seems to be going on, and then suddenly you wake up and you're in a vice, you're in a grip. Where's, where's Ray? C4, rook, rook A1. Is Ray not, not at Ray's board? Ray's taking a break. He's finding a He doesn't tea. have the time to take the yes. break. <laughs> he's finding a cup of tea. Well, the, yes. he's not there. He's not there, yes. <laughs> Only the pieces. Our like his pieces are... Very revealing. Actually, he could now maybe stay in the special area for the players and uh, check it on the screens and think about the game from the screens. Guys, yeah. but Levon, mm -hmm. look, at, look at his eyes. He's very often looking at the clock. Levon knows that this is going to be the key in this one. Key moment, yeah. Well, it's not about the moment, it's about the time. I'm going to put as much pressure on the clock. 17 minutes, I'm trying to think about my next move on your own time, and we're going to go down to that danger zone where if you don't make the most precise moves with 30 seconds on the clock playing on increment, then you're in trouble. So Ray Robson is back. <laughs> this back. is what I get to have He's some back. uses. By the way, I, I, I have to say it. Every time I look at the spy cam and I see those chess pieces, I am just so thrilled about those pieces. They're beautiful. They're from the House of Staunton. Uh, they're specifically designed from the Sinkfield Cup sets. And I have to tell you that in my career, I have played on plastics yes <laughs> wooden did board. you carry your Black. board with you yasser for some I, events I wasn't, in the US. I wasn't clever enough to do that and i mean the clocks were all kinds of analog clocks that many times yes. i i doubt that they worked but the detailing of the nights everything about these sets uh speaks of professionalism and as a player you sit there at the board and you feel really good when you have these professional sets. Also, these pieces are quite heavy, right? And, and this is what I like about... Uh -huh. I like yeah. those pieces. Yeah, By yeah, the yeah. way, doesn't this pawn structure slightly remind you of Wesley versus Ray from yesterday? With a four versus three for Ray on one side, and then, and then two versus that one. And then was that rook c3 and rook b3. C3. Yes, the pawn yeah. from b was on the d file, and then the pawn from a was on the b file for right. black. But still, it's very similar. C2 and d3. Yes. As opposed to C2 and B3. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to say that you were making this uh, incredibly powerful case that if you let white just play the move C2, C4, followed by rook on D1 to A1, you're going to be waving goodbye. And I'm thinking, I'm not enthusiastic, mm -hmm. but I'm thinking that a move like knight D8, just for argument's sake, just put some uh, pieces, uh, take some things away. At least in this case, I aspiring uh, for a move like knight d6. If you, if you so play let's take that, it one move out of time. What yeah. if I go rook a1 though? Rook a1 one. right here, Threading right now. Pawn? So queen b6. You still have queen b6. And now I go c4. I cannot take on e7. I would love to take on e7. Na the knight is hanging. The knight yes. is hanging, right. So, so this is more or less where I wanted to say I was going to go. Because now, now if you take, actually, on it has d6? queen e5. On uh, e5. 
on E7 and then Queen E5. Queen E5, yes. He has. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. That's a nice, nice trick. Yes. trick. Mm -hmm. and, and I feel like very often we're going to see this type of situations where we're going to go into an end game where I am a pawn up, but you're still very close to simplifying the position. To a draw. Right. So something like this where I'll I'll eventually get one of the pawns back. Yeah, right? maybe even rook c5. Uh, and I think that actually gets the pawn back immediately. Immediately, rook Even though rook c5, I have b4. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about back rank mate. Puzzle rush tactic. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Bobby Fisher, back rank. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, so I, I didn't know if knight e8, uh, the chess engine, how oh, is it? Very maybe? slight advantage, very slight advantage very for slight. White. Very uh -huh. slight, very, very slight. With best moves, this is going to be uh, an equal position. What are the best moves then? Let's take a look. Rook to c5 was one of them. He this in moves. fact, the best move in the position. Rook. And he did play it. Well, you said c4, I'll say c4. After rook to c5? Yeah, rook to c5, yeah, c4. c4 is the best move. Well, the knight is hanging. Uh, what else? C4 <laughs> is indeed the best move. And I think he's going to play it fast. Right? Right. Because of the time situation. Exactly. And so now, maybe now you can play this knight d8. Or queen right. e4, queen e4, knight e4, knight e8. Oh. So some again, choices. let's take it one step at a time. Maybe rook c5. Rook c5, c4. Rook c5 is on the board. This is mm -hmm. the live position. Yes. 54 minutes for Levon, 14 minutes for Ray. Ray is... Uh, normally in time trouble, nothing to get worried about so far. But after <laughs> c4, c4 is on the board, by the way. Right? c4, yes. Uh, what about this queen e4? Let's have a look. Let's Do you like this. queen yes. e4? Yes, I mean, I'm, at least it looks tempting. Okay. Yes. So queen e4, what about queen this takes, exchange? Queen takes, knight, knight takes. takes should, I may have, have tricked to you. take, yes. Ah, you have knight d2. Yeah, I was I'm about to say, I may have tricked you. Uh, rook e1, knight d2. Let's go rook d7. Rook d7, yes. Well, uh, forgive me, but I'm a pawn grabber, f3. Uh, uh, I, I just want to go rook a1. That's exactly probably what he doesn't want to see. Um, okay, so... Can and I, I don't have something sneaky? like knight d6 and followed by rook b8. Yes, it's, it's a pawn. And, and actually, this f3 move is perfect, so no checkmates <laughs> ideas. No, just wanted you to You sense see. exactly the same thing I was feeling. Yes, yes, it, yes. yes. Like, avoid the back rank mate. Could avoid I play here rook takes b5? I see, play Rook it. takes b5. Oh, yes. And knight c3. But now... I mean, now you have this fantastic, yes. Uh, pass, pawn, pass pawn, right? Yes. Go ahead and take mm -hmm. my rook if you, you take, like. Yes, and king but this six. protected pass pawn mm -hmm. is huge. Yes. I feel very... I think that should be a winning... It's a cute combination. I yeah, mean, it, the, I mean, but I mean, you, you want to you, check it, let's say, but you can always see that um, even negative moves is well, not so good sometimes. Well, well you, you deserve praise for the creative for, combination. For trying. Yes, you for know, trying. But, but it was not good. It wasn't good. Mm -hmm. This is really bad, guys. Yes, really it's, bad it for looks Ray. bad, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so queen, queen e4, e4 is, is not is a not good a move. Good, no. Not at all, no. no. So but bad. again, the very difficult move, knight to h5. Knight h5. I've been looking at knight e8. Yeah. I've been looking at knight e4. You're not that was at knight not e4. on okay. my agenda. At least it has an idea knight e4 sometimes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. But uh -huh. again, this is so difficult, right? To try to understand this type of things in the heat of the battle with the clock ticking down. I mean, nice wow. idea sometimes even because you threat knight f4 and sometimes if you manage to bring your knight on the 4 then it can come to e6. Yeah. You also cover some squares. Exactly. And knight exactly. c5. In fact, I'm pretty sure that he calculated that whole variation with rook takes b5. By the way, I think queen e4 is the live move. It is, yeah, yeah. No, what, he did he play oh. this move? Yeah, yeah, he played queen e4. Queen e4? Yes, yes, he's on oh, the board. No. Ooh, 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 again, this is the move Huge that we mistake. kind of yes. fe felt was all wrong. Finally, yes. Levon has like created Ray some separation. It's, it's, <laughs> it doesn't look good. Isn't that terrible? You play like Ray Robson so, exactly at the moment that Ray played bad. Yes, <laughs> right? it, it doesn't feel great. It doesn't make you feel good. No, but considering Kinda. the fact that I'm, uh, my pick is Levon, I'm helping. You're helping. <laughs> I'm trying to help. Um, we've got some elimination games going on too, guys. Uh, it looks like Ray is in trouble in this one. Looks like um, that. How is uh, Fabi? versus Lanier doing. Fabi is trailing, and so he needs, he, he needs, needs to come back. To make it 
to win, of course, but in the Mask worst win. case scenario, he, he still can make a draw and try his luck with white pieces in the last rapid game. Gotcha. Like he, he didn't need to, to burn all bridges in this one. Right. This is what I'm trying to say. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. If you could bring that up on your board, uh, Christian, the, the Fabi mm -hmm, game. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Well, we should probably look at the bird's eye view because that's the easiest way to see the position, especially in time. Exactly. Uh, fast time controls, but I will try to find that as well. One thing that I immediately see is that Fabi mm. has 12 minutes and Lanier only 5. Okay. 5.55. Whoa. It's already... It's the position is not great for Fabian. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good position oh, for White. But it is a very uh, complicated position at the same time. Both players have mm. plenty of chances. Wow. And perhaps this is something that he wanted to get out mm -hmm. of. Uh, this one. It's something what we discussed before. You play this type of position hoping to get your chances. Like you have to play. Even maybe if you're even worse, it doesn't matter. You you have your chances. Take some risks, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So D D sixty five. Hmm. I it it's always a, a double edged sword, right? In some in some ways Hikaru mm -hmm. Hikaru who is not here, who is not defending his title is prepping for the candidates. Here, uh, Fabi is checking his form, right? But it's great if your form is good and you no, win the tournament. But yeah. what if you play badly? It's not, it doesn't matter, your confidence. Yasser. I think it doesn't matter. Like, he knows that the main event is um, ahead candidates. of him, the and candidates. I think it's just important just to keep playing, just to feel the pieces. This is, I, I'm sure maybe even Christian knows more about it, but his goal here is not like only to win this event. I mean, you, we should remember that the candidates tournament will be just 10 days after the end of the American Cup. Exactly. So how exhausted you want to be? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Right. And it's right. also a very different time format yes. as well. Very of course. Good. Not only time format, but the whole overall scoring format as well, right? In the candidates, you're going to play very long classical games, right? right. With two, uh, I believe, even three uh, time controls. So definitely a completely different format. And he doesn't put too much weight on past mm -hmm. results. I remember we were discussing this, uh, and we were discussing the Tata Steel results and how that influences usually... Uh, the candidates, and it doesn't really influence the candidates. Mm -hmm. Ding, for example, uh, played amazingly at the candidates after a disastrous uh, Tata Steel, Fabi plenty of times. Um, in fact, in uh, the candidates that he won, he had a terrible Tata Steel event in January and then mm -hmm. went on to yes. win the candidates. So past results don't influence um, the confidence levels, especially when they go into such an important event of these top players. By the way, uh, just catching up with the players, we did see after uh, Lanier's E5, F5, very, very forcing play by Lanier. Yes. Uh, from my perspective, I see this move F5, and in my mind, that opens up a potential exchange sacrifice of rook to D1 uh, to D4 captures H4. And in conjunction, with a move like uh, f5, f6, it sure feels like a nice initiative. Bobby kind of says, okay, I'm laying down the gauntlet. Uh, <laughs> I will attack the knight on c3, I'll play b4. Uh, go ahead and do the we'll worst do that you, you can <laughs> on the on the king side. If you want to take, I'll recapture with the bishop. Mm -hmm. And I'll just ask you what you want to, how you're going to continue. Well, he takes uh, you two pawns. Uh, we did have the inclusion of b3, ah, b3 by the way. Okay. b3, tickling the queen. The queen, whoa, the queen dropped back to c6. Because That's an intriguing square. Yeah. Uh, I just because forgot you, you're allowed to play 94, but queen c3, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. I forgot temporarily. Yes, so it's not possible. Queen. Right. I did. For some reason, I had it in my mind that the queen was going back. But okay, so his idea is, before, is to take take with the bishop, right? Where knight goes? On b1. It's not the greatest square. 94, yes, and can I take on c2? <laughs> Wow, I mean, I'm proud of yes, myself. Yes, 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 yes. I'm learning, yes, sir. Yes, yes. Take the pawns. 
because I also t want to take on b3. Like, what, well, what are yeah, you doing the, on the king's side? Well, it's all about, if you're king, mm -hmm. I mean, all you, it's like, please, 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 give me a move. Yes. You know, you, let me castle. If you get away, then you're fine. You're, you're, I mean, you could do it here after knight f4, I could make the castling, but I just became very ambitious and I decided to with, take a couple of pawns simply with, because of the situation Fabi has right now. Right. He needs to win. With so, purpose. Okay, but I'm a little bit worried that something could go wrong. I'm not sure one? exactly what will go wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, <coughs> let's take the pawn. <laughs> Should we continue? Yes, let's yes, just taking? take the pawn. Yes. Knight v6, okay, threatening yes. the rook. I, I, I've created a monster, Anastasia. Shall we take the pawn? Yes. Oh, yes. No, and look, now you want to play knight d4, and maybe I can play rook a3 with the idea to... Or rook a3. But rook, rook a3, a3 or rook a2, what he wants. He's a sneaky guy. No, he wants to go rook Bishop. c8. He, he wants to go rook c8? I think he wants to go rook c8, right? Really? But and I take queen the bishop. takes f7 check. Uh oh. That's what I'm saying. If you're bishop d8, okay, though I have right? still. Right. Okay, but now this is where you start to feel a little bit uncomfortable with the king. Both bishop g5 as well as bishop c5. Mm -hmm. It's starting okay, to you ask start some, to convince me. Yes. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. kind of ask. But bishop g5 again, maybe. Uh, can I, I now I'm, castle? I'm just saying. That, uh, yeah, but now you take on d8. Okay. That, mm -hmm. that, that, that maybe it, it, it's time after a move like knight b6 to just say, you know what? Yes, I thought about it. Yeah, <laughs> Bravo. I thought, you're right, yes, yeah, sir. I thought maybe in the worst case scenario, I'm ready to give up this exchange. I, I actually grabbed two pawns. Bravo. Yes. Bravo. No, one, one. Uh, no, 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 two, two. two. C2, B2. Yes, and I have some, my chances as well in this bravo, position. Bravo, bravo. Uh, yes. Very, very double-edged. Christian, jump in. Uh, this, is a, this is the type of uh, position that the computers excel at. They're yes, so, so forcing. Yes, is on the board. Yes. Right. Slightly better for white. But <laughs> you have to what is this really kind of not easy. Yes, I might as well take the pawn, which is the best move in the position. Take knight to, a, uh, knight to b6, and right now rook to a5 to defend the pawn on d5. At the same time, rook a5 allows queen takes d7, and then the transition into a slightly better uh, endgame for white, which is exactly what Lanier you wants. You would like. I right? mean, he leads the match. He leads the match. I mean, you have to win a game. Precisely. Sure, you will have the white pieces in the last one, and perhaps this is something that Fabi is trying to shy away from. He's trying to keep the position complicated, but if he does so, he doesn't allow this endgame. I'm not really sure what he does. Actually, right? I don't if like you don't take on f5, what do you do? You take knight on b6 c2, immediately. right? immediately. You don't need to take on six. f6, yes, immediately, knight b6, and I'm crying. Yes. <laughs> Knight b6, I take on because d7, I take on, on e6, d7, I yes. open up, knight to d4 is coming no, as no, well. this version is worse. Not looking good, yes. right? So I'm right. expecting him to take on f5, to be honest. I'm seeing too many weaknesses in black's position, and I don't see enough time to hide the king. The king in the center is just simply too vulnerable. And right now, Fabiano really needs to find a way uh, to pull the brakes. Yes. Look, mm -hmm. you've played very five, active yes. with mm -hmm. black piece, but right now it's time to defend. Right. It takes a five, I like this move. By the way, in the other <clears throat> elimination game uh, match between Sam. Sam Sevillan, pardon me, and Wesley So, a very even, uh, hard-fought affair is going on here. The match is tied 1-1. The players traded victories, both players winning with the black pieces. And uh, this match is going to go to a fourth game. Uh, as well, and unfortunately for one of these two players are going to be eliminated. The last move was queen e2. The more I'm looking at the position, at first I was thinking the game's very balanced. The more I'm looking at the position, I'm kind of feeling like I would prefer to play black. Thanks to this pawn on a4, if I could ever get in moves like queen b3 and knight c4, of course I understand the knight on d2 prevents me, but the b2 pawn starts to be weak. But I'm about to play rook to d7 and rook, rook to d8. d8, and white is on the defensive in uh, this one. Uh, is the time a factor, Anastasia? Yes, also, uh, Sam has less time compared to um, Wesley, so three minutes difference for the moment. For Wesley, he loves these technical positions. If you give him a technical position and you have less time, mm -hmm. <laughs> good luck. That's not uh, that's not a formula for success. I can Queen tell you. A two, yes, I immediately. Uh, Again, targeting this pawn. this pawn on B two and just asking a very salient question: What you're going to do about it? 
What if you play knight f3? Knight f3, that looks like Protecting a very good the move. Mm -hmm. And attacking knight c4 immediately also. A very good move. Mm -hmm. uh, I always like those moves. I, I gave them, you know, uh, I awarded them <laughs> for the understanding. Both a defensive move and, attacking. and an attacking move. I defend e5, I attack b2. And again, this is not what Sam had signed up for in this rook opening to, yes. to play rook b1. And, you know, this queen and knight, I, I don't know. I'll just play a move like rook d6 and say, okay, I'm, I'll, I'll take over the default. Also, some ideas with knight a3, if you move the rook from e1, will follow up. Oh, so, thank I mean, you. So, yeah. it, that's why it looks a little bit depressive for white. Exactly. Like rook b1, like so, anytime you move the other rook, yes, it's yeah, knight so a3 I, also. I will uh, I will blunder nicely. So <laughs> the idea, as you were saying, Anastasia, is the moment the queen is unprotected. Is un mm -hmm. We also have some tricks here as well. Uh oh, I have tricks too, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Rook a1. Ah, here. I see. Okay, queen c4 <laughs> still. I'm still. Ah, I'm, I'm still well <laughs> spotted. Queen c4. Yes, queen c4. I mean. Um, but it's important yes to have it in your mind because exactly. it can be it can backfire sometimes. It backfire. You, um, but it looks like Wesley is in pole position. How about in the ladies section? Oh, well, you've got the... I do believe we should go back to the Fabiano game. Just okay, because sure. For Fabi fans, this is really bad news. For Fabi Right fans? now, he uh, is in big trouble. Really? If Lanier finds the best moves, he's winning. Wow. And finishes this match and sends Fabiano home. Wow. To prepare for the candidates. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's yes. that bad? It's pretty bad. After rook to a6, if Lanier finds the move, rook to a1. Just simply trying to go. Not a difficult for move. The check. Checkmate. I mean, check on the eighth rank. Something bad is going to happen. I mean, your pieces are just clustered next to the king, but at some point, I'm going to take on d7. Things are opening up. And he, uh, rook, rook c1. c1. He reached for the rook. He just <laughs> didn't make it uh, all the way to. How is Rook this C1 one? Was... Not great at all. <laughs> queen now this F5? allows him to get back into the game. Perhaps just queen takes f5. Thank you for for the the crucial tempo. Yes, <gasps> crucial tempo, crucial pawn as well. What did he have in his mind? Like player probably C1? just take on f5, the exchange, and then knight takes d5, and knight c7 is coming. But I do believe there is maybe bishop to d8 at yes, the end like of very everything. Very calm move, it seems. Perhaps just bishop well, to d8. Wait a minute. I mean, bishop d8. Or is it rook c6? I mean, there bishop. are a couple of ways in which I can try to it defend. It feels like white's pieces are Very tremendously active. Yes. active. Mm -hmm. Fabiano needs to take, though. Fabiano really needs to take on f5. If he doesn't, if he yeah. takes on b3 and tries to stay, stick around with the queen okay. on the queen side, no, I have no, to no, ask. That's bad. I will stick around. With, uh, is it rook c7? Is it knight Why takes so d7? Yes. You want me to tell you? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I close my oh. eyes. It's everything. Uh, uh, it's you can, everything. You can F take takes d6, knight takes d7, knight to d4. All I think of it's this. Knight to d4 more than anything else. Yes, and you take on the 6 and f7 and, and everything. And your king is still going to be stuck in the center after I play knight takes. No, the best this move is after knight d4 is to give me the queen. Queen Probably takes f5 is, is box. I think he, he, he needs to play, play it, yes. yes. He needs uh, to play it. Yeah, he takes on I mean, five. It's yes, absolutely, queen immediately absolutely forced. Exchange follows uh, up. Lanier is down to two minutes, by the way. And he finds it. Down to two minutes is Lanier, mm -hmm. Mingus, against Fabi. Bishop d immediately played by Fabi. Good move uh, by Fabi. Well, knight c7 is one of those monstrous forks. I'm wondering, in my career, how many rooks I've lost <laughs> <laughs> to the knight c7 fork. <laughs> I'm going to bet a little bit over 300. <laughs> <laughs> I played a lot of blitz. Yes, I got it. Uh, rook c oh no knight c7 check knight c7 check bishop captures was forced rook captures don't don't castle don't reach for your king the bishop is under attack so now what maybe like bishop, bishop b6 yes threatening move. immediately <gasps> pawn on b3 but what bishop c5 you're yes. not your king is going nowhere what about rook to c6 Instead of bishop e6. Okay, I'm not trading rooks. I worked hard 
to bring it rook here, rook a7 or what? <laughs> rook b7 or rook a7? But at least with rook on c6, there's no, ah, no bishop Ah, there's no c5. bishop c5, and that's right. very important. Ah, that is very... So, for example, rook b7, Maybe bishop c8. Maybe I'll even give you a pawn. Bishop and, b6, perhaps. And even... Yeah, I just castle. wanted to say, as soon as I castle, I'm back in business. Rook to c1, by the way, everybody. Wow. Nice, it, nice play. Okay. Take Rook on c1, c1 and knight takes knight, c1. Knight or bishop, yes. And then well, I want b6. to play bishop c5. So I will recapture with the knight, defend the pawn on b3. You really wanted to go bishop. <laughs> I really, really want to play bishop c5. No, but what if, ah, uh, no. He took it with the knight, mm -hmm. yeah. Just he once every did. broadcast, I have to remind everybody, these players are really good. Maybe rook, rook h6, <laughs> yes, sir. Maybe rook h6, rook c6. It would oh, be oh, great. Sorry, bishop, bishop. I forgot about the bishop. Maybe first the four. <laughs> Let me show Anastasia. I'm trying, I'm trying to find this way how to bring the bishop. I like four. Yes, I like four first and then rook h6. You can yes. develop your rook, mm -hmm. uh, but you have to, pre as first, you say, yes. uh, include Yes, and rook f4. Because if you cannot make castling, <laughs> what, what is the other way to bring liberate the rook into the, rook. the game? Yes. You've got to liberate the rook, yes. and this is a good... A very, very good plan. After all, bishop takes b4. It's not, just, it's not just rook c6, but mm -hmm. there's also you know, Maybe I can a, start a little, trying to attack you. A little yeah, reminder, wow. a little reminder that that uh, f3, knight f4. And bishop, opposite f4 color is on the board. Uh, by the way, opposite color bishops also. <laughs> f4, bishop c5, rook h6. h6. He's going for Anastasia. it. Okay, guys, you how do you feel? You underestimated Anastasia, ch yes, sir. Channeling your inner Fabiano, <laughs> yes. number two player in the world. Yes, at least. Uh, We're going to give you the honorary uh, sharing, sharing of the <laughs> elo. <laughs> Sharing of the ELO rate. Wow, look okay. at this. He didn't play F3, which also was somewhat attractive, right? By the way, how are we doing on time? Can we uh, zoom no, but now he's threatening uh, it's Bishop Two three, minutes, less than F2. two minutes for Lanier. Yeah. Can and be unpleasant, four, you know, for White. Five. Okay, five minutes for Fabiano. That's. Well, that's the best position he's had yes. in the whole match. Right. No, I think Blake is already right. doing well. You know, especially for the year now to change his, um, I mean, approach after having such a great position to understand exactly. that actually now it's not that great. It's time to fight for a draw. Yes. By the King way, two, by the way once again, move. f3, bishop c6 is on Fabi's agenda. He needs to win this game to stay in the match. He trails by a point. So Which king f2, yes. Now king f2. What if you go... Nice. Bishop to c6 first. If Fabi makes draw, let's not forget that he still will have chance in the last game. Right. Bishop c6 is an excellent move. Seriously, it's, it, nothing's wrong with it. I see knight e1, but the move that I find my eye drawn to is f3. Because you want to have this h pawn. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I see, yes. I yes. will take with the king, though, right? I well, guess. Well, there is a check. Okay, rook g3 and then rook to g2. Potentially right? with check. <laughs> and also, king takes f3. I do have bishop c6 check. Right, wow. By the way, just as this game has mesmerized us, uh, incoming news, Wesley So has a big winning advantage. Even. But remember, we, th we thought that he was better already after queen a2, yes. Oh. Oh, wow. oh Jennifer! News. Yeah, Jennifer still in the match. Yes, she, she won her had game. to win the match. She had got to one win back. game three. Yet she dialed in one game. A king of two. What do you like? F three or? I mean, Bishop yes, sir. C6. It's a very important moment. If I say it wrong, you will not speak to me anymore. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. You will always be welcome. St. Louis has a special yeah, right. place in its heart for you, Anastasia. <laughs> Three, maybe. Yeah. But Bishop, Bishop C6. C6. Bishop that C6. was a Christian's move. He knows. He knows I know Bobby my too well. <laughs> Rook e7 check. Rook e7, King d8. The it was move. almost. As and if white takes on f7. As if yeah, linear expected. Oh, they go for this fourth line. Wow. I have to say, that this is really good <laughs> this calculation. This is crazy, actually. This was good calculation by linear. Okay. S He's three basically results. Tr traded the g2 pawn for the f7 pawn, giving uh, Fabi a powerful passed f pawn. But what about but e pawn? 
Yes, sir. I mean, it, it, it can also start moving. Also. He's 67. I was having a private conversation, <laughs> and now you want to tell me about how strong is the e pawn? That looks really good, too. You're right. So it's going to be game for three this results. Is, yeah, nip and tuck. What, what says the chess engine on this one? Uh, uh, Christian, who? Zero. Happy with, zero. Both, zero. Yes, no. happy with both players, yes. Happy no. with every, everybody's happy. Everybody's imagine, happy? Imagine the players, yes. They don't know the evaluation. Oh, it's no. Like Their hearts are, are pounding at this exact moment. And by the way, Fabi is slowly catching up with Lanier on the clock. Those last few moves, Lanier really sped up the tempo. Yeah. Uh, from Lanier's point of view, if he could essay e6, rook f8, check. You're absolutely right. That e pawn mm -hmm. uh, can rue the day. Actually, it's such a crazy position. Some threats like knight f4 also to grab another pawn. Like, you know, trying knight to understand like what's going on. You know, so black it, has to find a move, right? It, it's so strange. Uh, the f4 pawn, and I'm a pawn grabber. I, it was off my radar. Yes, yes. I was I mean, always thinking knight takes b3, bishop to d5. Mm -hmm. yes. Give me the rook. Even now, knight f. Is no, possible, give me... but then because G2 rook will be hanging. Holy smokes! I mean, knight. but then the knight will be hanging. Okay, so you cannot play this movie as knight to... f4. Well, Just I'm not sure. And knight f... I think you can. Right? I think what? knight f4 is a, a legit. But bishop f7. Knight, knight g2. g2. Bishop knight h4? takes four. Uh huh. It's a it's a draw, right? Oh, it's oh. a draw. That's why they go zero zeros, but. If I'm in Lanier's shoes, I would like to put the match to bed. He's going. I can play knight oh, of four. I was going to go rook check and knight takes b4. No, says Lanier. That f pawn is too dangerous. Let me take it. Bishop, bishop f7, takes f7 and they go for this line. Yeah. And it's just like everything gets hacked up. Oh, <laughs> he's played g5. He didn't go Look, for the hack. He's trying, yes, to keep one more pawn. Although there is bishop takes b4. And bishop d2, right? Bishop takes before bishop b3, probably. And bishop to d2. Mm -hmm. And everything Not comes out. Yes. But I got more. <laughs> yes. But maybe it's knight f4 now. Or maybe, maybe just mm -hmm. something of this nature and fizzling. Yeah, this one's fizzling out to a draw, everybody. Let's jump to Wesley So's game. And what a turnaround! This has been for Wesley So. When we left it, uh, Wesley had just played the move queen a2, followed by knight c4, and we liked his position a great deal. Knight takes e3. By Oof. the way, he couldn't take on b2, yes, because of some rook b1, I think, tricks. Some mm -hmm. issues, but boy, when you have to double, oof, f takes e3, that was a move that Sam really did not want to essay. Rook takes d2. We're going to be catching up with the players are just more than curious how they're getting here. This last move, king g7, is a prelude to rook h8. By the way, what are the clock times, mm -hmm. uh, Anastasia? Yeah, I mean, Wesley is also ahead. He has three minutes more. Oh, my. Sam this has, like, is like just a, 25 seconds now. Oh, this is like a technical... Oh, this is, ending, yes, this is beautiful, great beautiful play, great uh, play, by, play Wesley. by Wesley. I mean, he's showing... His class with I mean, we've seen that graphic, G5. you know, that uh, Ben Underwood graphic. That was... <laughs> that was wow, that one. king on g5 is but essentially can you untouchable. Go queen h2, queen h4, just. Uh, queen takes g4, oh, check. That's a problem, yes. That, we don't have that, time. That hurts. Mm -hmm. That's what they call science nowadays. Science? <laughs> science. <laughs> Follow the science. Follow Ooh, the science. King F2. Really accepting Queen G4. Accepting the fact that uh, the G pawn is. What's but Wesley then B5, looking at? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it must be some noise in the. Uh, queen takes G4. Queen takes B5. Queen takes E4. That looks good enough for me, Coach. What about you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, this this looks pretty good. That looks good. And it's 13 seconds. Did you yes, say for, exactly. Uh, 13 seconds again. Sam? Three minutes, 25 seconds. Of he has Wesley. plenty of time. For yes. those, I mean, Wesley probably will just calculate a little bit. For, Maybe he'll play like. For those. Of, for fun. 
For those of you joining us late, Wesley So started today with a loss. Sam Sevian won with the black pieces, and we're seeing an enormous turnaround as Wesley... I told you, King H4, H4. <laughs> said he'll just make fun of his opponent. No, like, no. what are you going to do? Yes. Uh, it's your turn. And Wesley won with black to equalize and... But I think queen of three, no, queen e one. Queen e one. Queen e one. I'm ah, because if... Oh, Oops, king h4. I Sorry, know. I have to put king h4 on the so board. King h4. What's the idea if I take on g4? Take and he's done it. Queen b4. Queen b4, okay. Okay, so it's well, it's like an, black. Yeah, but it's like an extra tempo too, mm -hmm. right? I mean, the previous version, the queen was on b5 already. So we could even start to imagine moves like king h3 and queen g2, queen g3 check. Can we play like... F five. F five is a, a very very good move. I'm not sure, but Just, I'm trying to understand. Yes, queen e seven check. Yes, maybe queen g five. But Wesley says, you know what? I go back. I'm satisfied with the pawn. Yes. How about you? <laughs> Exactly, like you can actually yeah. just defend the pawn, Bravo. Yeah, yes. and queen did drop back to e1. And uh, now it. it's just a question of technique. He brings his king probably even back, yes, all the way to g7. Mm -hmm. I don't know, just to protect from all these checks. Exactly. Let me just refresh my board mm -hmm. to make sure that we were up to date in the queen live possession. 10 seconds. By the way, it does seem like in the ladies' section, in yes. the nation bracket, Begim is putting the finishing touches on Zoe Tang. And should he win? Should if she, she wins, win? She wins the match. That's she goes it. Through. That's yes. it. And Zoe would be eliminated uh, from King the competition. Can I go F5 now? That's the question everybody has in mind. I mean, you can give a check on G2, but that's about it. F5 was on the board. Queen F King F2. Okay, I mean. It's not you a good showing. don't take only four because be five probably. He's trying to get something going, mm -hmm. right? It's like everything is wrong-footed for Sam. This is just, you know, it's like tragic. Everything, uh, the pawns, the pawn structure, the doubled E pawns, were frankly terrible. Yeah. By the way, these. They, they made uh, two. Uh, they made a draw. Yes, it's, a, it's a draw in the third game as well. So the score two is one. two one. Yes. Two one. Uh, so he has only twelve seconds at this moment, and to, it seems like Begim is on the driver's seat. We haven't checked the King arena crush. Game for Let's some. just finish this one. Sure. This is uh, the this is the Begum versus, versus Zoe, Zoe uh, match. Begum with the black pieces. If she pushes d three. I think that's that's game. Yeah. H4, okay. H4 now, knight to c2 perhaps. No, she Ooh. goes rook a8. Which is probably the right decision to try to catch that pawn from, from behind. From d5, yes. Right. You go d, but d3, rook d8, knight d5. Ah, uh, close and That d5. might, in fact, Knight takes d3. Yes, knight takes d3, yes. Upset. A bit, what is on b5? <laughs> the bishop? Oh, that's a bishop. If it's no, a bishop, that's a knight. It's a knight. Oh, okay, so then it's... Oh, that's a bishop on b5. Yes, so if it's a yes, bishop, yes. then yes. Then we cannot take on b3. That's what I was trying to understand also. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking, okay, the genius of Yasser. Knight takes d3. Yes. I mean, that would be really bad for me, but why? <laughs> a lot of thoughts were going through my mind. Ah. <laughs> uh, Okay, Zoe, in anticipation of your knight d5 blockade. Can That's you put d... Ah, yes, knight d3 at the end. Oh. Is rook f8 check by chance a little bit of a tricky threat? Uh, that was a good move. Mm -hmm. Really, Just knight to, Probably uh, knight to d5 right now. Try to clog that d file. I think you're right. I like that move very much. She has 50 seconds to, to find the winning ways. Get that pawn to promotion. That's all she has to do. Yes. Get the right. pawn to promotion. But you have to be very precise. Look at Zoe. You know, she never gives up easily. You know, no. Always tries, no. all the, finds all these Everybody's tricks. Everybody's a fighter. Yes. I mean, where exactly. did all of this combativeness uh, suddenly You don't get from? to go through uh, in the American Cup if you're not combative. A fighter, yes. Right? right? You, you have to be a fighter. Yeah. Everybody is a fighter at this level. Exactly. By the way, uh, Wesley is very, very 
craftily. She decided to exchange the okay. knights. I'm Bishop not sure to about c4, it. Perhaps king no to king to e4. Probably she what just this? wants to go with this king to c3. She's just marching. What about or rook c3. to d8? Ah, so the idea is now to play d2 with rook d8, bishop d3. So black, white has, has to, to play, play rook d8. d8. Yes, yes stopping d8, this king and I think also. Bishop to c4. Bishop c4. Rook. With the uh, with the intention of bishop to d5. d5 yes. yes, and she's saying so that. So king f1 you, maybe. King f1. I go h3. Yes, exactly. So these Wait are. Wait a minute. King f1 d2 check. Oh, that's, ah. a, <laughs> that's a big problem Ooh, as well. Nice. And then bishop to d5 then or bishop, bishop to d3. d3. I think so she what, got f3? It. I think she probably got it. Yes, f3 is the only move. Take, king f2. Was this, but even, even... Was taking the best move? I mean, mean, king e3. Was thinking king e3 might yeah, be might, just... Yeah, might have been even more uh, to Precise, the point. Precise, yes. Uh-huh. But she, <laughs> she's got... There's so many points. So many points, <laughs> I mean, yes. This is like space invaders. What's going on? <laughs> How I mean, are you stopping all of them? I mean, you, know, you can stop one, you can blockade two. The three, Check. okay, king, king, four. king to David four, yeah, bishop yeah. to D Winning. five and D two. Yeah, she found the way, and that means Begim moves on. Yeah, exactly. And for Zoe, I mean, I, I really uh, well done uh, for your for your rookie king experience. King D two, bishop B three is a spread. Respect, yeah, very very nice. She she won against Arena the young. Only person to beat Arena in classical chess. Yes. Got some rating points there. Got some. Rook H8 and D2. D2 and Bishop B3. And right now, Begum yes, can. Yes, Begum wins this match. Breathe this game of the match, yes. Two and a half, uh, two half. Uh, again, uh, Bully stating the obvious. Uh, Wesley So. Mm -hmm. uh, doing very, very well. Two pawns up and a queen and pawn ending. And... Sam I think he wants to give a checkmate with the king and queen against king and queen. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the king goes to g3. F4. No, not, not, in, not yet, but... F4. Uh, keeping in mind there's always these ideas of, you know, being able to force queen trade. So, like, if you take on f4, queen check, you have to go to h1 in order to avoid queen takes f4. Queen. Yeah. Exchange. Any queen trades immediately ends the game, and f4 looks like a great move. It looks like uh, Wesley will be takes ahead. F4, Queen G3 so. check. That's for me. That's then automatic. Although Wesley seems to be thinking about it. So E3. E3 seems to be like the killing e blow, right? E3. I really like this move. Queen D7, and now I'm going to use... Ah, Queen D8, okay. Uh, and yeah, maybe... Oh, wait, be careful, Queen G5 still. Well, there is check. Uh, first check. First check. And then? And then E2. Check. Queen takes G5. And I was thinking E2, Queen takes G5, King F3. But there should be something easier than that, right? Easier? There must be something. I think queen ah, h4 check first and then h2. Check. I mean, I can go queen f1, queen takes f4, That's just to a pick nice up the one. pawn with a check. That's a nice one. I like that. Makes a this lot of sense. This is what Wesley is doing. And then you can play e2. Then I'll no think. queen takes g5. <laughs> yes. And yes. there are no checks. Yeah. Like queen g5. At some point, you will run out of yeah. checks. I think <laughs> Sam is about to resign in this one. No, king g1. Not yet, Sam. Also, a I mean, big King G3. Big fighters, yeah. That was a King that was a line of Walter. King Browns. G3, yes. I mean, threatening checkmate. I don't and no checks. Now it's time. Beautiful. Now it's that time. That was a good move. Now mm -hmm. it's time. Yeah. That's the resignation move, right? Yeah. What Walter Brown would say, "When yes. is no checks?" Yes. What a comeback by Wesley. Yes. Wow. Two in a row. He won two wow. games. Wow. And we have some news about... What uh, the heck? I got Alice. this report that Alice Lee has fought her way back. I can't believe that. I thought that she was doing so poorly in, in this position. Uh, yes. mm -hmm. In this position. But, but we heard that she's now back into the game. One, three. I remember there was this moment when yeah, sir, you wanted to, Irina to play it like more precisely, like H5, or right. like more concrete. Well, let me just... She uh, didn't do so, and... 
Well, the, when we left it, uh, we knew that Alice had put her knight back to d8 mm -hmm. in order to play somewhere f6 and f5. Mm -hmm. And somehow she's managed to trick Arena into a position where, wow, seriously, I mean, I thought it was strategically lights out, like just give it a rest. But something has gone tremendously well for Alice. Oh, no. This is an absolutely dream position. If you're thinking of what you had like five yeah, moves ago course, or ten moves course. ago, right? yes. mm -hmm. absolute dream for Alice. Wow. No, I mean, look, Irina wanted to be too perfect. Exactly. Right? Yes, Especially yes. the moment you guys yes, pointed Yes, I remember out. when she played like a4 she or something She could have like played knight g5. Yeah, exactly. Dream move. Mm -hmm. A4 is just, you know, too classy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the master she class. Her, like... She gave her time to consolidate, right. you know, to bring pieces. Uh, and You wanted to have six. your cake and eat it too, uh, yeah. <laughs> there type of thing. But okay, after the move queen d3, I mean, Alice still has to find some I mean, queen, queen takes a h5 mm -hmm. is on, uh, the, I mean, you, would you play g6 yes, is that's my a good question, point, yes. An Anastasia. What, what, what you else do you have, like a rook well, h6 or what? That's the question. Mm -hmm. Do you want to take on e5 if you take Yes, for Diva? example, and, and then like... Let's say I go rook, rook h6. h6. Yes. Mm -hmm. But now this looks awful. Now the look... Rook no, rook looks totally off sides, yeah? Yes, and yes, so I will bring something my like knight to e3, yes. And beautiful blockade. Wow. Um, big, big, big uh, turnarounds here. No, it's not over. Here. Not over. And not Alice over. was against Arena. It's just that Alice found her way back and, and into I the game. And I wanted to go to the game of Levon for a moment because Ray Robson has no queen side. Yes. The it just lost uh, the pawn on the queen side, and it's like white has two extra pawn. Okay, but we had left it, and we side. were questioning Ray's decision to play queen e4, yes. because yes. we saw this position, we kind of stopped and said, well, this is very, very good for white. And, and one we were right. That uh, black actually cannot find a way how to take the pawn back. Oh, mm -hmm. There were some tricks, yes, like you, you couldn't, never you could take it, yes, now rook is hanging. Is yeah. hanging. The rook has to defend the knight on f4. Yes, well, the big e7 problem is, is that if you do go rook to b3, I'm not really sure what this uh, view is. If you do go rook to b3, rook takes g2. Uh, sorry. So instead of rook to d2, which was the last move, by the way, played with two seconds on his clock. <laughs> ah. Um, right now he has 32 seconds. Keep going, yes, sir. Oh, okay, say yes. Tell yeah, me why. In the final position, actually. Oh, After sorry. Rook to b3 instead of rook d2. If you do take on g2, g2 then rook f4. Or what? Rook f4. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You take on f4. Yes. You take on g2. Take on d4. Yep. But I think these two pawns are just again. Powerful. Yes, they're, they're, they're running they're just too, too fast. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're running. Yes. Wow. Um, yeah, I and think I think it's that's it. Lost. Yes, it just Although I, I, I mean, must say, I would probably prefer my chances there to this. Then you should probably take it, yeah. Yeah, because here I just don't get it. I mean, I just see this whoop, and <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's over. Uh, the pawn is just going way, way, way too fast. I like the sound effects. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> By the way, do you. Do, do you do that mentally yourself? You you, you have a position and you go whoosh. <laughs> this Gone. no. This I'm not doing, yes, sir, but no. I will learn. <laughs> I mean by the end of um, the American Cup. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. I learn quickly. <laughs> okay. Uh Rook B three. What's the time? Oh, of course Ray's down to thirty seconds. I mean, otherwise it wouldn't be Ray. Thirty nine. <laughs> I mean, also minutes. position is also, I mean, position is not good, you also don't have time, but still 30 seconds are enough to make a move. Yeah. Just, it's hard to actually, to understand what to do for black. I mean, exactly. why yeah. just simply yeah. want, wants to run with his pawns? And, no uh, good advice is in this position. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it looks pretty bad. By the way, that was always uh, something I found found charming about James Bond movies. James Bond, you know, is facing 50 persons. He's he's unarmed, 
And then he decides it's time to attack. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he makes a comeback. You know? <laughs> and as we keep a close eye on this one, we want to turn to Kostya, who is with Begum. Thanks, Esther. I'm here with Begum Togar Dronova, who just won her match against Zoe Tang. Begum, first of all, congrats. Thanks. Um, can you take us through uh, the key moments of this match or your thoughts? Oh, key moments when I blundered. <laughs> so it was funny. I I was thinking of Rook D5. So I've been, I've been playing fast and that's that's the problem sometimes that mm -hmm. I have. So I was thinking about Rook D5 because they are threatening D5, right? So I said, oh, wait, Bishop E4. And then uh, like my brain slipped that I was thinking if I took um, if I take it, then d5, I cannot take it. So I was thinking that I, I made a move without like having a conclusion. It was a weird uh, moment. I think we were just both were very nervous. So your intention, just to be clear, this should be four. First, you thought you could just take. Yeah. And then and I d5. d5. And then and I was like, and this, yeah. yeah. And I was like, oops, I already made the move. I don't know how. That was a weird situation. But of course, if she just... Like, I don't know why she played knight e5. If she plays rook e1, she's crushing. I'm not on time. And she just, I feel like she didn't want to give away the pawn because of our previous game when I sat the exchange for pawn and rook. Maybe she, mm -hmm. she was like a little bit uh, scared of that. So after f6, uh, her plan was to definitely play this. Text, text, but she forgot that queen h2 and bishop a6 is coming. Mm -hmm. She forgot that uh, h2 square is hanging. So she played back to f3. It's still winning, of course. She needs to uh, be more precise. I think she could just take and then play rook a1. There's nothing to be afraid of. But yeah, she, of course, she gave me some chances and I just used it. I, I was sure that she's not going to play all the precise moves. But she could, but like, yeah, I got lucky with this game and won the match. Yeah, I mean, it seems like both sides were, were making mistakes. Um, I noticed you sacrificed the exchange in both games that you won. Well, this one wasn't intentional. This one was less intentional, <laughs> right. Did the first yeah. game at least give you confidence, like you're down in exchange? You can, yeah, definitely. Can uh, I was pretty confident. I just wanted to win all the games. Unfortunately, first game didn't go my way. It's just like to get back to the tournament because with Alice, I just risked too much and then lost uh, all the games, which is a pretty bad feeling to have. I was like, you know what, I got to get back. And right. yeah, I'm happy about it. I didn't play most solid or more most precise moves, but I got the job done. So Very nice. Like um, so next you'll play, uh, of course, the winner between uh, Nazi and Jennifer Yu. That yeah. match is still um, ongoing. Um, how will you approach the next uh, elimination match? Uh, the same way. I just want to have fun and win as much games as possible. <laughs> <laughs> as many of them. <laughs> It's a great strategy. Guys, back to you in the studio. Thank you, uh, Kostya. Thank you. Be Congratulations, Begum. I just want to win as many games as possible. Yeah, it's a very, very nice strategy. Fun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the elimination bracket for the Open. Uh, uh, and if you lose, what's going to happen? Ta da We've got a great. Ah, ah you mean if, if what, tilt, what happens so if you the keep tilt losing? Bracket. Yes. Okay. Tilt. So Fabiano tilt Carana bracket. is not doing well if he loses. And uh, Wesley saw actually you can see what happened. He managed to win two games in a row after he lost. His and match. Sam lost game two, and you can see he's one of the players who doesn't respond very well uh, to a losing. loss. Mm -hmm. uh, Wesley uh, doing very, very well. Lanier Dominguez, by the way, he's very, very chill. <laughs> uh, right in the middle there uh, with his 46.72%. And, and now results. the results, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, in open section, uh, we have uh, Two really, really tough matches. Wesley so managed to take a lead in his match against Sam Seven. He is right. leading to one. Uh, Fabiano Caruana made the, made a draw in the third game, so he's still losing uh, one point. It's one two, and he needs to win desperately. Needs to win in the fourth game in order to equalize the score and send the match to the playoff. And uh, Levon Aronian is still playing against Ray Robson. He has great position, big chances to win the first classical game. Absolutely. And uh, just to tell everybody about, oops, sorry, first of all, the ladies, my, yes. my bad. 
Uh, Irina Crush is fighting against Eris Lee. Um, we will keep an eye on this and uh, beg him to her journal. You saw her interview now, won her match two and a half. Uh, to half against Zoe Tank. She wanted to do it to have 3 0, but. <laughs> wow! <laughs> a very ambitious lady. Right. And Nazi Pai Kids uh, actually lost leading. the third game against Jennifer Yu. And even though she's leading in the match, Jennifer fought back, won the third one. And it's now a very important game. Uh, in case if Jennifer wins uh, against Nazi, now she will equalize the score. Absolutely. Will she be able to do so? Well, we're going to find out after the break. But first, uh, just to let you know that strategy across the board is coming up. This is our eighth annual fundraising a gala here at the St. Louis Chess Club and the World Chess Hall of Fame. Typically, it's held in December. This year, it's moved up to August 17th, 2024. When we have Sinkfield Cup and right. Branches Surya, so around these days. Everybody's in town, right? Yes. Visit the St. Louis Chess Club's website for more information. And if you're in town, make every effort to join us. It really is a lot of fun. And I love all of the uh, guests <laughs> that we have. Uh, we have some really great support from the people here in St. Louis. So we're gonna take a break as a day five of the American Cup continues. We'll see you on the other side of the break. Irina, thank you so much for joining me today. It's great to have you back at the American Cup. Tell me, how do you do everything? You're a grandmaster, you've won the US Championship so many times, and now you're going to be the commentator of the candidates. Well, I'm lucky that all of these things are things that I love to do, right? I mean, I love playing chess, I love talking about chess and analyzing it, good players. I should mention also, I started my YouTube channel, right? I mean, I probably don't talk about it often enough, but yes, guys, you can check it out on, on YouTube. Just search up Irina Crush and um, do a lot of educational videos as well as teaching chess to my students. I'm kind of excited because I feel like I'm gonna have my first master student um, pretty soon, you know? And it's exciting, right? Because I mean, I, I tend to start working with beginners so it takes a long time to get them to master level. And, and the cool thing about it is that it's gonna be a girl. Nice. It's kind of symbolic. Yeah, that's, that's really wonderful. And uh, which one do you feel from all of these things that you do, which one do you feel is more stressful? Mm, which one? Okay, well, really, really only playing is stressful, right? I mean, the other ones are, I think when you, when you think commentating on a chess event, oh, that's just like a joy, right? Like you just get to watch chess and enjoy it. Um, no, playing of course involves all the stress, um, but that's okay because it's a manageable kind of stress that you get used to as a chess player, right? It's not like I'm not doing this like every single day, right? So it's not like chronic stress. It's just a kind of a controlled stress that you know that you're going to enter and generally it's, it's quite okay. What would you tell yourself um, on how to pass over losses? Like, mm. what you, would you tell your younger self? Yeah, well, I've had to deal with this issue, like, kind of a lot over the years, right? Because, I mean, I would say I'm a person that would take losses pretty hard, which I think is normal for strong chess players, right? Because you hear about these cases where people mess up their hotel rooms in rage, you know, and to be honest, like I once kicked in the walls in a hotel room that I was staying in. Like I just kept kicking the wall until there was a hole in the wall unexpectedly, you know. After that, I, I, I was like, oh, it's actually not a good idea to do that, you know. So, well, um, so just to show you that, yes, chess players experience a lot of emotions after losses. And, uh, you know, we tend to get up from the board kind of quietly and then express them <laughs> in a different place away from the eyes, right? Um, well, how, how, do, how to take losses? Um, I mean, d different strategies that I've used over the years, one of them is like to kind of, I remember my psychologist at the time telling me like I should celebrate my losses, like, like as if it's a good thing and like just kind of trick the mind into thinking that, like celebrate it, you know? And then you can be sad about it like after the tournament, like let yourself know you can be sad. But of course, you're never gonna be sad. By the time the tournament is over, it's already in the past and you've probably had some better games to make up for that. So at some point I did that and that kind of helped me. Um, I think just in general, kind of, kind of shaking yourself up and just being like, okay, like you can't just wallow in this misery 
you know? So go out and take a walk or something and like try to put your head in that frame of mind where you're back to fighting again. So I think these days that's probably what I'm doing, you know? Just switch the mindset, you know? So when you're not playing chess, you're now doing something chess related. Yeah. What would be, how would you describe an ideal day? Yeah, that's a great question, Sabina. Can I go back for a second sure. to that question? I just want to say I'm no longer, um, you know, hitting the walls. <laughs> I just want to clear that off. I realized it's not a good strategy. One time I actually hurt my foot from doing that and it was sore for a while. This was like at a world championship event, you know, where I had like, was playing the tie break just endlessly. You know, I couldn't finish this match. You know, I was getting frustrated. But yeah, see, I'm, I've calmed down and uh, learned from, from my mistakes. So uh, you asked me about what's an ideal day. You know, chess is kind of like in my life every day. So I would even say like teaching a few lessons a day, it's like, it's, I, can't, I can't even take them out, right? Like even the work part of my life, like I can't really take out. I'm quite happy to be teaching my students. Um, I mean, definitely doing some chess maybe playing some training positions out that are interesting and like kind of inspiring to me. Um, you know, doing my health stuff, you know, it's like also part of my daily routine, whether it's like my one hour walk or like whether it's like going to Pilates or dancing, like having a dance lesson, you know, I'm into hip hop dance now. So that's my new hobby. Um, definitely it's kind of a special day when I get to dance. And, uh, you know, just talking, having good conversations with the people I like. I really like to invest into like the few close relationships I have. And when I have like nice conversations with those people, that makes me happy. Sounds good. Are we ever going to see a video with you dancing hip hop or not yet? I th well, I think it's going to happen eventually at some point, Savina. I think so. We're getting to it. But, you know, I'm still I'm still a beginner, but um, but my teacher, she thinks that I've, I've got pretty good potential, I think. Sounds good. But that will have to be left aside for the moment. You're yeah. here to play the American Cup. Thank you so much for joining me for this interview. I'm looking forward to see you compete. Thank you, Sabina. It's always great talking to you. The St. Louis Chess Club is the premier chess facility in the United States. We bring the educational benefits of chess to thousands of students across the St. Louis area. We also promote chess at the highest levels, hosting all levels of the U.S. championships, as well as high-profile tournaments that attract the world's best players. Become a member and enjoy perks such as free classes and lectures, weekly tournaments, and so much more. Visit stlouischessclub.org to claim your membership today. The World Chess Hall of Fame, located in the heart of St. Louis's historic Central West End. Want to know why chess has intrigued people around the world for nearly 1,500 years? Stop by and learn about the impact of chess from our three floors showcasing the art, culture, and history of the game. The World Chess Hall of Fame has something for everyone to enjoy. For more information on current exhibits, please visit worldchesshof.org. St. Louis, the chess capital of the United States. It also plays host to an award-winning shop dedicated to chess merchandise, all occasion gifts, and plenty more. At Q Boutique, you can shop both in-store and online. From quirky greeting cards to luxury chess sets, there is something for everyone at Q Boutique. Enjoy a shopping experience like no other. Make sure to check out QBoutiqueSTL.com for a wide variety of gifts for everyone to enjoy. The St. Louis Chess Club Scholastic Program brings the educational value of chess to kids in schools across the St. Louis area. Active in over 100 schools throughout the St. Louis city and county, the St. Louis Chess Club has been able to reach over 85,000 students in both in-school and after-school programs. We view chess as a valuable educational tool. Learn more about our scholastic programming by visiting stlouischessclub.org education. Welcome back to the studio. We have day number five of the American Cup. And we had a huge result as um, Levon Aronian wins Won against the classical Ray game. Robson. Yes. 
It's a good start for him, but they will Huge. also play a rapid game very soon. Yes, they coming have to, uh, up. They will come back to the St. Louis Chess Club and have to play again. And so, so, uh, so Wesley is still playing against Sam Seven. Uh, they actually fighting. They will be fighting for the four, in the fourth uh, rapid game, two one uh, in favor of Wesley for the moment. Fabiano Caruana has to win the fourth rapid game against Vinier mm -hmm. Dominguez. He is losing right now one two. Exactly. And in the women's, we do have one lady, Zoe. Who was eliminated? But please, I stealing the thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, yes, sir. So yes, Zoe Tang, you're right. She is eliminated from the tournament, and beg him to her Jonova. She's advanced uh, since she won the match two and a half to to half. And uh, Nazi Paikidze is still playing against Jennifer Yu. The score in the in the match is two one at the moment, but the first game can be decisive for both players. If Nazi makes a draw or wins, she will. Uh, actually be advanced. Exactly. Psychologically, it's one of those things where when you're uh, two points ahead of your opponent, oh, you're so full of confidence, you just feel great, like I got this, I mean a single draw. You lose one game and suddenly, you know, like psychologically, you've really been changed. Now you start to get nervous. When yes. you were up by two, it was no nervousness whatsoever. But, uh, but Nazi Jennifer. is also so experienced player. Now we, we see both players on the screen and the first game has started. Exactly. Jump in, coach. Well, I just want to show you some huge missed opportunities. Okay. In this game that we missed uh, Levon Aronian versus uh, Ray Robson, we didn't catch the end of it. But, but take a look at this. I was telling you that rook takes g2, g2, you go rook takes f4. Right. I was not correct. Not in this situation. In this situation, you just simply go knight to e2. What? That's the easy way to finish. The same off. ending. The same ending, but my king is closer to the pawn. So now I can, in fact, defend this pawn with king to d3 if I really want. Okay. To, right? So okay. this is completely winning for white. But take a look at this. He played rook to d2 and rook to b1. Double question mark. Double what? question mark. Now I can actually take on g2. No more knight to e2 because now I take with the rook on b1, Instantly. I have wow. rook to h1, and now you're actually worse with white. So if rook f4? And if rook to f4, this is just a draw because my rook is in an amazing position to start attacking your pawns. You go here, I give you a check. You go up, I, give, I go behind. You I find, force yes. you. The pawns are frozen. And now I just keep going. If you do go c5, I will take c6, and, and I'm back. just in time to catch that pawn. Wow. So this would have been a, a draw for Ray Robson. So Instead, he didn't do it. By the way, he played this move with two seconds on his clock. That's the problem. You have these big decisions in those mm. last few very crucial moments of a game. And if you don't have enough time to calculate everything, you're not you, going you, to make you, the best you missed decisions. Them. You missed them. It looks Your so name awesome. is Magnus Carlsen. <laughs> right, good luck. You're still not going to make the best yeah. decisions yeah. with only two seconds on your clock. Exactly. And as it went, unfortunately for Ray, uh, he didn't have another chance. After this, it was all over. Oh. Knight to e2, knight to d3, I pushed the pawn, knight to c3, check, it doesn't really matter, knight to d5, and a beautiful way to finish. Check this out, rook to e2, knight to f5. Nice, nice discovery check, pick up the exchange, all she wrote. Gotcha. Uh, but their day isn't over because they have a, a rapid uh, game coming up very shortly, probably within the next 15 minutes or so. Arena Crush's game, uh, how, is that, how is that going on? When we had left it, Arena's, the lion's share of her advantage kind of disappeared. Let me just check in on it and what has happened since. Ah, look, um, yes, no, sir, that, I think, I think it's, that's, maybe uh, it's what we have discussed. No, I think, unfortunately, I think that's just our, um, I want to say our analysis. Oops, let me just refresh the board. Sorry, I'm going to just refresh our game. Let's see. And I will just go. Ah, so he, she decided to defend the pawn by With playing G6. G6. Yes. Well, yes. We, we checked both options. And, and in fact, they've kind of transposed, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, I've played the French defense a lot in my career and it's very often somehow I have this bad bishop versus a good knight but I have a good pawn <laughs> and to quote uh, it still uh, looks good for white uh, yeah, bad, yeah but bad bishops mm -hmm. do defend good pawns <laughs> you know uh, I think it was Michael Shuba yes you're yes. 
Romanian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very, very. Very famous, uh, very strong GM. Imaginative player. In his player. time, yes. for sure. Uh, I, I respect it. One of the best uh, play. hedgehog players, in fact. He, he wrote a wonderful book about the hedgehog. I've, I've, I've watched so many of his <laughs> hedgehog games. Because I had a coach and I was... The, the, his only idea was to teach me the hedgehog. Really? With black pieces. And all he was showing me for like three hours every session was hedgehog games. Hedgehog. How many years? <laughs> five years or so. Oh, really? really? Yes, that's the only thing I did for five years. <laughs> so, so, that's really bad so what happened in your hedgehog Do you uh, play career? It? I played it for a while and then it got depressing. It got depressing. Because <laughs> the thing is, you do get somewhat <laughs> passive positions in the hedgehog. You have to have a lot of patience. Right. And uh, yeah. People no. kind of understand how to play. No, it didn't. Did it, it affect did. your character, you know? Style? Perhaps. <laughs> right. it, it very well could Years. be. <laughs> you know, it was a very strange thing. Uh, Gary Kasparov, he uh, adopted the Karo Khan. And he played it very well. And he wrote a book about the Karo Khan. And Edward Gufeld looked at Gary and said, Gary, you're, you're not a Karo Khan player. You're a mafiosa. Yeah. You should okay. play the Sicilian. That was history. Gary, well, he played the Knight or played yeah. it very yeah. well. Enough, it? He got a few world championships. No Karo Khan <laughs> for <not>? you. <laughs> it's a great decision. A very yes. great decision. Uh, th th tell me about Arena's position, because there is only one minute on the clock uh, for Alice. And She's got this great night. Uh, how does the engine evaluate? I'll definitely check it out, but it does seem like Irina is doing quite well. Maybe we can see it on your board and try I've to figure out. I've got it on my board. Right, right, right. So uh, she's got the engine is saying that Irina minutes? is doing great. In the really? Position. Yes, she's back in the driver's seat. Okay. Now, the question is how, right? Right. Yes, it exactly. does feel like you need to plant mm -hmm. the knight on d6. If I manage to jump with that knight on d6, which comes at a cost, because once you move the knight from e3, e3 is coming. Opening up the bishop, right? sacrifice of a pawn, and things can get very dicey. And the other thing is knight c4, well, queen bishop a5 six check, uh, pardon me, queen c5 That's check, problem. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. maybe the king is a little drafty. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Anastasia, jump in as why you do you like white first of all. I know the yes, it looks computer like, likes. Yes, 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 it looks like, but but I'm also what I, what I can notice that white. Is not threatening to play like g4, h5, something which you would like maybe to play one day and move mm. your knight on f6. Let's perhaps. go knight c4. Right? But it's, for quick, the moment, it's not possible, yes. Quick question Would yes. you trade the rooks? Yes. Mm. yes no, maybe no, it's no, not yes. a bad idea, I, I actually, like and this. try to keep only a knight and bishop on the board, yes. Right. I'm I don't sure. like this for, yes. for white. No, okay. I don't like no. You, would not, you, you wouldn't do it, yes. No, just because you're you get the default. You're enthusiastic about knight c4. Knight c4. I think mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay, so let's see why you're so enthusiastic. So if we go check. Okay, now I go king. Okay, king h2, probably. I don't know. Do I go with the king or do I go queen e3? I can also go queen e3. Mm -hmm. But let's go king h2. Okay. Let's I like how you're yeah, showing me. Yeah, I was ready. <laughs> you're really showing ready, me where uh, to go. to go. Okay. Uh, here was the thing that I was... A little bit concerned about. Okay, let's take it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So now you have some serious threats. I, I understand. I have a dream. <laughs> you do have a dream. Right. Can I go knight d6 first just to try to crush that dream? Okay. So pause, pause, pause. Uh, uh, the rook is hanging. I really feel I've got to move it. Right. And unfortunately, I don't have the time anymore to take on e3. So I probably have to take on b7. Maybe you could take and go king, queen f2 and protect g2 and the chuan. I don't want to say I could take on b7, b7 and b7 then go rook d3. Well, what he, what he has in mind is just going mm -hmm. into just a major this. ending. But mm -hmm. okay, I mean, this pawn on c3 is actually giving me some... It does. Uh, so let's go king g2. Okay, I'm going to give you... I'll do exactly the same as you do. Queen f3. No, I don't want to trade queen, so I apologize with that move. I'll go king e7. I want to okay. get into a rook ending, not a I queen know, ending. I know, I <laughs> know. So queen f3 now. Queen f3 now. I, th I think we're very far from... From where... From the action. Yeah. Um, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll give this a pause and just let me just refresh the current position. I'll go uh, back and forth a bit. And king g7, it's like king h2, by yeah, the way. Yeah, so the, Nobody's she decided it's actually... Mm -hmm. And Irina said... Okay, I, I already understand 
these vague ideas that you may be having of sacrificing a pawn. I'll put my king out of harm's way with the move king h2. And by the way, with not that much time on her clock, Alice Lee quickly played the move king g7. She now has 47 seconds. Right. So do you try now to play knight c4? I think we do. I think, I think maybe it's the, time, yes. Yeah, I think we've reached that moment where, well, we've done just everything we could to make Improve it a reality. Is, so there is no queen c5 check anymore. So what's it's a much better doing? version. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yes. So knight to c4, if I get to play knight to d6, and no rooks have traded, then it's very nice. Then with the knight on d6, I can just simply pile up on the d-file. So already, I think the rook, if I'm in black shoes, I may not like it, but I would trade, yes, trade, trade and maybe look to trade again. Actually, I, ha um, no. I don't know. Let's go knight d6. Ah, knight d6, you want to play rook d8? Or? Not that I want to play it. It's just kind of I've, I've landed in a, in a situation but where... But now it feels that I'm it, going to be able to blockade you with queen e3. Queen e3, yep. Then rook d4. Then I'm going to get my king to a2. <laughs> <laughs> no, this know? is funny. I'm going you, to did, hide. <laughs> did you know I just wrote a book uh, with my dear friend Bruce Harper? It is about king walks. Yes. And the name nice of the book king is walk. King Walks. Yeah, king and I'm going to walk with my king to a2. I said, wait a minute, dude, did you read my book? <laughs> At I least mean, to c1, right? <laughs> so you don't right. have all these bishop b3 exactly, nonsense. Exactly, exactly. No, this is nice. uh, looking good at the moment uh, here. And yes. we're seeing a very nervous Alice Lee. She's so shaking, but I don't know, maybe yeah. it's cold there. Well, she well. also only has 40 seconds. So yes. whenever you are on the brink, you know, you have a few seconds, you need to make your decision so fast. You need to be on all the time. That's the thing, you don't have time to relax at all. And right. I so really it seems like so she's engaged. trying to win this game for the second time, you know, like step yes. by step. Yes, right. she has to. She won it the first time. Yes, yes it right. was much better, yeah. and now it's, she's trying to increase her advantage for the second time. And but I think her moves they come more naturally compared to the moves of Alice. Like what you showed just right now, it's a clear plan, and uh, very unpleasant for Alice to just keep patient and to keep balance in this position. Exactly. Yeah. I, I once had a game with Anatoly Karpov. He just played a strategic masterpiece. It was absolutely a brilliant game. I was dead lost, and he just at the t at time trouble control blundered, fought, and I got right back into the game, and then he had to win it again. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I felt I lost two points with this game. Yes, you know, like, like you a, ma managed to equalize once, okay? Like, and then, then the second time. No, it's, it's hard. You are defending, defending, right. then suddenly you have some air. <laughs> yeah. You start breathing, but not for long, yes? <laughs> not for long. King G7, and I'm, she just for seeing, I'm seeing Arena using a lot of her clock. Exactly, she probably should like weaker. Wow. Uh, well, I mean, I, outside of Knight C4, what could she be? I thinking? feel Queen B6, uh, Queen B5, excuse me. Yes. It's also quite a serious move in the position, right? right because A5? if you, if I manage to go, first of all, Queen A5, obviously, mm -hmm. is a big threat. Mm -hmm. But also Queen B6. So, for example, if you don't go Queen C7, I not really sure what you do. Well, queen b5, the you kind of lose a little contact with the sure. d2 pawn. You can give me a check if you want. D, yes. d, d2 square. Uh, no, but I, I do agree with you that I, I should play queen c7, and then my dream is and to play now rook I, d2. Right? And now I take on d8, and then rook d1, and you don't ah. have rook d7. Ah. That makes a, that's, that's an improvement. Of, in terms so of queen winning control seven, yes. on the d file. And now I go rook d6, rook d6 and again I try to do stuff related to the dark squares. Love it. Everything I, has to be related to the dark squares. I, you, 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 you had me at rook d6 and winning a pawn. So no, I think your rook d2 b5. might actually be the most. Queen d5, yes. So this is a little disruptive. Check, Let's take, take, take rook d1. Rook d1. Now the question is, can I, well. Keep the pawn. Yeah, uh, for 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 better or worse, I better try Queen D8 and to maintain the pawn mm -hmm. for the moment. So what about my 
And as the elimination bracket games get underway, we just want to remind everybody that Sam Sevillan and uh, Fabiana Caruana, our number one seed and number two player in the world, is facing elimination from the tournament. He's on his second life. He's down by a point, and he must win with the white pieces. Do you like the way I did that? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he must, must win. win. Yes. I must, uh, must win with the white pieces. So this is some... The queens are off. This is already a ending. very late endgame, isn't it? A very late ending. Yeah, the knight on d4, though. I'm not really sure like if, what? if Fabi got anything in this one. What? That knight on d4 is, looks, looks so... <laughs> Powerful. Truly, right? Exactly, compared to knight on g1. I think he just probably decided oh, not to trade okay. the knights and so keep them on the board. This looks like it come, comes Some out Berlin, of one of those Berlin right? yeah. uh, lines. And sorry, I forgot that the pawn is still on c2. So at his discretion, he can give the knight the boot. But then d3 will be weak. Yes, but that's this the ending, problem, yes. excuse me, this ending, uh, it doesn't feel not much. like. No, anything. The only thing he has, it's some extra time. <laughs> Nine minutes wow. against four minutes. That's a pretty big gap. I might even start to make the argument that you could be worse here yes, with, with, uh, with uh, white. Very here. easily could be. Yeah. Like something bad could happen. You don't. I'll go e5 probably. Do you want to play yeah, e5? I think, Is I, the, will. I think I have to. I'm, I'm even kind of you have committed. to. Yes. To this whole setup. I understand you put a beautiful knight on e6. and I do, I do. But then king g2, king g3, and maybe... It, on the good day, maybe I can get a knight to g5 and exchange that knight. Right, I was about to say, put the king on e7, maintain the blockade, play h6, and, well, uh, Lanier, five. Lanier, a classical player that he is, he says, excuse me, I've doubled my rooks on the f-file. Mm -hmm. Could I please... Open the f5. H4 was played first. H4, H4. f5. And actually, a pretty nice move. H4. I think <laughs> it's very well timed, actually. And knight h3 immediately followed up. Immediately oh, yes. to say knight h3, knight h3 and, and h4 it was a good plan to stop this f5, or not necessarily to or stop, to but to meet it. Yes. yes, exactly. Okay. It's like a bit depressing position for someone who wants to win. Who <laughs> must <laughs> win. <laughs> yes. The game, yes. <laughs> Very, very depressing uh, mm -hmm. s uh, state of affairs. So let, let's just see what happens if I if I force trades. Mm -hmm. I assume you want to take, take with the knight? knight? Yes, yes. we we'll try to And I'll play pieces, king yes. h6 mm -hmm. just to sidestep any uh, nasties. Okay. Okay. So let's go king g2, I guess. King g2. And my knight is looking good, but okay. I have the control I, over the e file. I guess I'll mark some time. Just be careful, right. some g4, g5 sometimes, no? Maybe rook f1. Ah, uh, g4, g5. Maybe, but I'm not sure. Hello, hello. At least some... Well, he's I done just, it. Because this knight, knight is takes at a least... Four. Excuse me, I'm just going to go back he and refresh. He took once, but he didn't take on a four yet. Refresh my board. Oops. Knight takes f4. This is the current... Position, Sorry. yes. E5 takes f4 was played. Knight mm -hmm. takes f4. Four? And will he take on e4? I think so. I, because e5 is, yes, <laughs> yeah, you don't want right? to allow e5. Yes, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's assume we take, take. Take with the rook? Yeah. And my my wandering king wasn't a success. Maybe I should just uh, step. Oh, rook e8. Apologies. Wait a minute. Can he take with the pawn? <laughs> <laughs> Just, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to make this <laughs> position and balance. I mean, wait a minute. I'm not dreaming about it. But... No, let's let's dream about it. Let's, yes, let's, let's start dreaming the about pawn. things. What let's are you dreaming? Take on the four, take with the deep on. I'm not sure what I'm dreaming about. Sorry, I, I'm. I'm uh, because out. yes, sir, it cannot even cross your mind the move I'm proposing. You know, what are you to, uh, proposing? If you take on the four, I take with the pawn. Let's say okay, instead okay, of okay. Rookie, I have right? an idea, guys. Yes. Okay. E5. Okay. E5 now. E5. Yes. Um, in the immortal words... I have exactly where I want you. C3 now. C3? C3. Yes. Mm -hmm. Throw in this knight to C6 or E6. Wherever you want. Well, if I go to C6, then he does want to play... Well, let's see. I don't believe him. 
E6. Yeah. And give me the pawn. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Rookie two. Rookie two. Oh, my intended C6. D4. Might be right by D4. Oh, yes. Okay, oh, yes. now oh, it looks no. nice. We're getting now somewhere. Now I have to we? get rid of uh, but the Joker. The Joker in the position time, is, no? is this fellow. If I could play G5. Who needs to win this game? <laughs> 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 Who is playing for the win? Hmm. Elimination. Okay. This H6. As usual, you're being annoying. Yeah, that's my. <laughs> I think that's my role as a commentator. Yes, these days. Yes, I mean, yes, like, yes. is to be annoying. Very interesting position, though. Um, but by the way, it's you, Fabi's at that moment where he's going to have to risk. Right. He's going to have to play a move like e5 because you don't really want to see. Uh, Wait, what did he do? Rook to f1. Okay, you cannot take on e4. That's understandable. Yes, because of some checks. Knight yes. to h5. Mm -hmm, knight to h5. Ugh. Ugh. Yes, and d he don't take. Okay, so... Funny, funny question. If I go back... <laughs> Let's repeat, yes. Ah, the C3. No, no, I have C3, 96. Ah, and 96. Okay, it's that not is possible. Cute. That yes. is cute. That is so cute. So, no, okay. no way back. Um, yes, so that is cute. If you move the other rook to E7, then Which 95, one? yes, with 10. And a C3 mm -hmm, one day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it's okay. not exactly what we wanted as black. So, okay, rook F2. Um, well, by the way, yes, Lanier is down to his last minute. Exactly, 30. yes. Lanier actually has no time. It's 1.30 against 7. Ooh, we forgot about the minutes. time factor. Yes. Six minutes extra for, for Fabi. Fabi. That's, that's, that's significant. It truly. And actually, Lanier needs to find, let's say, the exact move in this position. What is the threat of white, though? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm not sure, but I think the idea of combining c3 and knight to d5. With the idea to take on the five one day, maybe, yes, yes and some. And the games. rook is misplaced, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. on f7. Uh, by the way, I'm really having a lot of fun with Ben Underwood uh, looking at all of these statistics and graphics that he's creating. And r quick question in the field, you have these field of players. After the move 40, after the move 40, who do you think is playing the end games the best in the American Cup? Um, Post move 40, in the open only, section. Only, only Ben knows. I mean, ah, uh, but Ben <laughs> shared it with me, For sure, so I know too. He has analyzed uh, everything, yes, right? and uh, he knows. But, uh, but I remember, I think it was Ray, no? Yeah. It was Ray Robson, yes, who Who's was perpetually showing... in time trouble. Yes. Remarkably enough. He's used to this. Rook d7. Uh, coach, jump in. Uh, how do you feel about this move? Good move? I like it. I like it. d5, I like yes, it as well. Because you cannot take only four knight f6. Correctly. So. And also, by the way, the difference between two knights, if you play c6, b6 will <gasps> be threatened. Well, and well, not well, really, well, because well, rook well. to b7. So c6 was played. C6. It's, it, it's oh, one, of really? those funny, one of those oh, funny moments. Oh, what? The, the knight is trapped. Yes. Uh oh. Did uh oh, Ro -ro. so he played knight c3 and h5. Okay, the position still remains so tense. Knight c3. I just wanted to say that you can take on the six, yes. <laughs> right? Yes. Wow. But by the way, the weakening of the queen side does come with a massive consequence. Uh, the pawn on b6 can now be attacked rook frontally mm -hmm. with the move rook b1. h5 on the board? Something else to worry h5, about. h5, king, king g2. g2. It's not just about the clock, but the position seems to to be heading in Fabi's favor. Takes, takes. Knight f5. By the way, we remind you. I have a feeling maybe you can take on f5. Really? And maybe. sacrifice wow. this exchange? Yes? He wow. says no. He says no. He says king h3 is the move. I would have been tempted by the move rook b1, but king f3 was Fabi's choice. Not that we're threatening g4, we're simply sidestepping. Ruby won the problem was knight e3 followed by knight takes c4, perhaps. Ah, so many different so, tricks. 
Oh, but there is knight f6. There is knight f6 at the end, depending on where you put the king after right. knight e3. Uh, I, 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 but king h3, that, that's a chill move. That's a move you always, you know, you step away from the knight. Look, he's trying to get Lanier down to his last few seconds. So he played rook e5, right? Yes. In this moment, okay. yes, and he has 30 seconds, right? By the way, mm -hmm. rook e5 sidesteps the move. Rook b1, yes, he's attacking on b6, rook, rook b7, seven. of course. The only. And actually, rook e5 supports c5 pawn to because otherwise it was knight c5 idea okay. here, and rook but, e5 is but actually. One of the things that I was worried about is these frontal attacks. I agree. I've weakened my own structure yes. with the move c2, c3, but Fabi. Again, desperate times. But now I think rook d7. There's I'm a, not sure who's attacking. Rook, rook d7. Whose king is more vulnerable? That's if you question, go rook yeah. d7, which is a very good move. Rook I could F3. play rook f3. I just want to throw the gauntlet down and ask, whose king is weaker? Right, whose king is weaker? Please, do me the solid favor of playing <laughs> king <laughs> h6. Okay, king f8. King f8. Yes. Uh, I don't see anything. I'd yes. probably end up playing rook yes. f4, which is not what I wanted. So, so perhaps rook f3 after rook d7, yes? Agreed. G4. Whoa, that was G4. not what I expected. I didn't, I didn't think he was playing king h3 with the intention of playing g4, <laughs> more or less just getting his king out of dodge. Takes, takes. So king goes for attack. <laughs> king is leading his army into battle. Yes. I know he wants to also play h5 later on. <laughs> right? I mean, not now, but... 93, no, 93 check. I've got king f4. I got a surprise. No 93 checks. You know, and sometimes... Lanier is down to 18 seconds. Yes. Sometimes he has some ideas. 18... G6 pawn can be weak. Come on, 94. By the, by the way, guys, Irina Crush did no, win one. her game wow. against Alice Lee. By yes. the Wow. Congratulations to Arena, who's again is showing once again that the American Cup is her cup of tea. Yes. Yeah, that was pretty oh, good. Cup of tea. <laughs> hold on, hold on. American <laughs> Cup, her cup, yes, cup of tea. Okay, King H3, Knight F5. And um, Lanier is playing on his increments. The G file is also suddenly yeah, a little bit thought. exposed, the, the right? Yeah, can G1, weak, G1 yes. H5, Actually, he G2? just created second weakness by playing G4 move. Maybe that was his uh -huh. idea, to create a second weakness on the king side and now attack both of them. I have studied their classics. Yes. I must say, I, I, I do admire that how Fabi has somehow spun a little web of deceit. Exactly. He, he, was, he was saying, worry about your queen side, worry about your king side, don't worry about the king side. Mm -hmm. Worry about the king side. Rook, rook g1. Rook, rook b8 was the idea, rook, rook h8 sometimes eight. also. Okay, so, by the way, if I'm not mistaken, played with four seconds on the clock. Four. Now up to 14. Um, wow. Okay, these are one of those moves that kind of come easily for us posting up. But rook what if g5. Rook h5? What about h5? Is h5, h5 rook h8. I'm thinking rook, rook g5. No, no. Rook, 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 rook takes g6. Rook takes g6. Oh, excuse me. Yes, h5. Uh -huh. No worries, no worries. The, just the pawn is not I think you have to go knight e7 after h5. So h5 looks great, right? We're yes. ready to play rook takes. Knight e7, you said? But now maybe I can go knight g5. h5 is it. on the board. Knight, knight e7, e7 immediately. Very, very he quickly. Hg. Yes, now we pause because see. we could play rook h8 check, which, which he's he done. Did. Yes, makes a lot of sense. Trying to where the king goes. <laughs> yeah, ask the question. Well, I'd probably go to g2. G2 and f1. Yes, hide. Yeah, I think I would go to g3. G3 was the idea. Wow, you know your players. Yeah. If you take on g6 with the knight, I want to go rook f1, and you don't have a check on h4. Ah. Oops, excuse me, that was... So you, you, you decided to keep this place for the rook? Well, he's knight going G6 to play knight to takes play, g6. Yes. Get what rid I'm of worried it. about for yes. Fabi's chances is that after rook f1, rook f8, and that trades off a rook, right? And but he's then done there is it. like rook f6. Ah, yes. He's yes. Rook hold on, like rook hold on, hold on. Yes. Rook takes e4. And rook Wait takes f8. Oh, he, ah, he, he didn't rook play e8. rook f8. 
Now, he, he did rook not e7. play rook f8. He's played rook e7. Because now, if you rook f6, maybe rook f8 now. No, rook takes g6. Oh, ah, beautiful. He's got it. This is nice. Uh -oh, so rook f6, uh -oh, this is the move. Uh oh, it's Maybe time. Maybe he missed it. The screws are getting tighter and tighter. It's, it's getting warm in the building. Uh, <laughs> rook f6. No rook no, f8. No, if knight f5, rook... maybe I will start knight rook f5, rook f5. with g5 ideas, you know. Rook one f5. Yes, yes. I would throw my rooks. I Why agree. Not? It looks a little bit dangerous, but maybe it's still holdable. I don't know about I'm little. Sure. <laughs> I think a lot. I, I'm seeing my my spidey sense is, is tingling here. This looks really, really good for Fabi. He needs a win to uh, in rook this rook f5? f5. Didn't uh -huh. see that one By the coming. way, another what is very that? funny move at that point was yes. rook to g1. Rook to, oh, rook to G1 with, with the idea, idea king F4. <laughs> that would have been nasty. He did play rook F5, and I love this move by Lanier. Rook H6, yes. He immediately sensed that this rook on H8 should be more involved in the action, and I love this move, rook H6. Maybe he gave him a time to consolidate rook a little bit. Rook F5 did not feel like no, the right felt... No, something is wrong. Like, what was the threat even? Oh, oh, we have a result. So, oh. Wesley, won Wesley this, so. uh, game in the match. Uh, after and losing game one, came back, won three in a row, and Sam Sevian is bid a farewell. Uh, let's stay with this. Rook h6. Uh, I, don't, I don't like rook f5. No, I also don't like it. I, just I, I felt, thought that rook one goes to f5. It and felt passive. Yes. Okay, is it time to make a king run? King f4? If you play knight g6, check. I'll go king, king e3. e3 and somehow magically get out of dodge. Yeah, I don't I mean, know. It, I think Fabi feels that he probably misplayed something. Now he needs to find something. 19 seconds to four and a half minutes. Wow, but Lanier is also, he is defending like a lion. This rook h6. Rook h6, so nice perfect move. Yes. move, yes. Wow. You wow. put your rook. One small nice chance, position, yes. right? And they're going to fight back. Exactly. You just give them this most narrow little window. You just yes. open up an opportunity for your opponent to come back, and it, they'll find it. It feels like Fabi's nervous, you know, he puts his... By the way, in one of the other tiebreak matches, Jennifer Yu trailing uh, Nasi uh, by two to one, needs a win. She, Jennifer, had a huge advantage, kind of loud Nasi back in it. Uh, maybe that position is even at the moment. Let's keep an eye on this huge match between Fabi and Lanier. Lanier has been playing on his increments for the last... I don't know how many moves say, 10, 20 moves. I yes. don't even know how many it is. That's 20 but seconds. He's yes, been really. playing great moves, and his last move in particular really has stolen our admiration. Rook h6, great defensive move. Look at Fabi. I mean, he, he also spends time, three uh, minutes already. Yeah, you can just feel the advantage ebb and slip away after these moves. Rook f6 check for Lanier. That's an automatic. Rook g6 check. I was knight about to say. Knight f7. Knight f7. Knight f7. Yes. The you idea decided. of knight to d6. That's also very compelling, right? Good, uh, Trades. Way. It's all that about king on trading. g3. No, 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 no. No bueno. Yeah, that exactly. king needs to move somewhere to on the f5. <laughs> Get it off the g5 so that I have this rook to g1 idea. Agreed. Agreed. The question is where? The I like yes. so, oh, rook, rook to b1. b1. Again, b6. Maybe trying to use the fact that rook is on h6 and not defending. By the way, we Wait forgot about this, guys. Ah, and yes, the clock, and now rook b7, knight c5. Here it goes. Maybe. Lanier we might have, have forgotten Lanier. about it. Yes, yes, yes. We have 96. seen Lanier lose on time in this tournament. By and the way, knight, knight to d6, rook to g5 is a move right now, after which knight takes d6 and rook takes b6 is going to just simply wow. win a pawn. Yes. I think Why do we need to go rook g5 this. check? Why can't we just take on d6 and take on b6? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like, I, I like the intermezzo. I just didn't know why you needed it. That's, that's actually a good point. <laughs> He's done it. And okay, one pawn up. It's whoa, already whoa, whoa, something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And c5 is also... That is a huge, huge change of uh, the situation. And Still, the material is very limited. C2 is actually hanging, so... We can defend it. Rook. F2. Rook yes. F2. So rook that's F2, why. Rook G6. Rook G6. 
King, King f3. three, and now rook e1, perhaps. Rook e1, rook g2. I just. But yes, I, I feel like I, that might be the way to do it. Another way is to take on rook c5 b2. And, uh, well, rook. I'm afraid that if I take on c5, you take on c2, mm -hmm. d3. But d3 is but rook b2, risk. ideas of rook take c5, rook f2, or rook b2. Fabi now is enjoying the moment. He's got two and a half minutes against 20 seconds. I'm not sure if he's enjoying the moment. Yes. <laughs> uh, he's a pawn up. Of course well, he's I mean, enjoying the moment. No. I think he'll enjoy it once oh. it's more clear. Check first. I like this. Check. If you go to g6, there's no more rook to g6 check. That's true. That That's takes away. King but to six, and no then choice. he goes rook of two. Yes, so maybe this check was really, really important. I think so. I think nice it was a very nice move. Yes. Uh, move indeed. Rook to e3, you have to By the way, it's four those rooks subtle little Small things, details, details, yes, all the time, yes. But he has these two minutes to think about it while Linear has no suffering. this option Rook e1. Rook e1. Maybe hoping to play rook a1 somewhere. Okay, but now this king is also a little stranded. Rook, rook a7, yes, and in the case of rook a1, rook a5. Give me another pawn. Mm, okay, that now it's a good question. What, what seven play? seconds? This looks like we're heading into a blitz tiebreaker. Rook e5. Okay, now the job of black will be difficult. He needs to protect the ending. I don't think he wants to take down. that pawn yet. Why not? Rook g5 concerns me. King f3. I'll just make a beeline no, to the F3. queens. Oh yes. Uh, right. I'll make a queen uh, a beeline to the queen side. Rook e. Six. You're very right, yeah. Maybe rook a8 now? He's yes, done it. he wants to go back with his rooks. Yes. Well, Some, you know, checkmate ideas. Exactly, also <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but you can now we can say for sure that this is a winning endgame. For sure. It's a technically winning endgame. Exactly. Must be, right? Exactly. Yes. Uh, for sure. I guess you just want to make sure that there aren't some checks. Uh, frontal checks okay, of your one king. Check. I'm thinking king g2 just Maybe to rook of four. be that much extra cautious. King g2, so that we any check on the g file we can meet with king f1 and then prepare a trade of rooks. Again, two pawns to the good should be winning. Any trade of rooks, king g2. That's all he dreams about. Yeah, just trade. Let me trade the rooks. Yeah. <laughs> Just please let me trade the rooks. But you were telling me before that four rooks is better for the side who is trying to win. But now I have a couple of extra pawns. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I, so what's happening? Four rooks yeah. is your only chance to yeah. make Just a one day right before now. I heard something different. Right. A5. Wow. Just cold blooded. It's truly. A5. Yeah. I mean, really Fabi is like, move. do your worst. I, I don't believe you. If you have a you. bus pawn, yes. You Rook E1 move. and. Basically, Lanier is saying, I don't have a way of doing any any real damage. But now there's no more rook a5, rook takes c5. So at least you go behind the pawn. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit worried that black's king can can actually Southern get... Is. I can go rook here, rook here, rook check. Oops. Oops. By the way, with the corner of my eye, I see that... Jennifer, you yes. might be able to turn things around and, in fact, win on demand. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. With the black pieces? Yes, look, two pawns against one in the rook ending. King oh. g4 right now. I think it's a very powerful I've move. And king very, three. very nervous. Nazi. Nazi. Yes, she understands this moment. that is. And Jennifer is looking at that king f4 or king g4 move. What's the clock time? It's hard for me to read. Yes, it's for me too, but they play on seconds. 15 obviously. seconds. Yes, 15 oh. seconds, yes. <laughs> you see, you Jennifer see wanted to do something like King G4. She said, I'm not sure. I'll make another move and gain some time on the clock. I think we should go back to, to, to the Fabi uh, game. Just okay. Because now I don't think she's winning anymore, so it's going to become another technical matter. Let's go that one because this one is winning for yes. Fabiano right now. now it's In a, a must win point. position. Right. Just refresh my like board. He played rook g2, creating some maybe checkmate threats. He's trying to... Trick him. Actually, yeah, I see something. Look, 
He, he was threatening actually king of four and rook g7 with the idea rook g6 checkmate. So right. and pushing a7 w would be the the threat. So he played a6, yes. rook g2, and he's threatening, threatening king f4. I don't know some waiting move and it's king of right. four. Uh, so so that's f5. why he played king f5. Perhaps. But we do have rook f7 check now. Mm -hmm. but maybe rook f6. Ah, rook f2 then no. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the way, we're getting it at the uh, reports. Thick and hot reports. Um, From the blunder, field. Blunder. Blunder by Nazi. Nazi blunder alert. And G6. Check. Where do you go with the king? King F2. King F2. What? He's ready to exchange? Sort of like he liked King F3 a bit better. But yeah, he goes to No, King, king E3 is, his... is beautiful. That is, that is a very, very convincing. Uh, yes. the, the king will finally get to a safe safety of C3. Yes. By the way, why king e2 and not Actually, now king it's a threat. E3. <laughs> yes, now it's a threat rook f2 and rook e8 or yeah, g8. Yeah, I yes. think, I think uh, Lanier has got to give this game up. Oh, so the idea is that if you go king to uh, e5 right now. Rook e6 rook and rook e7. Seven. Okay. He defends against the idea a7. There's I have feeling there is some checkmate ideas here, but right. let's... Rook f8 check? Rook what about check? rook f8? Why? No, no I'm ah. asking a question. Where you go with your king? Well, I, because sometimes it's... So the problem is if you go to e6, mm -hmm. he'll trade rooks and go h a7, pardon me. King rook g6 is the only uh, rook, rook a7 we had, no? No, a7. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. If that was rook a7. Rook a7, also. but just... Mm -hmm. Just, just to show is the that only. it's also yeah. winning, yes. Mm -hmm. He had to play king g6. King h7, and now just put the rook on perhaps g5. That's the easy way to just pick up another pawn on c5. Absolutely. And, rook uh, g5 with checkmate threats. By the way, now... Couldn't it be checkmate though? <laughs> rook g3 feels rook G3. very strong. Oh, oh, no, no checkmate. Take C6. a pawn. You know, the checkmate may not exist, but the but extra the pawn. pawn yes, <laughs> it this does. is what is important. These, the, what about the, the trading of rooks? Rook, yes, the rook f5 and rook f6. He can now trade the rooks and just start. I mean, just have this three against one. It should exactly. be winning. Point. It should be winning. It should be winning. And True. the thing is, if you go king g6, now I drop to f3, and now I have the checkmating pattern <laughs> that you want. <laughs> You're right. Yes, rook g. Yes. Rook g2, rook h3. No, it's really hard to defend this enemy. Suddenly, <sighs> I mean, combination of two threats, checkmate. Really, and I thought wow. that Lanier's chances of drawing the game when we saw the move rook h6 were through the chart. I thought he had it. Uh, it's just amazing that Fabi. Presented enough problems. He, he, wow! And wow! Said, and linear yeah, yeah, I, what a, I, how what did he turn? win that endgame? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't that was magic. Wow. That wow. We was said that really, at that point. Really magical. Wow. It was just the extra time that you he can had see on the this. Clock. I mean, Fabi is such a has such a character of fighter. Two two. Two two. Yes, They're exactly. going to play blitz yes. uh, playoffs, and just yesterday, Fabi lost a nerve wracking blitz playoff. This one is still going and on. And by the way, guys. Like that king is going needs, to G two. Jennifer needs to win on demand. I think she's winning. She to got this force one. a playoff. Mm -hmm. How will Nasi feel? <laughs> Not, great. Not, great. Yes. Not great. Not uh, great. Perhaps she's also getting tired. You know, she played so many games yesterday and today again. Already the and fourth Jennifer's game. Jennifer's about to play E three. E three just E three is the money move. No, wait a minute. E three rook G three. Oh, yes. rook G three check. But it and rook F three, but the yeah. two at the end. Yes. This is winning matter. still. Yes, mm -hmm. E three is yes. it. And this is what she played. Rook yes. G three, King H two, Rook F three, E two. Wow. Yes. <sighs> what a turn of events in both <laughs> of these crazy. matches. You know, there are a couple of people in the world I don't want to be. The trainer of Jennifer Yu is one of them. Ray Robson is another. They, they make me so nervous. They, they're always in time trouble. Yes. And somehow they find the right moves. And uh, wow, that was a oh, nice. But time trouble is like, it's a rapid chest. Like you're always in the tr time trouble, basically, always. after a few moves. Yeah, so that. she's trying maybe to give this her rook for the pawn and but it's uh, too the thing far. is too close to the pawn. Yes, yes, it's not possible to create a threat. Right. 
if your pawn promoting. would be on e5 and maybe the king. We, we, or, okay, we, I just was about to say, will we see rook and, and king checkmate? This? We have some tie breaks in yes, front of two us, tie everybody. Breaks. We were yeah. hoping we'll have one, one. But, and here we, we go, two yeah, tie breaks. We're going to be spoiled again. Yes. Another day of great action, as the ladies just confirm. When I wonder blitz. how much time they have. I guess not that much, maybe 10, 15 minutes, right? something like that. Wow. And you and can see. You I can think, see on I Nazi's think face. there's no drawing yes. of lots or colors because no. I think that was already decided yes. at the technical meeting with the players before the opening ceremony. I believe right now they switch. Colors. So, colors, yes, yes. But again, it's only going to be two games, mini matches, two games of blitz for those two matches. Lanier versus Fabi. Nazi versus Jennifer Yu, and we do have an additional rapid game as well starting soon. That is the game between Irina Crush and Alice Lee. So still as well plenty as of chess to be played. And Ray Robson. And Ray. exactly, hey, 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 yes. Hey, hey, no hey, breaks hey. here. Don't, don't. And let's jump to uh, Kostya, who caught up with Levon just after his match and see what Levon's thoughts. Levon, congrats on your win against Ray. Thank you. Can you tell us about the game? Um, it, it was um, kind of a line that uh, is not uh, anything special uh, for white, but uh, it's rare. And since uh, Ray, Ray, he normally plays, I mean, he's an E5 player. I thought, you know, just to come up with something new, just to get a, just to get a game. So. And uh, yeah, I think I got a pleasant position. I felt that b5 cannot be the right move. And maybe I missed uh, some things later because my position looks very promising. Uh, and maybe he was close to a draw at some point, but uh, uh, from a practical perspective, um, it's difficult. He was done on time and he was defending the whole game. So I, I think my uh, surprise in the opening worked out really well. All right, thanks and best luck next game. Thank you. Indeed, that bishop d3, bishop e2, Two. just to try to get a it game really where, where Ray couldn't play his vaunted e6, e5. Okay, makes a lot of sense. We're going to see a tiebreaker between uh, Ray, who will have the white pieces and the Vaughn, they'll play a rapid game, about three minutes or so. But I, I tell you, that, uh, that comeback by Jennifer Yu, winning two on demand, it was oh, impressive. Just incredible. Impressive, yes. Right? Try to win one in, in, on demand and try to win two. It's exactly. It's a more difficult task. Wow, wow. Just, you know, uh, hat tip all the way. You know, at that position where, where he had played rook h6, I see you have it on the board. Wasn't it like even so at that So let's moment? take a look. Rook f1, rook e7, rook f6, knight. And here, rook g1 was rook a big one. miss. A very this nice move. move. That, yes, yes. That would have been nice. Try to stop king to f4. check. Not easy. I think you have to go something like knight to g6, then put yourself on all these pins. Give me the c6 pawn, because I'm well. defending this. This is over. Right? Exactly. But uh, what he did was rook to f5, which allowed Lanier back into the game. And by the way, brilliant. And at this point, Anastasia, you were saying, he's defending like a lion. Yes. Which he was. Absolutely. Rook to h6, but... Maybe this is such a tricky was... move, right? Such uh -huh. a tricky move. Rook to e1. Maybe rook g6. Everybody forgot about the b6 exactly. pawn. Me too. Me too. I forgot about I it. Mean, you guys forgot about it. Lanier definitely uh, forgot about it. <laughs> you have to go to guilty. the other side. Right. Oh. Knight to d7. Again, not an easy move to make. This is such a difficult endgame with four rooks. So many threats around the king with this beautiful central knight. I have to say. Right. Squeezed water out of stone in this endgame, Fabi, sure that is. Did. And right now, he is in with a shot at potentially continuing in the bracket. Let's take a look at and remind ourselves about the results because we also have an Arena Crush versus Alice Lee rapid game coming up. But first, the results. Yes, yeah, so in the open section, Levon Aranyan won this game against Ray Robson and he will be playing in rapid. In just a very, few very soon. Yes, 1 0 at the moment, the match score. Uh, Wesley Saw already finished his day with victory over Sam Sevian. 3 1 was the score of uh, his match. For Sam Sevian, he's going to feel like he left a lot of points on the table. He was looking very good in this 2024 American Cup. But but, things didn't go his way. Yeah, but Wesley was very impressive in this match today. And Fabiano Caruana. 
found his way back to the match against uh, Linear Domingos. It's 2-2 at the moment and they will be playing uh, Blitz games very, very soon. And in the ladies section, the uh, results there. Irina Crush managed to outplay uh, Alice Lee. Very, very interesting game. I mean, Alice Lee had chances to come back. And, felt uh, like, uh, felt like two, two games. <laughs> yes, she had to win. She, <laughs> like she won one. Stories, yes, <laughs> for this game. And uh, Begim to her Jonova won her match two and a half to half. And she's resting already. Zoe Tank <laughs> is eliminated from the tournament. Uh, Nazi Paikizi and Jennifer Yu, big comeback of Jennifer Yu. She managed to win two games on demand and she will be playing now against Nazi Blitzmatch. Uh, hats off to Begum. Uh, she said it herself, it's not nice to lose 3-0, but she fought her way back and she uh, progresses in the yes. elimination. And uh, let's just update our brackets because we do have some eliminated players. Ah, uh, yes. Let's see. Uh, here we have still the same players. The one right. is playing against Ray Robson, and they will be playing also tomorrow, no matter what will be the outcome of Rapid Game. Uh, but in the elimination bracket, we have seen Wesley So advance. Exactly. I'll bring that up yes. in a moment. Don't you love it when these things are all so well timed? We just get it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I, I think our producer just loves doing this. Too. What do you think? What do you yes, think? Yes, of course. So the, okay, we, we see Wesley so now. He's waiting for his opponent tomorrow. Which uh, will, the, be will be Bobby or Lanier. Lanier depends right. on the situation. And uh, the, um, yeah, exactly. So Fabiano is still playing. And the elimination bracket for the ladies. As a Grunfeld defense has popped up on my board. <laughs> <laughs> so Arena Crush is playing against Alice. These are Lee. the champions. Yes, Excuse they will me. play one more rapid. <laughs> yes, so one more rapid game they will they will play and tomorrow they will continue. <laughs> And uh, go ahead and tell us about the elimination bracket now, because Begum is waiting. Yeah, waiting for her opponent. It will be one of those two girls, Nazi Paikiza or Jennifer Yu. It's interesting because you were in the Champions yes. semifinals yesterday. Yes. But then you get relegated to the <laughs> quarterfinals <laughs> of the elimination exactly. bracket. So you go right. backwards. Backwards. <laughs> It's down uh, and, down and backwards. backwards. It's kind of unpleasant. I've got to say, I, I'm mystified. But the I good mean, news, you play what? in the same room. You know, the, yes. the playing hall is the same. It's not like you go to the basement to play. <laughs> yes. you, know? you still keep playing in the same <laughs> nice uh, hall of fame. Yeah, I have well, a story <laughs> about that. But first, I just want to say, Levon Aronians played A7, A A6 in a Grunfeld. Come on. Trying uh, a lot of interesting ideas in this one. What the... This is, by the, the way, the same uh, variation that Fabiano played against him. Mm -hmm. Both, I believe, in classical and in their rapid uh, matchup. But in the classical, I think he started with castle, followed by knight to c6, this weird knight to c6, e5 Castles. idea. Now, I mean, everybody and his brother has been playing c5, c5 yes, uh, yes. For, for decades, maybe centuries, I don't know. But uh, if you told me you want to play b6, I get it. If you told me you want to play knight c6, I get it. Castle c5, a6. That for me is a real head scratcher. That I like. I think he's going to win a few minutes because <laughs> <laughs> you know Ray. He's such a you know, yeah. perfect player who tries to find the perfect moves. He's exactly. exactly. played only in, once. Only once. Only, only once. once. Who no. blundered? A, who blundered a6? <laughs> right, right. That's the question. Right? I mean, it was, it was a touch move, a finger failure, yes. you know. Who was it? You don't know. Okay. But A7, A6. Really one uh, time. So what happened was we were in the 1994 Moscow Olympiad, and they had this beautiful stage for, let's say, the top 20 teams. Yes. But if you weren't on the top 20 boards, you went down into this room where they literally had plastic Mm -hmm. patio style chairs and our team started badly we eventually got back on stage but we looked at each other and said guys yes, we, <laughs> we got to play well because we don't want to go back down into the basement exactly. everybody said okay okay let's play let's play really really good so you see i mean in, at least the conditions we are were the motivated same by the conditions <laughs> a7 a6 i'm still mystified and ray say come on you i mean you're wasting a tempo so let me transpose into a position uh, with h2, h4, where, you know, you've got this dubious move, a6. I was a, 
I, frankly, I thought he would play bishop e3. Like, that is always going to be a useful move. h4, mm -hmm. you're not 100% sure of. Knight f3, maybe you're not 100% sure of. But bishop e3 rather fits in with just about everything. c5, coach, come on, uh, jo join this. A very this cool is idea crazy. is... Uh, right, right. What's very, going on here? a6? So it, it's an objectively dubious way. Of course. But, again, this is rapid. Right? It's not classical. You don't have all the time in the world to try to, to figure things out. To solve all your problems, right. C5, queen f3 is a very cool move in this position. Queen, queen f3? Not the move Let's that you think about. Let's create a threat of checkmate, yes? Yes. At least for uh, the moment. If I castle, I If you feel castle, a probably h5 scared. is coming. Yeah, I, I have feel... a feeling you're going to get checkmate. So I'm not enthusiastic about castles, e6. Right, and now I'm happy that my queen is out, ready to swing on third rank and create some problems on the h-file after he castle. Now I go knight e2. Knight e2, you don't, you don't, bishop g5 is, okay, knight e2, I like knight e2. That's a, a useful move. You're mm -hmm. defending the pawn on d4. Okay, I'll continue. Oops, now bishop e3. And now bishop e3. We play e3. this type of uh, positions. Wow. Well, but it, I mean... So what do you do? I don't know. <laughs> I'm confused. CD, CD, queen h4 check, king Oh, I'm happy. If you give me check, a check, king I'm happy because I go king f1. I don't want to castle. Yes. Gotcha. I yes. gotcha. He wants to keep his rook on h1. Yes, and okay. Have, give check. Okay. Uh, I don't want to see h4, h4, h5 and checkmate me. Right. Uh, right. And I'm sure these are the type of positions exactly. that Levon uh, has analyzed at home. Wow, but it's not really a refutation of no, 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 you're not no. winning by any means, right? You just but, have a slightly better position, but a I bit must, better than you, the usual main lines. Yeah, but I must say that when my opponent makes an allowance, like the move a7, a6, I mean, I feel like a red flag. And you I you have want to, to punish absolutely. Yes, your opponent. So that's what Ray actually wants. Yes, maybe right? h4 is the indication. You don't have um, time to do that. Just play normal move, natural moves. Maybe even queen to f. Queen to f3 is a bit out of the norm. A right? little uh, outlandish. You yeah. don't necessarily play this type of moves in general. Right. But maybe just go bishop e3. But he needs, to, go, play to, play faster, he needs to play faster. This is for sure play, because exactly. it's like already he is six minutes down. Anastasia, can I can I appeal to your aggression? D4, d5. D4, d5. Sacrifice an exchange. Sacrifice a rook. Sacrifice a pawn. Oh. Would you get? Would you like the bishop? Uh, just I'm not sure Black will do it. You know, that's the only <laughs> problem. Will, but otherwise, oblige? yes. If somebody will take this rook on a one, I will be happy. You'd start with to with dark squares, yes. Uh, combined with the yes, move with H5, all this, because like f6, h5 immediately. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We have seen nice, those nice. are very, very typical sacrifices. Bishop e3, you like, uh, Christian? Mm, yeah. Bishop or do you three, like knight, knight e2? Knight e2 is the very typical but, standard But, but you're way. saying queen f3 might be a way of getting a different... Queen f3 is a very cool move, right? Um, but it's not one that people generally think about. True. Well, Players depends. playing Kids against... Kids are thinking about it all the time, you know, this kind of right. threats. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. But then you see e6 and you're I... like... I yeah, will warm up enough. to queen f3, provided you do this. Queen f3, give me the pawn. Yes. You play e6. Sure. Give, me the, give me the queen. You go queen a5. I go knight e2. Take my pawn on d4, and let me play bishop f6. Okay. I'll warm up uh, to queen f3. I feel if like I can... too co cooperative. It's, indeed, uh, because you're helping me with my attack. I right? might have been too cooperative. Exactly. Even so, though... I mean, even that position, I take on f6, and I, I'm not going to castle. I'm going to go rook f8. Right, right. Um, but, okay, I kind of like bishop g5 and knight e2. Yeah, queen f3 is, is the start of everything, basically. Exactly. For that. But this is the position that Ray has gone into a deep think. Still thinking. <laughs> Seven <laughs> minutes and going. Uh, he's used almost half his time, as we see from uh, Unbelievable. the spy yes. No, cam. you don't do this on the one move six. I mean, how, how many moves we have? Like five, six moves. I mean, <laughs> unbelievable. He gives such a big advantage to Le Bon. And is the very Le bon. normal 92. I'm, I think it's happy to trade. He's happy to trade a six move for like seven minutes. Seven on, minutes. On his clock. Right. 
It's the longest time you've yes, thought Yes, you could play a couple of games during this time, <laughs> yeah, right? you know? What's, <laughs> it's a blitz a, game. What's the longest amount of time you've spent on a single move? Uh, I, this I don't remember, but what I remember was this game uh, between Alexander Grishuk and Ding Liren when Ale Alexander was thinking for one hour, 17 minutes in the opening. <laughs> one hour, 17 minutes and left. Another like, player I'm not being I a mean, trainer of, Alexander Grishuk. <laughs> everybody was like, couldn't understand what's going on. One and hour, he, 17 minutes. Uh, yes. Yes, in French defense. Wow. Yes, sir, you should be proud. <laughs> so and for you, Christian? Maybe 30, 40 minutes. Yes, okay, yeah. this is possible me, for me, me easily. About the same. Easily. About the same. Definitely not more than By that. the way, 92 and the inclusion now of H5. One of the things that Levon has done, and I think properly so, had White played the move knight F3, I don't think we would have ever seen H5, H5 in mm -hmm. that circumstance because the knight is really far too powerful on the g5 square. So he waits for the knight to go to e2 so that it doesn't get to g5, h4, h5 on the board. And this is kind of looking like something that might be more uh, fashionable or typical. Even though h5 is also a commitment, it's right? Slightly unusual to do it so quickly, right? Castle, okay. So what has he done, Castle? Castle? I don't exactly know why Ray is playing so slowly. It's like... Hmm. At least he's started speeding up a little 92 bit. 92 in Castle's <laughs> Castle did come, fast. but I really, I mean, okay. Okay, here we go. And Levon Castles. still plays a la tempo. Hasn't thought for any extra seconds than what he started with. Now again, uh, back in the old days, bishop e3, queen d2, typical. f4, mm -hmm. f5 mm -hmm. were very, very typical ideas for white. And there was never an a7, a6 on the board <laughs> when, when white was doing all of this. So maybe it's time to come back to the good old days. I think bishop b3 is the most stable and most natural way of continuing. S sensible, yeah. Let's remember that Ray Robson never actually managed to outplay Levon Aronian in the match in the American Cup. Really? As far as I remember, he, they played the mm. match, but uh, Levon won against Levon Ray. won. Yes. In so rapid. what about actually their records in rapid? Okay, okay. I'm looking at this in their head-to-head -head records. At the American Cup, uh, Ray Robson in his two editions, has won 10 games. He's drawn 14, he's lost eight, mm -hmm. his overall record. He's placed fourth in 2022, seventh in 2023. He's certainly beating that. Uh, Levon has been consistent. He's yes, played yes, he... second place and third place. And, um, in their, and this head to head also in their records. Head -to -head. And in rapid, Levon actually is doing really great. Three victories we, uh, versus uh, Ray Robson with one draw. One only. draw. So Levon, mm -hmm. definitely. Uh, and in classical, two wins for Levon, three draws, one win for Ray Robson. It certainly seems like in rapid, uh, Levon has found his right uh, so time control. He's like a probably a favorite in this match, considering these records and also the fact that, mm. of course, he is, uh, has even higher rating. Exactly. <laughs> and also uh, raised out to his six and, Yes, I mean, Playing very normal. You yeah. cannot see this minutes, time. Yes, yes. Maybe he's minutes. getting ready for blitz. I don't know, really. <laughs> <laughs> what blitz? There's no more blitz. He doesn't need, you know, this time. 15 minutes and 20 seconds for Levon. Levon has more time now than he started with at the start. Um, Castles. <laughs> this is a good point. More time we would not <laughs> Exactly. Uh, castles, uh, again, I, I'm thinking with the pawn on h5, I am so eager to play the move f4 and f5. I'm even starting to think I should be doing it with the intention of sacrificing a pawn. So something like mm -hmm. f4, knight c6, f5. He didn't do that. Ray has just played bishop e, e3. I think what completing the problem, his development. Uh, or at least probably what he thinks is a problem with the move f4 is bishop g4. Let's say if we go back to f4, bishop to g4. And just to remind everyone, um, we do have some blitz 
tie breaks yes. coming up and actually there... There, there will there will be two tie breaks jennifer mm -hmm. you will be playing against nasi paikits right. and uh, fagano caruana and, and there this, you we, have we see it. them now on the screen. And a shake of the hands and Nazi let's has go. White pieces. Let me uh, change. Uh, I think Fabio finished his game earlier. <laughs> yes. Why haven't <laughs> but, they? And they also you. started. Yes, they have also started. Their, so they wanted to start game. at 45, 5:45. Exactly. Yes. Both tie breaks. So I'm going to bring up uh, the game between linear. And Fabi, as they go into this very famous uh, ending, I've always uh, identified this ending with one Tigran Petrosian uh, as a black. And Magnus Carlsen won this absolutely f f gorgeous yes. game against Vladimir Kramnik, and that's been the king, the, the, <laughs> been the way of handling this ending is to go king d2 and bishop d3. But the, ascent, the essence of which is when you're black in this position, you don't. Mm -hmm. want to voluntarily trade because that f5 square, f5 will be. square is a gorgeous outpost and what you want to do as black actually is to put your bishop on d6 to make sure that that knight never gets to f5 rook g8 uh, by linear uh, intimating that he might want to capture on g2 you know it's kind of a funny thing i just say I don't. I don't believe you. <laughs> Go ahead, take my pawn. Would you take my pawn? Um, okay, let's let's give it's it a me. try. <laughs> yes. So I know if you give a pawn, it means that it's not possible. But right? uh, I just want to sh check what's going on. That 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 was the old. Uh, there was a great quip. Yes. When when Michael Bavinik. Could I play knight g3 and trap this rook? Oh, now you're really warming mm -hmm. to the task. Knight g3, trap the rook. Yes, yes. in both cases, yes, I think you're. Good. Uh, Michael Bodvinik, when, uh, no, it was Michael Tal. When Michael Tal sacrificed upon you, immediately took it, and then you go into a 20 minute think. Mm -hmm. When Michael Bodvinik sacrifices a pawn, you go into a 20 minute think, and then you take the pawn. <laughs> when Tigran Petrosian uh, sacrifices a pawn, you resign because you're lost. <laughs> <laughs> because he not, doesn't do it yet. He never sacrifices a pawn. Bishop d3, rook d3, f5. Uh, okay. Let me just uh, refresh my board. And also our top guns, uh, Alice and Arena, Arena, have started their rapid game. By the way, look at this. Uh, commentator's curse uh, said don't trade don't unnecessarily trade your bishop you don't want to see a knight land on f5 Lanier says I appreciate that I'll play the move f5 king e7 king f6 and I'll make sure a knight does not land I like this move just really making sure course. this pawn is not moving anywhere just blocking it for the moment exactly Although, I mean, seriously, the structure really... Yeah. But one thing for Lanier is that Please. he really shows that he knows this endgame because he plays so fast. Yes, I agree. That must be encouraging for him. Right. He's fast. Right. But... Knight to e4. Now, the question is... Knight c1. What's next he goes for to d3. That's a good idea, okay. Uh, I think he... Well, what, what's next is very simple. I'm going to put my knight on d3. Yes. I'm going to bring this other knight e2? to e2. I'm going to put my knight on f4, and I'm going to play f3 and just mm. drive that knight backwards. Eventually, I hope on a good day to start a minority attack. So if you wanted to play this position with a5, applause, because uh, <laughs> long term... I think that's what uh, where the advantage lies is yeah, the more, yeah. in, in there you go. And this A5. is what happened. You say five is. That's the thing. I never liked this position for, knight for black. I have feeling also. Yes, or maybe I'm wrong. But mm -hmm. after putting knight on e two and d three, maybe you also want to play king f three and then put the knight on f four. Uh, yes. With the idea yes, that yes, you can yes. take with the king, and yes. f two is defended. Yes. By the so, way, you can also go right. Mm -hmm. So another question is after knight to d3, do you go rook a5? Yes. The answer is yes. yes. Uh, I remember... Um, c1, Rook trying C1. to defend from c2. I remember, I think it was, it was Alexander Alec Hines' two-volume 
my best games. And I was always a big fan of the minority attack. And I saw a game where Alakine went A5 and Rook A5 to B5. Mm -hmm. I said, well, that put a stop on the minority <laughs> attack. Yep. I mean, that guy was pretty good. <laughs> oh, he was world champion. Okay, that explains it. By the way, yes. now Lanier has been shuffling his rook for the last couple of moves, rook h8, rook g8. Yes, like he says, uh, just stay and uh, good Wait luck. for you. Yes. Increase right. uh, your position. Right. Improve your position as much as you can. Um, I'm not playing for a win. Yes. Look, I've achieved maximum. I understand I have some big, big weaknesses, structural weaknesses on the king side. Okay, knight f4 without uh, any hesitation. And again, the pawn on h5. Knight, knight f6. f6. I Really, I would have bet he would have played rook h8 there. Yes. Because he had been going back and forth anyway. Uh -huh. So, knight back. Okay, what can I say? Isn't it time to uh, play b4? Some... And... Uh, Switch to a minority attack. And that's why probably he uh, played the move knight to f6. So now, once you open the a file, a file. perhaps I can swing that rook from g8 to and a And bring it a to b. a file. Well, b b4, wow. As expected, a, b. And I was curious if we should trade a pair of rooks or not. Fabi had already made the decision when he played b3 that he would not be trading a pair of rooks. And just as you recommended, uh, Christian, uh, rook a8 and taking over the open file. Yes. That's now okay. I've got my minority attack. Maybe by the C5. way, mm -hmm. on a very, very bad, bad day, the rook could be left high and dry <laughs> on the b5 square. So, for example, <laughs> he has done it. Rook here. You, you can imagine that I, I would play Another to, one yeah, one to, mm -hmm. to trade rooks, and this rook never returns like it's just you know a study it's yes, stuck like... it's stuck there knight to e4 is is a very tempting move right now because you knight... cannot take on h5 yes knight on d3 will be so knight e4 rook to b3 yes knight e4 rook to b3 king, king e8. e8 by the way both players down their last 30 seconds we're rook entering b3. the final moments of this game I thought you were going to say we're entering the twilight zone. <laughs> Close to it, yes. What happens now? <laughs> yeah. Do not adjust your television. It's 19 seconds and counting for linear. Do not adjust. Oh, you mean 10, 10 seconds and counting. Seconds. Seconds. Sorry. Oh, he traded rooks. That yes. made life it easier. You are in the time trouble. You yeah, want to trade I thought pieces. rook a2 and just kind of maintain that guy. Get the king to his, rook get to b6. King e7. Seven. Both players are shuffling back and forth right now. Who's going to find a breakthrough? Well, again, if it's about nerves. Knight, knight to c5. c5. Okay, so... That's a big decision right there. The idea being that if you he, do take he him... And he's taken, and now but I have now knight to d4, right? Knight this to is, knight d4 after rook b5, so that's why he played rook a6. Th this is a big moment for Fabi. b5. If he can get... B5, yes. He goes for it. He cannot oh, take, whoa, 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 whoa. Knight E4 was check on tap. So check where do you put the king? Whoa, whoa, didn't he, couldn't he have played Knight E4? Huh. Knight E4 at what point? I mean, now it's a check, but now maybe he threatens to play Knight E4. Okay. So Rook C7, Knight E4, threaten... Knight H3. <laughs> yes. Knight H3 the only more or less, because Knight D3, Rook D2. Oh my goodness, with one, with one second, second he played that move. Oh no. Two seconds. Oh. Again, one second. Wow. Oh, takes a five. and it looks like Fabi it, has it, won it, a pawn. A couple of pawns, yes, but C pawn can start and running. And a beautiful yes. move, knight h3, just to defend f2. And rook yeah. to h6. Nope. That's a lot of extra pawns, pawns right now. It sure is. C5, and now they're H5. running, yes. Mm -hmm. Before. Which one is going to be first? Rook a7, you have to question. defend against h7. Of course, because it would be checkmate, yes, if you don't do this. And Ooh. where he goes? Rook to e8 now. Rook to e8 like check is a, ni a nasty, nasty check. And by Rook way, to h8, news. trying to go for h7. Yes, and then nice. other pawn is joining the party. At g5, asking... If you go c2, I can take the knight. I've got knight c3. Oh, That's g6 right. is better, yes. Wow. He's just pushing the pawn. It doesn't really matter. Yes, it. Yes, oh. supporting. This looks winning, guys. Yes. Yeah, and Linear wow. resigns. Ooh. The first game. Fabio wins the first game of the Blitzman. And now Linear wow. is in a must-win situation. 
Yes, exactly. Wow. Boy, what a game it was. Flipping the script there. I mean, wow. And we have news also Nazi Paikids won her first game against Jennifer Yu. That's crazy. Let's, Let's see take the a end. look at the end of uh, that game. Because remember, Jennifer had just come back from a 2 0 deficit. It doesn't look like a winning position. It does not. This looks. So, yes, like, it takes with the pawn and. Like, how could Jennifer lose this? Oh, Don't tell me she lost time. on time. This is what it feels like. Look, 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 four seconds, two seconds. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's a pawn up in a rook ending. She shouldn't be losing. How did she lose this? Yeah, one? that's I a good question. I think it had to yes. be on time. I, I don't understand. Ah, yes, nice two seconds, time. one second, second, by the way. <laughs> oh. She played that move with one second. And what about. Oh, it Jennifer? must have been on, on time. Oh yes, my goodness, really, she flagged. She was on time. She oh. flagged. Oh. Okay, first Nazi almost oh, lost on time, and then wow. Jennifer. What a game. Jennifer just clutched her face and said, What Both am I players. doing? Both players. Everybody clutched is their like faces. this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so oh. much tension, so much emotion. Uh. <laughs> I know, I know. Unless <laughs> one you, second, one second. Unless you're, when you're at the board and you're facing, you know, your biggest rivals and you're playing for the championship, I, it's, uh, it, it, you, you feel just heartbroken. I don't even know how to say. Guys, but don't, don't we have some other games going on yeah, right well, now? Yeah, we've perhaps you, 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 Ray Robson. <laughs> uh, yes, 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 yes. You know, we, the, no the champions bracket. There's no, yes. no other games are Arena happening. Arena is playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. Arena and Alice Lee, they're playing their second game of the day. They're playing the rapid match. Let me... Can we see the, the position? Boy, I tell you. Where's just... you? Right. Mm -hmm. Do we get there? Yes, here we are. Actually, yes, Arena. Catch your breath. Black. Guys, catch right? your breath. This is slow Truly. time control right now. Still yeah, 11 so minutes for both players. Me, okay. Perhaps By the way, so uh, Ray, Lo oh, pardon me, no, wrong 11 game. minutes, <laughs> such a great amount of time. It does seem like of time. this is a very, very balanced position. I have control over that d5 square in case you go c5 with black pieces. There is only one open file. It does feel like this one is very close to equality for the moment. Hmm. I think Arena should be happy with the draw in this game. I mean, <laughs> she won her classical game. She doesn't need to push that I'm much. I'm not sure. I'm not sure because no? tomorrow, I mean, Alice has the white pieces. Exactly. Do you want to tempt fate? I don't know. If you have the opportunity, I think you should go for it. And I think Arena is within that mindset. Yeah, but I'm you, not going to take risks. But you don't need yes to burn bridges. I mean, all is fine. It's Alice who should push. Absolutely. Then you kind of look for your chances if your opponent is in kind of must-win situation or she she's trying to equalize the score. Absolutely. Yes, sir. You've been watching the Ray versus yes. Lebron. Yes. What's happening in that one? That's my problem. Is I, you say I've been watching it and what's going on, and I don't know. <laughs> yes, and Ray is down mean, to one minute. By wow, the way, yes, we I have to switch to them. Completely confused by, and I think. Oh, this, this was a Grunfeld. Move, yes, this was that crazy Grunfeld. I see check on the seven. Yes, and if queen takes, we take the bishop. And, and h4 the, is hanging. Yes. So it could be one of those billiard shots. Queen takes e7. Queen, queen takes h4. H4. Uh, That's one thing. But then the other thing is this bishop is actually hitting the queen. It's hitting the rook. So why shouldn't we play some a very solid looking king move like king g7 and ask Ray, well, what are you exactly doing? But you can still make a pink queen c2, I guess. Queen c2? Mm -hmm. Okay, then... Before and knight before. is hanging, yes, so have to go back with the knight to c6. Or, or take the, the bishop, yes. And then it's a bishop's opposite yes. color, and we yes. can probably mm -hmm, say it's that... Nice. Interesting position. Wow. Uh, but it's about the clock as usual, and Ray is down. He's under two minutes, seven minutes for Levon. By the way, after yes. King G7, do I have Rook C1? How is that end game? Rook to C1. So he oh, decided he to take the knight, and he uh, gave his In any on... case, I was going to play B4. He did decide to take yes. the knight and take the bishop and take the pawn, I guess. Probably he'll take the pawn, yes, on H4. 
What will we do after that? Now, Queen, perhaps Queen to and just to remind Actually, everybody. Queen C7, and if Bishop moves, Bishop F7, yes? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. But I the rapid gain, I move my Bishop. To E6, yeah. Oh, yeah, but in this case. I can None of take and queen happen. c6. None of this will happen. No, because no. he didn't take on h4, he played bishop b7. Oh, I more. think it was risky yes, to take on h4. This queen c7 didn't look nice for black. And by the way, the second blitz games of the elimination bracket have begun. Nice. Really hard to make a choice where to go. Everything is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, you now must win yes. as she's allowed her clock to... Uh, Expire in the first. Exactly, blitz. and Lanier also needs to fight back. And Lanier also. And we should be seven. I like this move. This is yes. a very uh, normal looking, decent move. Pawn on h4 is not going anywhere. This position looks quite equal for the moment, balanced, if you might say. Perhaps but for G3, Ray, who lost. It's okay. He will still have game. another classical game tomorrow to fight. Okay. With the white pieces, by the way. So, how do you see White is playing? If you play Queen to G three, which he's done, did. you take on D five and you play Rook to B six. I think White wants to. You just defend. Okay. You blockade. Make a draw right now. Yeah, I think White is on the slightly worse side because of the pawn structure. Yes. Yes. Rook F one to D one. Yeah. Rook D six and followed by Rook to D eight. I have one weakness to work against. Which mm -hmm. is your pawn on d5. Mm -hmm. I don't think I will be able to, to do much with it, but I will try. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a draw. It's, as we say, it's not much of an advantage, but it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I have the advantage. Yes. If Fabi is already playing, maybe we have maybe to. Maybe we can go to that one. Yes, maybe we yeah, have to go to Fabi. Uh, yes. mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's go to the Fabi. Uh, linear. Don't forget it's match. three minutes per game with two seconds per move. <laughs> Just to be sure what we are watching. And, and linear, linear. Yes. down on time. One minute thirty seconds. And Fabi's position does look quite safe from this bird's eye view. Yeah, he needs to make a draw in order to win the, win the he match. He needs to make a draw, and there's not many imbalances as a By the right way, now. this is game six of the match. That's right. You know, I was going through all these games, I'm like, where are the games? That's <laughs> game six. They've been playing a lot Forever. of chess, <laughs> yes. it feels like. Yes, four rapid games already, one blitz game, and the second one. So trade, queen, queen's trade. What are the hopes of Linear in this position? Knight not on g6 is not very that, well placed. Yes. Much, How do you bring that knight bit, back? You know, the, Thanks, thanks to the tension on the queen side, mm -hmm. that A, B, it's not that easy for, for black to play rook E8, because we can, tr we can trade rooks on E8, I'll take and I'll go rook A6. H4, but just asking can you, question. Can you go rook E8? Rook E8 and then knight is 7 yes, if So fine. you mean if I trade and trade and trade, A, B, A, B, and rook you just keep? Six. Rook e6, I was thinking rook uh, e6. And you just kind of keep the... Keep the body says that's, no. fair. that's fair, that's fair. I think fair. that's yes. a very uh, decent way. h4, h5 was uh, g2, g3, and well, rook e8. But now you have, you don't have rook e6 that easily because I give you a check and king h7 doesn't work anymore because of ah. knight g5. Knight g5. So you have to ah, go no, f6 nice. first. That's which a good point. I, I don't, don't know. Like it's it. not a bad uh, idea, is it? I mean, f6 Knight covers... goes to h8, no? <laughs> but this rook e6 is very yeah. annoying. Is it? Aren't you lose... You're not losing a pawn, I understand. Because you cannot take on c6. Rook a1 AB, would win AB. the piece. Okay, rook a1, rook a1. Pardon me, rook this a8. What happened in the game? Rook a8. King you G2. can't take on c6. Rook a1 pins the bishop and oopsie daisy. He so, played king just to, because of that, to we went. Right, rook c8, rook e2. By the way, you, in the backdrop, do you hear the slapping of the clocks? Yeah, yes. I do. <laughs> I can hear, yes. Now rook to c7 looks like a tempting um, move. I'm all for knight e7 here. Let's knight e7, quit. rook a7. Is and then I, I drop king e6 on you. 
By the way, Rook C7. We're being told that Mbazi is uh, looking very good in her game, and she has the draw in her pocket. If she makes a draw, she advances. Exactly. I must say that uh, Fabi is playing boss chess. Look at the knight on d5 and the knight on c4. He's drawing, I think, from a position of strength. But don't relax right now. I know. Knight a4, c4 is yeah. coming. Yeah. And you want to pick up time. that pawn? C4. Yeah, yes. 20 yes. seconds for Lenier I think and his intention was to play c5, but he's changed his mind with. Uh, Rook with 7 b7, shuffling the pieces. Whoa, no. whoa. Well, well, bishop a3, knight c7. <laughs> knight c7, where, rook, where eight, the rook, rook a5. Rook a5, knight c4. Four. Knight c7? Really? No, he, no didn't, he, he missed it. He didn't see it. He missed it. Knight he c missed knight it. Knight c7 nice. was a win on the spot. Yes. Oh my gosh. What a miss. By Fabi. That could have won the match. Oh. Imagine if he saw it now. Oh. That's one of the worst things. Yes. Is seeing I'm sure a move, he saw it. Uh, seeing the win a move too late, and then you berate yourself. Of course, you're so you an need idiot. time to kind of come back. To, to normal. The good news is Look that at those, these four seconds, three seconds. those knights are still extremely jumpy. Yes. <laughs> and very, very well placed. Uh, I, I mean, do you remember it's two seconds increment, guys? Only yes. five seconds. Linear is playing with five seconds. Maybe on he his can clock. go knight c4 followed by knight d2, uh -huh. knight e4. Knight a4. Yes. Oh, by the way. This dance of knights. <laughs> yes, truly, right? I mean, like what you play, knight c4, knight a4, bishop b4. Don't Please take, take my bishop. <laughs> no. No. Linear understood that he needs to speed Seven up. Seven seconds. Seven <laughs> seconds, 20 for Fabi. True. Knight c4. Knight c4. It really is the dance of the knight. And the crazy part is the rook on b7 cannot tickle the pawn on c6. Knight d2 is an option. Or rook d2. And the knight d2 is a big knight threat. Two. Knight d2 is a big He's threat. Big it. threat and he missed it. Yes, wow. And Fabiano, Fabiano comes wins. from behind. Okay, in a must-win situation and wins the match. Okay, let's move our attention back. Uh-oh, Jennifer yes, needs a win to stay in the match, and guess what? She has an exchange down. up. I mean, up, she's an exchange up. Like, we heard that Nazi was better, but Not anymore. old news, yes. <laughs> that was a moment old ago. Old news, yes, yes. Oh, no. She, what is the plan? Jennifer, what? She, she, she why would you put two your, seconds. Why would you put your rook on a dark square? Yeah, she wants square. to play now uh, c4. What? Check. Uh, check. Check and... And then what? Pick up seven. And it supports okay. the ball. And the five. Mm -hmm. Where exactly is she? And you can hear the slapping of the clock. Yeah. Now it just a, needs to draw in this position, move. but it's really hard to do something. Check. Go back. So maybe he goes to b1. At some point you will yes. have to go you have to yes. have it. I mean, the king F5, goes to b1 right? or something like this. <laughs> Just <laughs> make sure you him. don't leave your bishop hanging, right? What about bishop takes? Finally. 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 You have so. F5. Okay. This should be a table base, but wait a minute. Rook check and king g5. Rook, g Rook check and oh, king yes. g5. Rook check and <gasps> king g5. She missed it. That was winning. Rook check and king g5. She can still do no, it. She can play she can it, still yes. do it. Okay, Actually, she's Nancy made had up a move for it. To prevent it, yes. Bishop oh my gosh, through. and the clock times? Anastasia? The clock, oh, yes. Hard for me to say. From 17 yes, seconds, seconds for seconds they play. Nazi okay, five seconds. Wait, is this one of those end games where you don't want to play h Yes, can be Jewish. Where you don't want to play h5 too soon or something? Yes. Well, you need I to mean, try to make a draw in this position, yes, I mean, or try to win it. No, not, Nazi should have kept uh, the uh, bishop the on the c1 h6 yes. diagonal. Mm -hmm. This was a mistake. Yes, now it's over. Because the king goes to h5, I will give you a check, the king goes to g6, it's over. Yes, so she had to just keep the bishop, yes, on this diagonal, not to allow the, the pawn to move. Yeah. yeah. This one should be yeah, this is over. lost, yes. Wow. Wow. What a turn of the events. And it means this, this match continues. <laughs> this match continues, guys. Uh, two more guaranteed. Okay, after the this last one. trick would be it. <laughs> Rook G7 check would have been the would have been the simple one. Rook G7 check. I think everything is simple at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but, oh, Rook, Rook F7. Seven. Rook F7. H7. Rook F7. Whichever you want. Yeah, I mean winning. 
Just don't flag. And don't queen. <laughs> okay, but this, these are really not comfortable clothes to play, Ooh, yes? I mean, <laughs> oh, no. Well, A sweater and blitz? Yes. Are yes, you kidding yes, me? Yes. I mean, especially this one with long sleeves. Let's go to Ray. Uh -huh. Ray Robson, still playing, still fighting. Let's go no against Levon. That's the final game. Rapid of game. These finals. It's too much of today's going on. finals. And uh, Irina and Alice as well. And, and actually, Nazu and Jennifer will come back soon to no, play the will. Blitz. <laughs> Don't tell me. Match, so. Right. Is this a draw? Or? Uh, three versus two. But wait a minute. I'm right. I'd rather be black, right? Of because, course. Yes, yes, yes. You want to be black. My, my, my passer is the most dangerous. Of course. So the only question Levan, is if I'm in time or not to actually make a draw. So explain to me how you're making a draw after king f5? I'm not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite feeling it. Yeah, king f5, you go g3, now you go b3 and rook b3, b2 and rook b3. Exactly. Yeah, that's very problematic, in fact. Wow. So if I go king f5, I have to go king e3, right? Oh. Am I forced to go king e3? You may be to keep my king out. Oh my goodness. Five seconds. <gasps> will he, will he to flag? Two, two seconds, seconds, one two second. second. Oh, he makes one move. second. 11 seconds on the clock. How Unbelievable. This it? was crazy. I don't get Ray. How does he do it? I mean, yeah. we're going to call him the cardiac kid. No, <laughs> King F4 now, yes? King F4. Well, how do you, what do you Rook do? B2, King. Rook B2, but, but maybe H4. H4 is... That should be enough. Should be enough. That pawn should be King enough. Rook, Rook B8, that's Rook automatic. Okay, you don't take on b3, it's lo lost easily, ending, right? Easily, easily, easily winning for black. So but what rook then, b2? And but the you threat the is king? b2 and king g3. King I think it's king over. King g3 and king g4 is. I think it's yes, over. Yes, that's more or less the only move. Wow, does it mean that Levon will start with two victories? It does. Oh, it's going to be hard. Help me, it, it just remind me, didn't you pick Levon? Yes, I did, I did, I did. Yes, yeah, sir, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Didn't you pick a Don't ring? stroke the <laughs> ego, yes, yeah, sir. No. Yes, yes, yes. No, no. Thank you for reminding me. I'm no. trying to win some uh, brownie points some brownie here. Points yes. Anastasia. Thank you, I see thank what you, what you for doing. reminding me, yes, sir. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> and Irina as well. Uh, I, I got that one too. Okay, it's still not over, of course. I mean, no. they keep playing, but. Should, yeah, with an extra pawn and a very, very powerful king. Yes, this should be uh, over indeed. And also this rook is active rook and exactly. I mean, and white's rook is defensive on b2. Exactly. That's it. I mean, really hard to play, but Ray, uh, it's also time. Look at time. I mean, five, and four, five minutes, 40 seconds for Leon. But guys, this really feels to me like it's a, a, a return to form of Levon, uh, thus far, he is really impressed. It's not just his results, but his play has also been spot on. I agree, Absolutely. yes, sir. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, I, I he's mean, been having a rough patch. Exactly. In his career down to probably his lowest rating in a very long time. I thought it was a typo right. <laughs> the last time I looked at his rating. 27, 25. That's not the Levon that we know. But don't exactly. you have this rule if you're married, you lose, I don't know, 100 points. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> cruel. <laughs> that is cruel. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, by the way, this game. Oh. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Ray's is like kind of poking his really arm funny. forward. <laughs> is it? Uh, it's over. King takes and Blitz has started, and Ray knows this is just like, oh, it's gone. He it's knows. not even close. It's just gone. He knows this is over. Oh. And yeah. he's, he's thinking to himself, how am I going to come back after 2 0? Yuck. By yeah, the way, the, the, black, his head. the black king can come now all the way just to the queen side and win the pawn. I think probably right. it was a draw. That's why he cannot kind of believe that he lost this, losing, is losing his end, this ending. King to uh, And king goes e3. all the way to c3, yes. And we're going to move to the blitz because this is... This sad. Is just, this yeah, is sad for, for Ray. It's gone. It's gone. Well, yes. he's going to be losing his rook after king c3, and that means 2-0 in the 
in the match. In and it means that he needs to win both games to stay in the match yes. tomorrow. And he will yes. play a classical game, rapid and game. A rapid game. And his task is going to be really, really hard. Luckily exactly. for him, he starts with the white pieces, which means that he has a good chance or of applying pressure. Mm -hmm. And we can see now Nazi Paikidze playing against Jennifer Yu. Let me remind you that it was a draw in the mm -hmm. first mini blitz match. Mm -hmm. And, and they right. keep playing. And Ray has lost the game to take to go down 2-0. Yeah. And uh, this epic match continues. <laughs> <laughs> the, the match. <laughs> we, 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 97 is the threat. Couldn't be stopped. Ah, uh, not now. Yes, or maybe you no. can uh, keep an eye on the other ladies still playing. Uh, okay. I will uh, turn my eye to that. Yeah. Just to tell us. Arena uh, crushed. How they're doing. And I, I an love Arena's position, by the way. She has the much better bishop. Can we check Arena game? Yeah. Yes, we are checking it now. Two on minutes our board. for Alice Lee, five minutes for Arena. But Arena has one of those positional grips, domination. Wait a minute. What? what did what's did she on? just? Whoa, 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 guys! What? She lost a piece. Yes. What? Didn't she? <laughs> yes. I Nazi think Nazi just lost, lost a piece, piece with yes. bishop to a5, b4, and the knight on c6 is hanging. Now the mm. question is, will I be able to go rook to c8, and now the knight on b5 is also hanging? Where do you put the queen? <laughs> well, bishop e2 defends the knight. Oh, then it's yes. over. Then it's just a piece. Then it's a piece. Then it's just a piece, yes. Oh, she missed B4. Ouch. So Jennifer is now... And she has good chances to win the first Blitz game of the second mini -match. Jennifer had to what? win. <laughs> no, 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 no. What no. a turnaround. Two games on demand yes. in the early stages of yes. this match. She then she still trailed in the Blitz. And then came a Came sudden... back once again. Right. Unbelievable. Already two times. Wow. And now she might take what would be the first lead for her in this mm. match. But it's wait, time for Rook B1. let's wait. We remember yeah. this game when Jennifer had peace up against yes. Serena Crush, so... <laughs> Unforgettable. One piece doesn't mean anything. Not yet, because it's also blitz, anything can happen. Truly. So what about... Uh, obviously? Bishop takes, Queen takes, Knight is hanging. Uh, pardon me, uh, Rook is hanging to the Knight, and... Uh, just trying to drop back with the queen. No. But we see this B3 pawn is dangerous. No, yes, mm, not, not that really much. Not. Kind of a, it's a good blockade, actually. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to get past B1 when you've got a dark square exactly. bishop, right? Takes A3. Takes A3. Now, if you take on B2, I still taking on B2, bishop C3, rook C2. This doesn't seem problematic at all. Yeah, I mean, it's no. like really... Before, no, no, it seems like an easy conversion. Five, yes. it, no, it does. I agree. Yeah, it's really hard. Wow. And again, just keeping my eye on the game of Alice Lee. Let's go to that Karina one, because I think this one is it's not done and dusted, but there's well, an obvious mm -hmm. uh, player that has a good advantage. To, to remind everybody, these two players are playing a rapid game. The other game that we were just witnessing was a blitz. And you can see, you know, what a wonderful position Arena Crush has. She's doubled her rooks on the open file, the rook on d4, the queen on e5, monstrous. Very, very, very passive light squared bishop uh, for white. So it really, it's play on one goal, and the clock is not even favorable for Alice. I mean, dark square, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Mm. Um, D4, E5. <laughs> Impressive yes. uh, play. Um, now, normally speaking, everybody plays moves like G6, <clears throat> King G7, just basically. Slowly, yes, yeah, moving slowly, slowly. Um, I'm thinking of G5 still, you know, I just keep an eye on this. Right, type of moves. right. Like maybe it's too much, of course. No, no, but no, no. Uh, but I, I like the idea of G5 and F6, G5. putting your king on G6 and playing H5 and H4, and dislodging G4, yes. I mean, this queen. The worst thing is for F6. Alice yes. is that this is an Irina position. Truly. Like it's this is Irina type of position, yes. It's, it's everybody's, everybody's <laughs> position. We okay, love. Bishop F7 is also really nice. That's her idea, yes. That's right. why she played F6. 
and the queen is dropping back. And what about time? Actually, Alice also has like... No time, no 30 time. seconds. 30 seconds against Sorry. five minutes, close to five minutes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. She moved her queen. Yes. Yes, and... Well, I mean, she's going to play f3, and it almost, you know, it induces you to start thinking about g5 and h5 so that you can play g4 at a certain moment. How do you break? Yeah, I was thinking about it. Yes, it's maybe not that easy. Where's the break? What about bishop of seven, bishop just... Oh, no, you play f3. Always I'm going to... Mm -hmm. Alice is not happy about the move f3, but it's, but it's not... necessary. Mm -hmm. Bishop f7. She's going for it. Yes, f3. Maybe you put. Maybe you can put your queen maybe closer to the king. F3. And G5. this bishop is just so sad. Okay, what I'm thinking about is maybe triple queen. up. Yes. yes queen d6. d6. Force the bishop to retreat. Rook d2. And then rook to d2. Yes. Okay, Makes so sense. This is. You, and yep. after that, you don't want to play rook d1. I think it's already you lost for bishop d1, c4, no? Rook d1 and ah, have king h8. Not immediately. King h8 first, yes. And then bishop c4 is coming. Yes. <laughs> Good luck defending against it. Yes. Yeah. And, and the game is over, Jennifer. One. And Jennifer Yu. I, I, I can't believe I'm saying this. Yes. She's grabbed the lead. For the first time in the match, she trailed this match too. How is she nothing. still alive in this match? I mean, not only that, but she's goodness. prospering right now. Right, and for Nasi, Ma Na Nasi, I mean, Hard losing matches. We all on. lose matches, right? I mean, but yeah, winning two zero when you got it, yes, you know, clinched so close Ooh. and suddenly. By the way, King F8. Let's keep uh, a close eye I, on that Alice game because she has only twenty seconds right now. Down to the last seconds? 10 seconds. 10 seconds fact. already. 10 seconds. But it's wow. the position, guys. Bishop c4 is coming. So King, King e1. e1. So she tries to protect this rook. But bishop so takes c4, c4 is she lights can out. Take. Yes. Is it? Bishop takes c4, bishop takes c4, rook takes d1. Yes, I mean, it's so Bishop takes c4, rook takes d3. So you want to allow that. Ending. Oh, I love that. You don't have ending. any problems with that. Ending. That, I mean, that, I mean, the bad. structure yeah. is so bad, <laughs> so bad. For I don't white. think you can it's, stop rook d4. No, it's a very sad position. Christian. Uh, but besides bishop takes c4, if you want to play with your food, uh, g5 and just say, go ahead. No, like rook d7, actually. No, no, no. I, I do not want to play with my food in this one. Uh, let's just take a quick break. And uh, Kostya caught up with Levon. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Levon Ronyan, who won both of his games today against Ray Robson. Uh, Levon, good good start to the match, yeah? Yeah, How yeah. Feel? I'm very happy. Um, can you take us through this second rapid game? Uh, of course, feels like it was equal for some time. Yeah. Um, when did you start feeling like you had serious uh, winning chances? Yeah, once I managed to grab a pawn, yeah, I think the, the A4 is a blunder. I think mm -hmm. he can just double on defile and there is no risk for him and uh yeah i felt you know practically it's very difficult to play those positions you know they might be drawn objectively but uh, uh when you're down on time and i had a lot of time and rare who oh, didn't so that was uh i think crucial in today's match uh, i mean in today's um, two games that mm -hmm. Yeah, at some point uh, I just had much more time and uh, it was just easier for me to play objectively. Although, even if I, I was not playing my best, uh, I, I was still managing to pose um, practical problems. Yeah, I noticed um, you've been sticking with the Grunfeld. Mm -hmm. uh, I imagine this is something you prepared specifically for this tournament, is that right? Yeah, yeah. You know, I thought uh, uh, there is... Uh, too many interesting openings. There are too many interesting openings, and, and I should kind of uh, play them, you know, in order not to get bored. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sounds like we've got the blitz starting, so we've got to uh, throw it back to the commentators. But thank you, Levon, and best of luck tomorrow. Thank you so much. Our congratulations to you, Levon, as you're playing very, very well too. Snatching a 2 0 lead. Nasi needs to win, and uh, do we have a result in Irina versus no, Alice the, the, right now? That, 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 this right. Top line, we should but, go to that. Wow. Uh, truly, it looked over. It looked like uh, Alice was on the precipice of resigning. It was so bad.
Let's see uh, the resignation. No? <laughs> I think we're probably going to get one Queen H1 soon. threatening Queen H4. Not, Not only that, but Rook D1. Rook D1, Rook D1, D1 is also a bit unpleasant, yes. Rook D1, Rook D1 and Queen H4. Just keep, I'll keep an eye on the Nazi uh, versus Jennifer game again. Uh, yes, and you can Jennifer see three seconds. Rook D1 and... That's it. That's yes, it. and it's really hard to defend. Gone. Maybe she will move. Rook F4. Stop it. Uh, uh oh, stop it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did was she just that? that? She won. What did she just do? I think do? she missed. Did it was she and we just missed that. Oh, yes. Actually, everybody. No, I, I was keep. Uh, I, I was looking at I the other game it, and I yes. thought. Don't try to blame us. No, no <laughs> I was looking at the other game and I was like, what? She, can, she, okay, like, look, like Queen G1 and Rook 1 maybe. It's, this is a possibility. Is she to take only five at least. in the game? I think so. I think it, so. Unbelievable move with five. F4? No way. Are you kidding me? It's unbelievable. Yes, of course it's easy to miss. Yes, sir, you move G5. Remember, you proposed I like G5. before and just stand and wait to Bishop C4 to play it later. Okay, wow. And now like Rook E1 maybe Where's she the needs final to blow? play. Yes, she needs to play Rook E1 and take this pawn on E5. But maybe but there is Queen B2. Queen D3, Queen D2, give you some checks. Yes. I don't know. I mean, The it's... game flares anew. And At look, she, she found it with seconds on her clock. Wow. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> this is really the epic game. Expect. Like. Something I'm similar sure to what you were Irina saying. was like ready to In go home. Cruise control, you know? ready to. And she just wondered it. Ready to accept her, graciously accept resignation. Okay, she has to take only five, yes, and there will be some checks, yes. Queen d6. Well, there's D8. a rook g4. It's queen d8 check. And, and uh, so queen she d8. Goes King of. Or rook e8. Now, there are some queen e1 ideas, I think. Maybe what? rook to e4 was necessary. Um, there's some queen e1 ideas coming up, right? Next move, basically. Mm -hmm. Yes, there king is. Of, I will hide one. my king. King f7. Okay, king f7. Rook g4. Like, okay, let's just have a full stop. Black has Once extra go... pawn. Yes. This is what is important still for Irina. Right. But uh, it's not that easy as it was before. White pieces are actually yes. active. Uh, and she needs time to kind of understand what just happened. And right. she doesn't have that she much time. She got shocked. Time. No? Yes. She Only got one shocked. Like one minute. So what, what is it the case again? She needs to win second time? Remember yes. how it happened in the first classical game? I mean, we, we saw it. Well, like now she... Nasi needs to win, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, pardon me. Uh, Nazi no, needs to win. You're no, right. Yes. Jennifer has but, a lead. But but Alice, of course, trails uh, from the classical game. Yes. Check. What a turn of events. Wow. <laughs> and actually, if you play like rookie seven, there is queen d five, and if king g six, like some crazy checks. It just goes to show you never resign. <laughs> you, you never give up. You know. Mm. You find absolutely every single resource all the way until the no, end. But this that rook e4 was so funny. Yes, rook e4, yeah. and, and nobody could understand. Even Irina, mm. I imagine you take on h4 eventually because you yeah. kind of calculated this move. This move. It was sh such a shock for Irina, because really she she had set up the table nicely for herself, that she thought that she was just going to make a checkmate. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, rook takes f4, and there was a square g3 for the opponent's king. And whoop, it was a stunner. Mm -hmm. By the way, it seems like Jennifer Yu is a piece up right now. Really? Yes. With great chances Maybe to win. Maybe she's ready for a draw? What do you think? Yes, sir? But might have missed something. <laughs> Repeating the uh, position? After witnessing what I've witnessed so far, <laughs> I'm not ready to... <laughs> Comment, um, I think she might have missed something. I think something. she's fine with the draw. Like oh, she, accepting she would the love the draw. Yes. Well, yes, King of Eight. I think. Yeah, yeah. So she decides that it's time just to make a draw. Unbelievable. I mean, Nelly Sally just saved the half half of point. Re wow. Crazy. Just crazy. Yes. Wow. King of Eight. Yes. And um, normally they can claim now. Yes. So she claims the draw. And Alice was like, <laughs> Let's go to Mr. Harper, game, guys. get over yes. here as fast wow. as you can. I'd like to claim a draw right yes. here, right oh now. My God. Let's yes. go to I the Nazi Irina versus knows that the position Jennifer was right winning. now. Yes, completely, now, yes. uh, Jennifer has been winning for some time. I'm not uh, sure, she's but, a queen down now. But <laughs> queen for a few pieces. Nazi has been fighting 
And she can now Guys, play Queenie Queen Seven. Seven. Queenie Queen Seven. Seven. She not? missed it. What Queenie Seven? She didn't Queenie play Queenie Seven. seven. And take Queenie the Seven no, was wh why? a win. Queenie yes. Seven and take the bishop. Wow. And that would have turned the tables yet again. That was over. Oh my gosh. That would have been it's, over. It's the clock. I cannot uh, imagine three yes, seconds, what's going on. Three seconds. Three seconds. Queen D2, trying to for, look at a D7. Oh, oh, and she flat. She lost. She's she back in the oh match. Oh my gosh. The match this continues. This is an epic match. I told you that the <laughs> players are laughing. You can see that they're already no like. No way. Emotions. The match continues. And Jennifer yes. is furious with herself. Yes. Even now she cannot believe her eyes. Jennifer is furious with it. How did I not win this game? Boy, does she look like she's ready to bite nails. Oh, my word. Oh, my gosh. Oh, she was angry. Yeah, no, she was angry. No, she couldn't really understand what had just happened. I think they want to play. I think they want to play. <laughs> I know. I, I think know. They want, they're not going anywhere. What time anywhere. is it now? Guys, don't even think about dinner. You know, we, we stay right. here. Uh, <laughs> Jennifer, could you please trade places? Would <laughs> Switch you mind? seats? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Excuse me, Jennifer, could you move away? <laughs> Let's just see the end of that one because it was down to seconds and you, uh, the, the position is one I'm for not sure Jennifer. About at this point. She, she, she's got a rook, a bishop, and knight for a queen. It's winning. But it's about the clock as well. Mm -hmm. Created the threat queen c7 actually. Right. So that's why rook, rook c8, c8 was, was played. Fine. Yes, rook it was c8 fine. played it's with absolutely fine. one second, by yes. the way. <laughs> and now she needs to prepare to play the move bishop c6. It's about the pawn on d6 going potentially to d7. So if you put your bishop on c6 and then you put your bishop on d7, you maintain. And she plays the move and it's over, it's all over. And yes. the rook and just slides. <laughs> Look at slid. this rook. rook. <laughs> you don't even see wow. at what point it changes where, where, from where, one to zero. Where, where, where did the rook land? I, in the I, I think C5. she wanted to play to c5, <laughs> and c5 after d7, rook d5. This was the. I uh, know, rook d5, queen d5. No, she wanted actually. it on c6. Oh, and, it's getting. Yes. And queen. This seven, yeah, I think we just saw it all. <laughs> I'm not sure about you guys, but we've seen no, comebacks. No, no, yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. It's just starting. Yes, I mean, this it's match, just I think they will play a few more games. But oh this is also goodness. the longest match we've yes. had so far. Wow. This is officially now entering the longest match, becoming the longest match of the tournament. True. Yes. Uh, let, actually, both players, they were champions of US, right? So right. they're yes. winners. Twice, both Twice, of them. Twice, both actually. So yes. four titles for, for two. Who is the who is the strongest today? Let's well, see. Well, again, the nerves, right? Mm -hmm. That's going to be uh, uh, vital. And so, just to set the scene for ourselves, uh, the winner of this match is going to remain in the elimination bracket. Yes, and the other one will well, go home. Thank you yes. for coming, but. What will be, who is going to face whom in the case? Uh, Begum will, yes. is Begum Somebody's waiting, waiting for, the, yes. for the winner of this match? I think so, yes. And by the way, I have to scroll down so many games just to find, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the I've been scrolling game, down. Yes. It's uh, right there, up, go up a little. Nah, see, yes, that was right game there. seven. Go, go down. And just a little bit more. Just a little bit. There, there it is. is. Now see game eight. No, the other one. The one. Got one. nine. There it is. Game okay. nine of the So they're playing the ninth game. Wow. And uh, I want to say the Catalan has been a frequent guest in uh, This their is their match. third blitz match, isn't it? It is. Wow. They had two already blitz matches. It's the third one. We, <laughs> exactly. Here we go again. Start Third from the beginning. Match. I think there were no draws. Yes, they were only decisive games. No draws. Mm -hmm. Actually, no games. Yes, no, no draws. draws today. Eight games, all decisive. Yes, yes. sir. <laughs> back and forth. Back and forth. When you say they swing for the fences, you're not joking. They really, really do. Um, e4, e5. I'm... This is uncompromised chess. Yes. Seriously, a2, a3. Okay, the idea pretty clearly that Nasi would like to play b4, bishop b2, and bring her knight to the e4 square. Yeah. Uh, ne next time when Nasi comes to the studio, you will ask her, do you have any mercy to commentators? Like, what's wrong with <laughs> right, you? Like, exactly. you should have finished this match long time ago. Right. 
How dare you? <laughs> yes. Uh, so, if I'm black in this situation, I'm very fearful of the knight coming to e4. So, in my estimation, uh, Jennifer should play the move bishop a6 and bishop d3 in order to bring the bishop defensively to the g6 wow, square. That's a nice play. If you allow knight e4, trust me, move knight, knight f6 check and lights out. Uh, so bishop a6 and bishop d7. No, she seven. Seven, yes. That's so too she slow. Allowed, it, <laughs> she allowed Nancy to get the ideal setup. Yeah, that's not mm -hmm. looking good right now. Yeah, I liked very much this bishop a6, d3, g6. Defensively yes. uh, to take care. Now queen e2, rook, rook d1. Rook plays C1 itself, right? It's such an easy, and h4 at the right moment as well. Right? And again, no. you'll always be eyeballing this knight f6, even with rook takes d5 ideas as well. And right now, Jennifer is down a minute on the clock. One minute and 26 <laughs> oh, seconds no. against two minutes and 30 yes, seconds. So it's, mm -hmm. and She is way, not comfortable with this position. Just to remind everybody, we are not playing any Armageddon games. No. We are playing uh, sets or pairs, if you will, pairs of, of uh, blitz games. You're going to have to win one and a half half or two zero to win the match. So it can last actually forever. <laughs> yes, like we can have another Theoretically, 20, 20 games yes. we can have, yes. Theoretically, you got it. Right, and as uh, for those of you who are, have arrived late, uh, Zoe uh, lost elimination. She was eliminated earlier by, by Begum. Two and a half half. Yes, and Linier Domingos also uh, leaves the tournament after losing against Fabiano Caruana. Same mm. happened to Sam Savian today. Wesley saw right, but, won his match. But Wesley boy, came from behind. Thank yes. you. That's what I wanted to say. That Wesley. What a match uh, that was! Wow, uh, Sam is going to feel like he left a lot of points on the table as he was leading one 0 He won with the black pieces to start the match, and then lost three on a trot. Wesley So, by the yes. way, still I felt the today he was group. like in a, you know in this kind of mode that I in want to win. You right. know, finally yes. I saw him. By the winning. way, I've got to give uh, a lot of credit to Jennifer. She found a nice maneuver, a5, knight b8, knight d7, and got rid of this knight on e4. Remember how mm -hmm. I was chortling about the knight delivering a checkmate? Well, she exactly. eliminated the most dangerous piece. Piece and. By the way, slowly, yeah, slowly. Slow is very good, by the way. Slowly, slowly, uh, Jennifer's got a threat or two of her own. I'm starting to like her position. Knight f5, okay. Knight okay. f5, yes, was possible. But I'm not sure. Why is, is it a good that? trade? She's looking to play for the d file, but the problem is, can I just simply take, take, and take on a3? The training's working. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm going for it. I'm taking the take pawn. Take the pawn. And what she wants to do you. is perhaps yes, she took capture. The pawn. So when knight f5 was an attractive looking move, but knight c6 would maybe be more six, I attractive. About it, but, um, no, this is just a but, very but why powerful didn't she... a pawn. Yes, maybe it was better back. to trade bishops. No, no. okay. Uh, I would have been tempted to play bishop c5 and just maintain the pawn. She should take that pawn right now. I would take the pawn. Take, the pawn take on rook, rook a6. Yes. You have to go rook a6, yes. Okay, she she's done it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what happens after queen a3? a3? Queen a2. Any trickies with queen to b4? Queen she should b2? probably go for it. Yeah, she's going for she's it. She's done it. Uh, there is I, a I check on e1 play, and no? a check on e4, just to remind. Well, she it doesn't look good for white. It looks like she needs to go rook a6. And rook d2 is protecting against queen b2. Okay, rook to c. Eight. Yes, eight. I like this move. Maybe now rook to six. You have to stop this rook from oh, coming. Very yes. good. Rook. But I'm not sure. Maybe. Queen. Oh yes, and if queen before you take. Rook a eight to d eight. Now hmm. that move. That's I would have thought that rook. Uh, by the way, guys, did she miss <gasps> queen takes d two? Queen d two was an option, and a two. Queen takes d two was winning. Oh my god. On the spot. Oh my goodness. And now it's rook to six. I think it's a good move. And again, move for white. nerves. Nerves. 
And seconds also, running coming in its 20. Rook c8, okay. She, Jennifer, is looking at opportunities of check, check, and or just grabbing a pawn. So now she should go rook to, B, rook to d4, right? Try to get to that a3 pawn. Anastasia, help me out. It's very yes. hard for me to see the clock. Yes, uh -huh. I'm trying to see. Yes, it's 15 minutes, seconds for Jennifer and the 36 for Have Nazi. To. She's 20 seconds ahead, which is not that much. After just losing yes. on time that yes. last game, you saw uh, Jennifer not wanting to get any lower on the clock. She yes. hit the clock with alacrity that last move. Queen takes e5. And black extra has extra pawn. pawn. Yes. Yes. Extra pawn. Yes. Wow. She'll work with it. Wow. How sweet it is. Queen d3 trying to move to the... Not Go sure about standing. queen e2. That queen d3 is now... Okay, oh, now oh, we change no, the And now it's... Yeah. Queen. What a minutes. relief. Mm -hmm. What a relief. Thank you for very Nazi. much for yes. not torturing me. <laughs> H4, and let's just make a quick draw now. A quick oh. draw, it's a good point. We have to play quick. Yes, it's 10 seconds again, 20. I don't I, like allowing g5. Oh, no. never mind. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is over. Take it and take, play take rook and f5. Take, take, f5 and king yes. f3. Yes, this is what she's doing, but uh, paid attention on the clock. Uh, yes, Jennifer just lost patience with this position too. Queen e2, g5. Yes, and she, she didn't just even make... kind of accepts the fact that it's a draw. But you cannot offer a draw in this position. You have to kind of find a way to right. make a draw. Yes, and okay, she will just keep giving checks. So it's a first draw in this uh, match. I don't After, know. <laughs> out of nine games, it's a first draw. <laughs> I, I like, I like her. Her Nazi looked at the arbiter. Is that nine times repetition? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Both yes, players are smiling. Yes, nice to, to see them smiling. Actually, after all these games, and what I think it's going to be a decisive Lee? game. What happened in the Alice Lee? Well, that one finished. A, they finished in a while. They repeated in a while. Yeah, did. Uh, a while ago. Draw. Yes. That was yes. the draw. That was that the draw. Yes, remember right. they had this repetition. One and a half, half. Mm -hmm. One and a half, half. My goodness, I feel like. No, this is the last. Actually, pair. it's going to be a deciding game. I have a feeling. Yes, the one who wins, I can't believe it's going to be a second draw after all this game, decisive games. All those decisive games, <laughs> yes, and suddenly yes, yes, they yes. play Joe Solid. Actually, it's now like Armageddon, you know. Who yeah. plays with white? Jennifer has white pieces now. Right. Jennifer now, has now nice uh, the, the player who wins this match. Not that wins it this mattered game. throughout this match. I mean, right. white, black, it didn't really matter. No. The it, wins were piling up for both sides. Well, yes. when you start 2 0. Right. And the match ends 2 2. Somebody's won with white <laughs> right. and black. And you see no <laughs> breaks. Nothing. Nothing. No breaks. <laughs> and uh, just to re repeat oh, well, they're underway. This yeah. is just at the end. They, yeah. they, the just players were looking to make a repetition around this point. And, uh, they just repeated it. And they found it. And mm -hmm. they found it. Very quickly. Which is a very professional. Very professional, <laughs> very simple position. Right. Try to find the repetition after nine games. You know? Right. Still not that easy. And now, after the races. After the races. Exactly. Yes. Uh, this, everybody, is going to be their ninth game. No, oh, tenth already. Ten. Yes. Ten? Yes, sir. The, this well, is they the had, tenth. They played nine games, and it's the game number ten. Right? Okay, this is happening. Four and half to four and half. <laughs> <laughs> you normally wow. make so many points in one tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Out of nine, yes. Right. And now it's just one match, and uh, they have played four rapid games and already like five blitz games. Okay. Uh, both players seem to enjoy playing these uh, Murano <laughs> Catalan <laughs> positions, and uh, at this point, it's all about the board. The, it's all about the nerves. It truly point. is. Whoever manages to put more pressure on their opponent and the time plays such an important factor in uh, that equation, that player will win the match. Is there a way that you train um, your team to respond to those big moments? Sometimes we train uh, time-specific situations, yes. Okay. Time-specific with a lot of pressure, but to be honest, it's so difficult to replicate the emotions yeah, that this player yeah. Uh, is living right now through mm -hmm. in the training room. Exactly. It's, it's, it's so difficult. Yes. It Only in the fire, forged in the fire of competition. It's just because there's so much at stake right now. Right. You're playing 
with a foot out the door. Yes, exactly. exactly. <laughs> You're feeling the draft. <laughs> You're feeling the draft. This is really funny. Yes, I mean, like, who's going you, to you go home? You could be out of here, you know. Or you can get back in. I mean, <laughs> I mean they, they've got a really great movie uh, playing at the movie house. Right. You know, Dune, you Dune, know. Dune is playing at the movie house. Uh, <laughs> premiere. Uh, Might be able to make it. <laughs> uh, hanging pawns. What do you think about these positions, Anastasia? Do you like Queen of Five? Yes, I like Queen of Five. And Looks so nice. does Jenna. Mm -hmm. Queen of Five. five. Yes, hanging pawns are tricky. Yes, yeah, it can be, but can it's, be weak at but one the, point. But the queen on F5 is kind of one of those, you know, I'm lurking. I'm, I'm, I'm trying now to be Now that irritating. you play G6. I'll go back, you know, just no, for walking. No, 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 no. Ah. no. Now that you play G6, ah, yes, okay, you I give have me this the bishop ambitions. Ambition. The fire-breathing uh, dragon. Exactly. Uh, queen G5, I want to hang around the dark squares. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure Nasi should have done this that. This queen g5 is, looks really strong. Right this now. looks scary. I mean, scary. I mean, unless you have some, any, mm, I don't think crazy. you have but, any 94 ideas. But actually she doesn't ideas. have, uh, I don't see any. 94, that's going to encourage me to play queen h6, right? So, I guess maybe queen to e7 now. You need to find a way to get rid of move. this guy, right? Yes, actually and you're right. It. It's not that easy to find a move, but you have queen to play e7. fast and... At the moment, both players have the same okay, time. Okay, I is, want to play queen h6, but I don't want to meet knight g4. I go knight g4, yes. So yes, I think yes. I start with h3. That's good. good point, and she might be going for it. <laughs> no, she's going for queen h6. So she, yes, and after knight g4? I notice that Jennifer hovers. Oh, uh, guys, knight, knight g4, five. knight d5. Maybe. Knight d5. They've played so many games. Yes, it's four and a half to four and a half at the moment. Guys. Knight? Let's get well, well, what's the move after yeah, queen h6? The, 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 the desirable. D4, she played d4. Knight g4 is knight met d4, by knight, knight takes d5. d5, and oops, I'm threatening mate and I'm threatening your queen. You take my queen, yes, I take you your take... queen with a check, and guess what? I've got a happy rook. Right. <laughs> uh, no knight g4, that's queen h6 so was d4. met by d4. Oh, what if I just take that pawn? Well, that's what Jennifer just asked. Where's what the if compensation? I take that pawn? Show me and the now she plays now knight, g4, knight g4, yes. but now I have queen h3. Queen h3 comes with tempo. Yes, h5. Okay. So it's like she decided to uh, actually to sacrifice a pawn. A defensive sacrifice, but yes. I don't see the compensation. I I I like the extra pawn. D4, d5. Yeah, d5 is looking Close that bishop. Solid. Take away any dreams you might be having of counterplay. D5 Can is I looking play knight solid. Can I play knight d5 after that? Which knight? No, I mean, this knight to D. Rookie ah, one. I rookie don't know. One. Jennifer. I don't know about this. Because that allows my bishop on B7 to. Uh, it's interesting. Have some life. I actually can well, first take of all, I take. And, yes. Okay. H2 she has is to. hanging. She has if you to. take with the rook, I got bishop C5. And, you know, there uh -oh. could be issues. Oh, she I has to know. take on D4 right She now. has to take, yes, because this one well, can be dangerous. Well, D4, on D5. D5 was a big threat. What, what is she e1? thinking about? Knight f6 six? is what? what she was thinking what? about. Oops, not no in the spirit way. of the position. Queen h4? Oh, she was worried about bishop to a6 after taking on d4. Bishop to a6. That's ah, what she you was mean, afraid of. You mean a discover tempo. Right. And, and this is probably what will happen now. <laughs> well, now bishop c4. Queen just 7 or Maybe that's Gen why she played this move. Yes, and queen, queen c7, probably. Bishop a6. Queen somewhere on the side. Yes. yes. Even when Jennifer's playing good moves, she plays them nervously. <laughs> 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 she makes me nervous, uh, like, with the way she's playing. I think queen d7. Mm -hmm. You don't want to fall for knight b5. Queen, queen d7. d7. Yes. So Just at the moment, said. they trades, <laughs> actually playing trades. with 30 seconds against 50. Like, 40 against 50 years. Again, I'm just dreaming of d5. And she plays Thank it. goodness. c4. Good move by Nasi. Uh, good move by Nasi. Uh, c4. Because she wants to play bishop c5, yes? Sometimes. Uh, c4. Okay, queen h4. Again, I. Knight, knight e4. e4. Knight e4. I don't okay. know. I'm starting yeah. to like it. I think you can yeah. take, take and then place c3. c3. Yes. Oh, I wonder. <laughs> I know, I know. I you need to take on b3. You're not yes. being cooperative. No, no, knight no. Knight e4, rook e4. C3, I'm going c3. You said. c3. What this queen is doing on h3? Well, the threat, the of course, the monster threat. 
The monster what? threat. Rook e6? What is f5? What? The monster threat was rook takes and queen h8 mate. Like, so I loved your c3 move. No, c3 f5 was... looks like a terrible blunder. f5, rook e6. Rook e6. Oh my gosh. You don't no, do this, this to yourself. Terrible. Like, rook now there is no move. I mean, 9 g5 is no coming move. everything. F5 You're was, absolutely was right. No move. Very Incredible. Like, That's like, just blindness. Yeah. C3 is the only Too move late. to continue, but I take on g6 and rook Too queen late. takes h5. I don't know, so queen h5 and uh, take on d6. Or take on d6 and queen takes h5. This is it, guys. Yeah, yes. rook h8, like more or less the only move, and now well, everybody... Well, wait a minute, it's an extra piece and the pawn I can take on, on c3. c3. Yes, she just can take it on c3 because queen is protected already. There's nine... Okay, she oh, she sees it. it. She sees it right now. I'm not sure. No, yet. she sees it. That's why she repeated yes, once. Yes, bishop c3. And queen is defending. My goodness. Now it's match. just, you know, <laughs> I mean, still the, she has enough time, like seven seconds. Don't forget about f2. Right. Queen takes f2. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's queen on? Queen, queen takes e1. Rook takes and knight f2. Oh, I my goodness. I don't believe what's queen She's on. back. But she's back. back. No. With two rooks, no? No, with two, it's with two, two minor pieces. Still completely losing. Why though. did she put a rook on? <laughs> oh, no. She put her rook. I think, like, now a couple of checks. She's still completely losing, but... <laughs> I mean, it's just crazy. She's, win she's in with a shout. There's h5 pawn? f5 pawn. Uh, Sorry, I rook f2? Rook f2 was, was a possibility, yes. King to g6? She has to go to g6, h4? h4, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yes, rook takes on b3, maybe? That's a threat. Just a couple. Of, maybe eight. draw? No. No Nine draw. Four. Check and pick up the pawn. No. Oh my goodness. Ah, she took, she took. No, but no. come on, it's not possible. No. Yes, wait a second. The arbiter. The arbiter is Yes, touch no, she, she already took the pawn on h5. She, she has to take it. Yes, it's yes. touch move. It's touch move. But so. fortunately for her, rook h8 is not mate. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Nasi will be awarded a few oh. extra seconds. Um, I'm not sure how yes. much actually. Yeah. I don't think she's very happy about it. I think, think it's a about minute. About it. I think it it's doesn't a minute. matter because actually it takes, it gives time to Jennifer to yes. realize what's going on in the, in yes, the game. Yes, she's not happy about yes. it. She's not happy. It's like, okay, let's play. Let's move on. You know, I don't want this extra minute. Because she's losing. Right now she's yes, losing. Yes, she's losing and you of don't course. want this situation actually. Yeah. But, uh, but it's correct of Chris. Mm -hmm. He Bird. had to stop. He had he to had interrupt. To. He, it's not possible yeah, to... Because, as we will see, yeah. she has captured the pawn. Look at this. Look, she's... <laughs> this so she hesitates. touched the pawn. She lifted it up. She put her king. Realized rook h8 would be mate. Realized, I don't need the pawn. I'll play king f5. But it is touch move. Yeah, Lucky unbelievable. Because she and kind of thought that it's fortunate. checkmate. Actually, she, it was lucky blunder, let's say. Right? A fortunate blunder. Yes. You do know that probably fortunate King takes H5 was the best move, actually. Actually, yeah, that's the crazy <laughs> part. It's so sad it for probably, Nazi. Yeah, for Nazi, it's like my opponent blunders and it's a good How much blunder. time? Actually, Nazi got one minute on her clock, but yes. yeah, I mean, it's not helping. Rook takes much. F6 and Rook takes H4. Really? Take that. And then it's Take gonna that. be nice. Rook takes f6, rook takes I h4. I cannot believe it. she has this. Okay, she has one minute to... <gasps> no, she can't. She doesn't see she does it. She not see it. Unbelievable. Oh she had this chance. A, it was a dream <gasps> was moment draw. to get rook and knight versus rook. And now oh it's over, rook it seems like. Is over. Now h5. Can she play? Could she take on... She I guess now rook f7. Rook f7, no. No, no, it's no. lost. It's lost, okay. It, it's completely yes, lost, right. but it's everything lost. is lost right now. It's lost. Oh my goodness, she had What a moment. Rook of six. What a chance. 14 seconds for Jennifer, 42 for Nasi. Rook f6, rook takes oh. h5, h4. Wow. wow. Okay, maybe now she can Check. have this rook and two pieces that's against. Oh, oh, the rook that's thing. Okay, now Jennifer it's... knows she's got it. And it's it. a sudden death game. Okay. What? Jennifer <laughs> wins this match. I mean, this is a very dramatic match. I mean, I can't okay. believe it. A few thoughts. What Thought sauce? I one. don't have. I'm glad it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Thought she number came two. Back from O2. Oh my gosh, what a comeback. Yes, and, and this King H5, yes, it's so oh. funny. I mean, if it was checkmate. It... Yes. <laughs> but it was not. Oh, Jennifer. Jennifer is, is happy. A happy. Go lucky. As happy as you can be. <laughs> as happy as but you can be a, after a game of chess. She was fighting for her chances, we must admit. She Ooh. tried. She was creating those chances in right. the world. Is. That wow. was a nervy affair for Are us as commentators. Me? She just... came back from 0-2. <laughs> I know. Yes. I know. Took the lead in like the fourth.
inning, you know. And finally, <laughs> finally, she won it. Incredible. Yeah. Wow. Yes, absolutely incredible. Well, I mean, uh, we're, we're going to get ourselves set up for interviews soon, <laughs> but I, it's hard to believe what we just witnessed, you know, isn't I mean, it? Imagine players, you know, after making playing all these games, 10 games they played in today. Exactly. Four yeah, rapid yeah. games, six blitz games. I don't think our graphics go <laughs> quite far. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. right. I think we're just going to shorten that to. Uh, that's why we haven't to seen too many graphics White. in the last hour and a <laughs> half, right? Our, our graphics department oh, just kind of went on yeah. tilt. Wow, <laughs> that was amazing. What a match. Wow. Yes, Oof. what a match, yes. Ooh, uh, time trouble. Uh, well, we're going to reflect on the brackets and the results soon enough as, uh, as we Yeah, but we remember we more or less time. who is um, eliminated from the tournament and who will advance. Exactly. So Jennifer and uh, Zoe, I uh, know, sorry, and Begim, they advanced for the next round in the elimination As break, did Wesley, bracket. as did Fabi. Wesley and Fabi, yes. Uh, Lanier and Sam. Sevian, uh, they're, they're eliminated. waiting for Blitz tournament <laughs> <laughs> to start. Um, but, uh, whew. So she came back from 0 2. Then Nasi took the lead. Yes. In the Which first was blitz really match. shocking, right? What happened in the second blitz match? Who was in the lead? In 1 the second 1. Blitz Always match? it was 1 1. But Decisive who took games. the lead? Ah, yes. who it took was the lead? Jennifer that yes. finally yes. took the lead for the first time in the As match. And then Nasi managed match. to come back. Exactly. Yes, exactly. She came back. And now this whole game just happened. Right. <laughs> and then it was the crazy thing that we witnessed Jennifer losing twice on the clock, once in a rook ending where it was even, she just forgot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That was the first Blitz match. Right. That's how Nazi took the lead in that one. How do you still remember all this? <laughs> I just <laughs> to... <laughs> Yes, it was such an affair. In between, we had some other games, you know, happening. Right? Yes. Yeah, like... Levon Aronian yes. playing like a boss. I mean, it was amazing. And yeah. of course, uh, tomorrow, uh, the champions bracket will continue. Yes. Uh, West, uh, pardon me, Wesley. So, uh, Ray Robson will be is playing in, against Levon Aronian. Is in a tough have, spot. Once again, they'll have one classical game, then one rapid game. And only in case Ray will manage to win two games, which is really hard. Right. Really a hard task to do against Levon. Yeah. But if he does so, then we have Blitz match. Right, but... Well, he needs uh, to call Jennifer <laughs> and ask her, hey, how do you do this? Is. In case the classical game is drawn, there won't be a fourth game. It's no, the first it's is two and a be, half yes. or Actually, three. Yes, you're right, yes, sir. Yes. Then no rapid game. Oof, 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 oof. <laughs> Tough. I think we have Tough. some interviews, but... Let's, let's take a look to the, the results, results first. Yes, yes. first. It's nice and to speak about it, but when you see the results, it's easier to understand here what's we going go. on. Here so we go. Levon Aronian is leading in the match 2-0. He won first classical game and then also the rapid game. He needs just a draw to win the match or a victory in exactly. the short game. And um, Wesley so will already won his match and same happened to Fabiano Caruana, they will right. be playing against each other. And for both Wesley and Fabi, uh, they're the comeback kids. Uh, in the elimination open bracket. Uh, <laughs> no, we go directly to, okay, to the, the ladies. ladies yes, so yes, Arena Crush is uh, still leading? playing with Alice Lee. She's leading, but she could do better. You know, if she, she would have won this second game, she was absolutely winning totally against winning. Uh, Alice Lee, but it was a draw, and so it's one and a half to uh, half a point. And uh, Alice still has to play with white pieces tomorrow against uh, Irina Crush. Uh, uh, Begim Tohirjonova won her game against Zoe, uh, the match against Zoe Tang, and she will play against Jennifer Yu, who just defeated Nazi Paikidze. I love what the graphics yes. department did with this five and a half format. <laughs> they <laughs> just ignored, never mind. No way, ignored no the way blitz we're portion, give, yes, you yes. know, a round by round, yes. uh, blow after blow, but five and a half, four and a half, and the brackets, Anastasia. And by the way, that's four and a half to five and a half because- The brackets Nazi are filling yes. up. First, so. Right. And uh, so we can see all the way which had to be done by, um, Levon Aronian, he yes. won actually already two matches and he is about to win the final since he's leading 2 0 against Severe Robson. One step in the finals for Levon Aronian. Yes. yes and will he make it? And if he does, then in the grand finals, he will, he will have an extra life. Exactly. And in the elimination uh, bracket, 
for the open section. The other one is we filling have... up as well. Oh, it's going to be a really, really interesting match. Wow. Wesley So will be playing against Fabiana Corana. Will they play tomorrow? Yes. Right? Because they will, yes. they will play tomorrow. And by the way, I mean, coming into the competition, this is the number one and number two seats playing each exactly, other. Exactly, yes. So we'll have For a chance to try match. to get into uh, the finals again. And of course, in the ladies. And in the ladies. Irina Crush will be playing against Alice Lee, as I mentioned before. Yes, Alice, Alice will need will to come back either... Uh, need to win or make yes. a draw and then try her chances in rapid game. Right. And uh, in the elimination bracket we have, uh, I think, Begin Toherjonova and Jennifer Yu. Right? They meet again. Yes, they meet again. Yes, they met in Classical and I believe uh, Begin won. That yes. was the first round. Exactly, you're right. So it's the second yeah. match. That was the first playing. round. They meet again. Mm -hmm. But right now, only in rapid chess. Yes, four rapid you games again? are waiting for us. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I've seen you before. <laughs> the, the, it's an interesting format, yes. Right. Uh, this, so you have your chance now, yes. So okay. Let's see what Jane for. The chance at revenge. Okay. And so, so just. How much energy does do you think she has after this match? Because, look, you spend all of your energy on the games, right? Right. But you won. If you yes, lose, no, you're no, completely you dead. Yes, right. yes, yes, if right. you lose, go go to sleep. You right. know, like literally Crash. go to sleep. Don't don't get dinner. Don't do anything right. like that. Just simply go to sleep. But you won. You get so much energy from that. Right. And then you go to study a little bit because you you Harvard, study in sure. Harvard. Yes. But and it's then the weekend. It's the weekend. She can right. relax. Uh, right. Nice, nice. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta reward yourself. But let's uh, refresh everybody's memory. Uh, <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive. Hey! I'm alive. I, I, I'm in oh there my too. When Nobody picked her Jennifer, up, Jennifer. yes, but, but I'm very happy with my picks so far. <laughs> Levon right. is just, you know, crushing. Wesley's in the mix. Alice is in the mix. Irina Fazi's is also well, doing well. Kostya lost one of his players. Yes. Yeah. And Ray. He lost a life. He lost a life. <laughs> yes. Yes. He's to the elimination bracket right now. Speaking of Kostya, let's jump to Kostya and Jennifer Yu. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Jennifer Yu, who just won the longest match in American Cup history against Nazi Pakidzi. Uh, Jennifer, I'm not going to make you analyze any chess. Uh, my first question is, like, are you okay? How do you feel after this match? Um, honestly, I am very surprised that it ended up this way, because I just, I kept wondering in the beginning, like, the first O2, that shouldn't have happened. And then, so, um, I mean, I'm just glad this got over with. I felt like every single time I shouldn't have lost and then I shouldn't have won. And this was just, there's, the blunders were too too many, too many. But um, this is like not some a result I expected to go this long. Right, yeah, I wanna, let me first ask you about the rapid match. So you start 0-2. Uh, what did you tell yourself to try and come back in those next two games? To be honest, I kind of just stopped worrying about it. I was just like, okay, just like play. Now at this point, there's no, no point thinking about it. Just play as fast as possible because I kept I kept flagging this match. That was also a problem. Right. Yeah. We got. I got to ask about that. I mean, like you. Uh, if I remember correctly, like you win the first game of the blitz match, completely winning position or close to winning the second, and then you flag, and then you did it again in another pair. Right. Like. Yeah. I mean, um, what was it? Just nerves, or how do you explain that? Oh, I just I have a bad. Um, habit about flagging in general. Um, I just seem, I just have this tendency where sometimes I just get really zoned in and I forget the time, time is of the issue. So I've actually had a problem with flagging like classical games too. So this is just something to work on. Um, like once I realize it splits, it's okay. But I just like sometimes I'm like, oh, this is an interesting position. Let me think about it. And mm -hmm. I flag. And then, and then I remember when that happened, I was just like, okay, like, <laughs> like, you know, um, it is what it is. Can't do anything about it now. Um, if I remember, I, rem I think the last game I played in the U.S. Championship, I also almost flagged. Mm. Um, I, there was like one second left. I actually thought I flagged on the board. So this is definitely something that happens way too often um, at this level. Like I should not, this should not be happening, but. I definitely, yeah, could see clips of like your clock ticking down, like one second you haven't moved. <laughs> it's just the last, uh, yeah, so, something to work on maybe. Yeah. Um, well, next up, you're going to face Begum in uh, the next match you guys already played once she knocked you down to the elimination bracket. Um, what will you switch up for this time? Uh, I, I'm just kind of happy to think of it as like a new start to a tournament just because I played so badly in my match against her. Um, I definitely was pretty resting going in. I don't think all of it is off yet, but it's much better than it was like in the first match. So um, I'm looking forward to just kind of have a fresh start. Cool. All right, we'll let you take it easy and best of luck in the next match. 
Guys, back to you in the studio. Thank you, Kostya. Thank you, Jennifer. Our congratulations. Final thoughts for an epic match and quite a, quite a day of I chess. I mean, what a day uh, of chess. <laughs> yeah. Not only this final match that we've seen, but also uh, the match between Fabiano and Lanier. Fabi Fabiano coming back in that innocuous position. Yeah. Berlin and game, it didn't look like there's absolutely anything. Nothing in it. And out of the blue, he finds some chances. He yeah. provokes Impressive. C6, then goes to the B6 pawn, then goes back to the G5, then back to the B... Just incredible chess all throughout. In all of the matches, I have to say, in Levon Aronian, Domination. he makes it look easy, right? We'll see what happens tomorrow, but I cannot wait to call all the action. Absolutely. Big day ahead tomorrow, Anastasia. Great calling the action Thank with you, you and Christian. Nice. It's, all, it's all good. It's all fun. We hope you enjoyed our coverage. Join us tomorrow. Tell your friends where you're hanging out. And boy, uh, fasten your seatbelts. <laughs> More action tomorrow. This has been a presentation of the St. Louis Chess Club. Any reproduction or distribution of this content without the express written consent of the St. Louis Chess Club is prohibited.